Advertisement. Lying on a bench in a park in Kanaha village was a blonde boy. The young man's face is rather strange, with three beards on the left and right. But this does not affect that delicate face in any way. The warm wind blew gently on his face, making him drowsy. The soul of an other world slowly awakened in the body of the blonde boy. The blonde boy slowly opened his eyes. Those are blue eyes, and seeing these eyes reminds people of the sky. What a comfortable wind. Here it is. Where? Shouldn't I take a nap at home? Why did you come outdoors? The boy yawned and shook his head in an attempt to wake himself up faster. At a glance, I saw the four huge mountains of heads. Is this in country M? What kind of avatar mountain is this? The young man complained. No, it doesn't look like it. An outrageous idea came to mind. This can't be Hokage Rock, it's too outrageous. The moment you realize this is Hokage, the neural circuits in the brain seem to be connected. The memory flashed back to me, this was Kanaha village, and I fell asleep alone in the park. The surrounding environment also becomes very familiar. No, this is not my memory, this is Uzumaki Naruto's memory. Uzumaki Naruto recalled how he came here, because he was looked down upon by the people around him, and he wanted to hide in a place where no one was around, so he sat on a chair and accidentally fell asleep. Uzumaki Naruto is the unlucky guy, he was replaced as soon as he woke up. This Hokage tastes so good, a blonde boy complained. He looked at some children jumping up and down on the roof, and his whole body felt bad. It's really sad to look at those four giant head sculpts. This is Hokage? He looked at the reflection in the water, and the beard on his face seemed to mock him. Hungry sounds came from Naruto's stomach. Advertisement. Naruto remembered that he hadn't eaten anything since noon. Let's go home and see what we can eat. Slowly walking to the door of the house according to the memory in his mind, Uzumaki Naruto ran to the door of the house and stood still. But when I opened the door, I still hesitated for a moment, but I still mustered up the courage to open the door. After the door opened, it was a dilapidated small house. The room was not large, and there was a dining table on the floor, which was also piled with boxes of instant noodles from yesterday and the day before yesterday. The kitchen is piled with broken dishes that haven't been washed for a long time. Moreover, this room is very dark, and the windows are probably rarely opened. It seems that my predecessor didn't know how to take care of himself at all, after all, he was just a child. Although this is the world of the Hokage and there are supernatural powers, the comfort level is still much worse than that of the modern world. Okay, let's eat first and then clean up. Uzumaki Naruto rummaged through the box looking for food. Look, there are still some vegetables in the refrigerator, plus this bowl of instant noodles and a few bottles of milk. Is this my ration for today? It looks fine. No matter what world he is in, he can't get rid of eating instant noodles. Uzumaki Naruto had a complicated expression. Watching the kettle slowly boiling, my thoughts slowly drifted away. Now that I have come to this world, will the original me die? Turned into a corpse, but still switched bodies with Uzumaki Naruto. What about my parents? Thinking of his parents, Uzumaki Naruto made up his mind to go back and see, return to that world, and see his relatives. Since you can come to this world, you must have a way to go back, Uzumaki Naruto thought. The most important thing now is to fill your stomach first and see how the noodles from other world taste. Uzumaki Naruto tasted the noodles and took a sip of the noodle soup. The taste is unexpectedly good. I checked the dates on some milk and found that there are still a few days left before the expiry date. Let's drink it first. Advertisement. After eating and drinking, he lay down on the bed that belonged to Uzumaki Naruto and slowly closed his eyes. As he fell into a deep sleep, Uzumaki Naruto had already forgotten about cleaning up after eating. Uzumaki Naruto felt his soul floating upwards, floating here and there like weightlessness in space. Feels like I'm in a dream. The moment he realized he was dreaming, Uzumaki Naruto suddenly woke up. Where is this? Have you asked this question once? It feels so familiar. Uzumaki Naruto was stunned by the scene before him. The vast starry sky was like a strip of light, spreading in the starry sky and extending infinitely. There was nothingness all around, except for the galaxy that shone brightly in Uzumaki Naruto's eyes. Moreover, the floating feeling of the soul also disappeared. Uzumaki Naruto only looked at the Milky Way. As if being attracted by something, the soul flew forward along the galaxy at a speed that had been unimaginable. The surrounding planets quickly fell behind me. I don't know how long it took, but a light different from the planets seemed to appear in front of me. The closer I got closer, the warmer and more comfortable I felt, like returning to my mother's arms. The light at the front is getting brighter and brighter, and the outline is getting clearer and clearer. Uzumaki Naruto saw it clearly, it was the earth, and I was moving rapidly towards the earth. The earth is getting bigger and bigger all the time. Naruto felt a sense of suffocation in his heart, because he was facing the earth directly, and the earth was too big. But the whole earth suddenly glowed with green light. It was as if the energy of the entire earth gathered together and turned into a green beam of light, which shot straight towards Naruto who was flying towards him. Naruto's entire soul was instantly enveloped in green light. Naruto's body lying on the bed was also breathing in and out. Green light was flowing from his soul and slowly entering Naruto's body. No one saw this light. When the green light successfully flowed through every part of Naruto's body, the seal on Naruto's belly began to appear, and green light entered the seal inside Naruto's body. The nine tails in Naruto's body seemed to sense something and opened its eyes several meters in size. He looked towards the prison in confusion. Advertisement. Green energy appeared all around the prison. Keep appearing from the walls. The prison that held nine tails now seemed like a sea of green. Floors that were originally filled with water. Now there is a steady stream of green grass growing all over the ground. The iron gate seems to have failed. Nothing can stop the grass from spreading. The ceiling also turned into a blue sky, and Uzumaki Naruto's inner world took on a new look. Uzumaki Naruto opened his eyes, and what he saw was the light blue sky, with the breeze blowing slowly around him. He was lying on a relatively high hillside. Uzumaki Naruto stood up. Because the terrain was relatively high, he could see the endless grassland. But the strange thing is that there is nothing on the grassland except grass. It is a veritable grassland. No people, no cattle, or sheep. There is only that touch of green on the entire grassland. Is this a second time travel, or am I trapped in a hallucination? This time it's better than last time. At least I haven't changed my body. What on earth is going on in this world? A person can travel through time without doing anything, and more than once. Naruto simply lay down, placed a large character on the lawn, and looked at the sky. I asked myself a question again and again, why me? Why did I travel through time and not others? The lawn where he was lying on was shaking slightly, and the vibrations were changing from weak to strong. Uzumaki Naruto couldn't think so much and ran down the hillside quickly while rolling and climbing. 
He ran faster and faster until he was quite far away from the hillside. Naruto saw a huge red fox coming out of the green hillside. Rather than coming out of Yamanaka, it was better to say that the fox itself was the hillside. It's just that this huge red fox is covered in green grass. Green grass covered the fox, and he woke up lying on top of it. Uzumaki Naruto seemed to understand something. Is this fox Kurama? Unlike the one seen in anime or comics, this fox is really huge. You brat, what did you do to this place? Why is my power slowly disappearing? Advertisement. Chapter 2 Kurama. Advertisement. Kurama, who had just been covered in green energy, felt that his chakra was slowly draining away. Those chakras that belonged to him seemed to have become nutrients for this little brat named Naruto. The power disappeared. What are you talking about? Uzumaki Naruto was confused. I haven't done anything yet. Seeing Nine Tails, Uzumaki Naruto finally understood that he did not travel twice but fell asleep and entered the consciousness space. Speaking of which, this consciousness space is a bit strange. Why is it not a dim sewer like the one seen in the anime, but a piece of grass? If it was a sewer, I would probably recognize it at a glance. I have not read so many Hokage novels in vain, and I feel very free here. What is this psychological comfort about? I suddenly forgot something. The original Nine Tails was sealed, but what about this Nine Tails cage? What about such a big cage? If he hadn't felt so comfortable psychologically, he wouldn't have felt scared when he saw Nine Tails. Instead, he would have felt an inexplicable sense of closeness. Uzumaki Naruto would have run away long ago, although he certainly couldn't. After Kurama asked the question, he saw the kid was stunned with a stupid look on his face. I can't help but wonder if I didn't make it clear, or if he didn't hear me and should I say it again. At this time, Nine Tails has not yet realized that he has no murderous intention, no resentment, and no desire to escape from the seal towards Uzumaki Naruto, only a feeling of closeness. In fact, Uzumaki Naruto understood that the Nine Tails in front of him was called Kurama, which was part of Ten Tails, and was now being imprisoned here. But what should I say, tell the plot directly, or make up a reason to make him believe that he is the son of the prophecy and influence him. But before I traveled through time, I was a mild social phobia. I didn't know how to talk to strangers at all, and my eloquence was also poor. Not good. By the way, it was so embarrassing and difficult just now, Naruto calmed down for a few seconds and said, your power is slowly disappearing. It may be because of this space. This is my first time entering here. Advertisement. You can speak, prove you can communicate, do you have your own name? Naruto asked. Nine tails slowly lay down on the grass. The grass still felt comfortable, except that his chakra was decreasing. Kurema, this is my name. Kurema, I remember, my name is Izumaki Naruto, please take care of me in the future. I want to ask, where is this place? Why did I come here, and has this always been like this? Uzumaki Naruto opened up a chatterbox, asking one question after another. Nine Tails paused, stared at Naruto with his eyes and said, This is your consciousness space, because I am sealed in your body, so when you want to communicate and feel lonely, you will come here. When you want to come here, you will come here naturally. This place was not like this originally. There was no grassland or sky before you came. Changes occurred before you came here. The changes here are definitely related to you, brat. Nine Tails said with certainty. Through Nine Tails' answer, Naruto realized that the space of consciousness and its changes were related to himself. The first two questions were already known to him. The key was the third question. The changes in this space were related to me. Is it the reason for the time travel? Wait Kurama, you just said that I would come here when I feel lonely. Naruto asked. Kurama stared at Naruto carefully with those huge eyes and said, Because I can sense your emotions, and you suddenly feel a huge sense of loneliness in your heart, Naruto. Naruto listened to Kurama talk about sensing emotions and understood. He had just learned that this was the Hokage world and was used to complaining to relieve his inner uneasiness and loneliness, but Kurama sensed it. That's awesome, Kurama. Advertisement. Kurama responded with an unhappy look, this is just the most inconspicuous of my many abilities. As a Nine Tails Jinshuriki, you are still too weak right now. Nine Tails looked at those blue eyes, sensing the state of this kid, and saw that the power contained in this kid was comparable to the old man from Six Paths. Coupled with the changes in the sealed space and the indescribable sense of closeness, Nine Tails remembered the prophecy. The green-eyed boy laughed and called the names of the Nine Beasts. That boy will be recognized by the Nine-Tailed Beasts. Now Kurama has reason to believe that Naruto is the boy in the prophecy, the legendary son of prophecy. If Naruto was really the one, then there would be nothing wrong with lending him his power. Nine Tails suddenly said seriously. Kid, do you want to use my power? As a Nine Tails Jinchuriki, you are still too weak now. This makes me very embarrassed. If you want to use my power in the future, please feel free to use it, if you can bear it. Uzumaki Naruto heard Kurama's words. Although he didn't know why Kurama agreed to let me use his power, he was very excited because he learned how powerful Nine Tails' power was. Can I try it now, try Kurama's power? Okay, but kid, you have to understand that my power is very powerful and cannot be endured by ordinary people. Your life may be in danger. Once danger occurs, I will stop. Are you ready? Let's start. I saw the red chakra slowly emanating from nine tails, condensing into the shape of a smaller fox, rushing directly into Naruto's body, covering Naruto's entire body in red. Naruto became resentful. Why did he come to this world? Why was it not someone else? Why did he choose me? Why did the people in the village ignore me? Why didn't they die? Why didn't this village be destroyed? Nine tails chakra not only aroused uneasiness and resentment in those who originally traveled through time. There is also Naruto's dissatisfaction with the people of Kanaha village who just stood aside. Nine tails side. Advertisement. Is it still too early? He's a little devil now. Suddenly, a scene that shocked nine tails appeared. Suddenly, a green energy in Naruto's body broke through the Nine Tails Chakra, and at the same time, the space resonated with this energy. The red Nine Tails Chakra, combined with the green energy, turned into gold, covering Uzumaki Naruto. Uzumaki Naruto suddenly woke up from his negative emotions and felt a warm feeling in his body. Uzumaki Naruto looked like himself, with his whole body covered in golden energy and this black stripe on his body. This is the state that will appear when Uzumaki Naruto defeats Nine Tails in the future, which shows that Nine Tails Chakra has been completely controlled. When Naruto in the consciousness space turns into golden body mode. In the outside world, Naruto's body was lying on the bed. There was a golden chakra that wanted to cover Naruto's body, but it was blocked by the green energy. In the space of consciousness, Kurama said, 
It seems that you have completely mastered my chakra. The green energy emitted from your body helps you eliminate the negative emotions in my chakra. If you can eliminate resentment yourself without the help of that green energy, you will be fully recognized by me, and then you will become the perfect Jinchuriki, fully endowed with my full power. Work hard, Nine Tails said, then lay down and closed his eyes. Naruto knew that the perfect Jinchuriki was Karama's link mode and could transform into a tailed beast, but Karama said what exactly was the green energy in my body? I don't have a clue yet, so go to sleep first. Naruto left the consciousness space. The power of Nine Tails in the consciousness space slowly flowed to Naruto, activating the power in Naruto's body. Naruto fell into a deep sleep. Advertisement. Chapter 3 First Test Nine Tails Chakra. Advertisement. The sun shines through the window and shines on Naruto's face, and the breeze blows through the curtains, thinking it's a good day today. Naruto slowly opened his blue eyes. An unfamiliar ceiling. Naruto stared at the ceiling for a while before he recovered. Naruto stretched and let out a long yawn to wake himself up. According to the memory fragments in my mind, today is the ninja school's holiday, and I will go to the ninja school tomorrow for class. I have been enrolled in the school for half a month, and my classmates are basically familiar with each other. Naruto skillfully turned on the kettle and started making noodles. It seems that I have to find a way to improve my food, but the people around me will not sell me anything. Let's eat the legendary Ichiraku ramen in the evening. Naruto looked at the instant noodles and his thoughts gradually drifted into the distance. Naruto opened the closet and found that besides his pajamas, he picked out a black short sleeve shirt. I don't want Naruto to always wear one thing in the anime, there should be a variety of clothes. After breakfast, Naruto sat on the floor and began to try to refine chakra, according to the chakra refinement taught in the ninja school. Advertisement. Chakra is energy extracted from the cells of the human body and is a mixture of physical energy and spiritual energy. This is actually an overview of the basics of chakra, but Naruto understands that chakra is the product of the invasion of alien civilization, and its source comes from the Atsutsuki clan. Most of the people who use chakra in the ninja world are the sage of six paths who were dispersed when the ninja sect was founded. It is the energy that connects people together. But as times changed, chakra was used as a weapon and spread around the world. With the refining of chakra, Naruto seemed to have inner vision. Naruto could clearly feel that blue energy appeared and converged from all over his body. Naruto tried to focus chakra on his hands, feet, and various parts of the body, and controlled it very easily. Chakra materialization is even possible, from the simplest chakra threads, to various things formed from chakra, all formed in Naruto's hands. Is it that easy to control chakra? I thought it would take a long time to practice. Is this one of the benefits of time travel? Naruto also discovered that he could directly convert chakra attributes. For example, a ball of fire suddenly appeared in Naruto's hand. The fire was suspended in Naruto's hand, but it did not hurt the skin. Naruto thought that if fire could do it, then other attributes could also do it. He saw air masses with the attributes of fire, water, earth, wind, and thunder appearing in Naruto's hand at the same time, slowly flowing in Naruto's hand in order. Seeing this, Naruto thought of a scene. This scene seems to have appeared in the hands of Itsatsuki Momoshiki when he invaded the Chinin exam. But Momoshiki is the Itsatsuki clan and can directly operate chakra. But now I can also directly use various ninjutsu with five attributes without the need for seals. Uzumaki Naruto is a descendant of the Uzumaki clan and the reincarnation of Ashira, the son of Sage of Six Paths. Although we don't know how many generations have passed, Naruto must have the genes of the Itsatsuki clan in his body. This is a direct return to my ancestors in my hands. I have abilities similar to those of the Itsatsuki clan. Uzumaki Naruto was very excited. This ability can cover the enemy with direct fire when the chakra is sufficient. But Naruto thought that this was the world of Hokage, a world where even Uchiha Madara could be killed by a sneak attack, so he still had to be careful and careful. The key was intelligence. Information leakage was a very serious matter. Uzumaki Naruto suppressed the excitement in his heart. Advertisement. Now I can directly use the five basic ninjutsu, plus I have obtained part of the power of nine tails yesterday. There is nothing wrong with protecting yourself in this world. After traveling for just one day, the power gain surpassed that of most people in this world. Bloodline really determines everything? Uzumaki Naruto opened the door and closed the door after saying I'm leaving as usual. When Uzumaki Naruto wanted to possess the power of chakra himself, he said that the chakra was concentrated on his legs, and he jumped five or six meters high with a slight jump. Uzumaki Naruto felt the feeling of his body cutting through the sky in the air. Naruto gently exerted force on his feet. Jump from one roof to another. This feels so good Naruto said excitedly. His body floated in the air, his eyes watching the surrounding buildings retreat rapidly. I don't know how long I ran, but I was already very close to the Hokage Rock. Uzumaki Naruto thought, going to the Hokage Rock to have a look. Chakra can not only increase speed horizontally, but also increase height vertically astonishingly. Uzumaki Naruto tapped his toes and shuttled back and forth on the rock wall. Naruto also used the principle of climbing trees to hang himself on the surrounding rock walls. It was like Spider-Man, flying up and down walls. Chakra is really an almost omnipotent energy. After the initial experience of Chakra's abilities, Naruto opened his arms on the head of the fourth Hokage rock to welcome the sun. Uzumaki Naruto's body was bathed in the sun, and he seemed to be covered in golden clothes. Uzumaki Naruto really wanted to say, my time has come. Advertisement. Naruto looked at the village called Konoha from a high position, with an unobstructed view, and felt the mood of Uchiha Madara and Senjo Hashirama when they stood here. For them, peace had come, but for Uzumaki Naruto, this was not enough. There is still a lot of darkness in Kanaha village. When darkness is exposed to the sun, any darkness is worth mentioning. Naruto's body is covered with golden chakra. Of course, under the cover of green energy in his body, Naruto is the only one who sees the golden chakra. What is the green ability? It can change the color of the hidden chakra. I will have the opportunity to study it in the future. Naruto wants to use Nine Tails mode to experience Kanaha village. There are so many people with malicious intentions. Uzumaki Naruto sensed that there were many people with malicious intentions. Uzumaki Naruto suddenly sensed unimaginable malice and was startled. But there is also a lot of goodwill perceived, but the amount of goodwill is far less than the amount of malice. The malice emanating from the underground of the village was the strongest. In fact, Naruto could understand most of the malice. Nine Tails killed many people when they went on a rampage. The malice generated by their relatives was different from the malice generated by this person. And there seems to be something wrong with that person's chakra. It seems that there are several types of chakra in the same person's body. 
who has such great malice towards Azumaki Naruto, combined with the chakra he just sensed, and the location. Naruto vaguely had an answer in his mind, it couldn't be Danzo. Is that the route? If you have the opportunity to learn the ability to hide chakra, be sure to dive in and take a look. Verify. Advertisement. Chapter 4 Going to School. Advertisement. Naruto got dressed and walked on the streets of Kanaha village. He looked at the indifferent eyes of the people around him without any emotion in his heart. It didn't matter if he was hostile. There was no need to care about what others thought of him. Walk into school and sit in your own seat. The voices of classmates kept coming and going, and they all talked about what happened during the vacation very lively. There was also a little fat man eating a large bag of potato chips. Sitting next to him were a man with a pineapple head and a man with a puppy on his head. Naruto also knows the names and origins of these three people very well. Akimichi Koji of the Akamika clan. The people of the Akamika clan are all very fat. This is related to their family inheritance. They accumulate huge amounts of fat in daily life, and during battle, they use the secret technique of butterfly transformation to convert the fat into chakra and burst it out in one breath. Inuzuka Kiba of the Inuzuka clan. Everyone in the Inuzuka clan will have a ninja dog to accompany them when they grow up, and they can combine with the ninja dog to release ninjutsu. For them, the ninja dog is a partner and comrade in arms. The one with the pineapple head is from the Nara clan, Nara Shikamaru. His IQ is much higher than the average, but his personality is very trouble-free. Ninjutsu is a family secret technique related to the manipulation of shadows. Naruto glanced at the people around him and found no one of note, so he just lay down on the seat. But Naruto, lying on the table, just thought they were very noisy. Although Naruto forced himself to ignore the feeling of cold eyes and disgust in the morning. But Naruto's mood still unstoppably worsened. If you stay in this environment for a long time, your psychology may become distorted. At this moment, the surroundings suddenly became quiet, and all the students' voices stopped. The classroom door suddenly opened, and a ninja in his twenties walked in, wearing a chinin vest, a Kanaha forehead protector on his forehead, and a scar above his nose. This is Naruto's class teacher, Omino Iruka. Omino Iruka said, quiet, roll call begins now. If you don't arrive, you will be punished by waiting. Iruka cleared his throat and called out. Advertisement. Sato Wood Industry. Arrive. As the roll call continued, Naruto heard several familiar names. Achiha Suzuki. Arrive. Harano Sakura. Arrive. Hayagahi Neda. Arrive. Hayagahi Neda answered softly, a little shyly. Naruto also raised his head to look at Hayagahi Neda, but unexpectedly Hayagahi Neda blushed and buried her face. Okay, no one is late, let's start class now, let's look at the definition of chakra first. As Iruka began to lecture, some of the students in the audience began to fall asleep, some began to shake the dogs, and some began to eat. Naruto listened very seriously, he wanted to know what chakra was to the ninja world. Hey teacher Iruka suddenly roared. Inuzuka Kiba, Akimichi Koji, you too, get out of here. If you don't study well in the classroom, you will also affect other students and you will be punished by standing still. Inuzuka Kiba whispered to Akamaro, when we go out later, we can go play without the teacher noticing. Akamaro also called out in a low voice. Advertisement. The two of them stood outside the corridor. Ya said to Koji, let's just skip school. Koji replied hesitantly, isn't that good? Ya said with a proud face, anyway, we basically know what the teacher said. Let's go out and relax. Let's go. As the class ended, Iruka wanted to see how those two people were doing. Iruka's face turned dark and he roared, where are these two people? In fact, Naruto sensed it when these two skipped class and left. I woke up this morning and discovered that I could sense other people's chakras, like instinct, so they memorized their chakras in the first place when they were about to skip class. Test the limits of perception while listening to the lecture. Is the maximum distance without turning on nine tails chakra ten kilometers? It's similar to the range of Kagura's heart eyes of Siang Phosphorus. Is this also an ability brought about by the atavism of the body? If the perception ability of the Uzumaki clan, plus the perception ability of nine tails, can be superimposed, Uzumaki Naruto shook his head, and it still needs to be tested. And what secrets my body has, this also needs to be developed. Just after school, let's test our physical strength and practice some physical skills. I haven't forgotten that this is the world of the Hokage. Naruto finished his warm-up and started running. 100 laps, Uzumaki Naruto has run 100 laps along the edge of Kanaha, but Uzumaki Naruto feels that he still has plenty of physical strength. 200 laps, 300 laps, advertisement. Naruto felt like he could still run, but the sun had already set. Naruto's stomach growled. Naruto ran towards Ichiraku Ramen House, one of the few places where Naruto could buy something. Hey, Naruto is here. You're welcome to eat whatever you want. Uncle Ichiraku said cheerfully. Have a bowl of tonkotsu ramen. Naruto, wait a minute, I'll be here soon. Uncle Ichiraku kneaded the dough skillfully. The tonkotsu ramen was placed in front of Naruto. Naruto ignored the fact that it was hot and began to eat the noodles in three bites at a time. Uncle Ichiraku, have another bowl. Okay, Naruto, you can eat as much as you want. After Naruto finished eating, he looked at the mountain high bowl on the table and thought strangely that my appetite was bigger than Naruto's. Is this what I ate? A question mark appeared on Naruto's head. Okay, Uncle Ichiraku, I'm full. After giving me the money, I looked at my frog wallet that was mostly deflated. It seemed that I had to find a way to be self-reliant. Otherwise, after two meals, my money would be completely gone. Come back next time Ichiraku said with a wave of his hand. Seeing Naruto eating so much, he was very happy as a chef. This was a recognition of his cooking skills. After Naruto returned home, he summarized the results of today's test. After running 300 laps around Kanaha village, he felt no obvious discomfort. His physical strength was much stronger than I imagined, and his food intake was also significantly increased. Eat more if you need it now to get enough nutrition. The sensing range needs to be contacted to see if there is any change in the distance. Teijutsu also takes time to practice, and enemies in the later stages are basically immune to jonin techniques. The body needs a lot of nutrients, which means it needs energy, so can chakra replace part of it? Of course, you can't use your own chakra, use someone else's chakra. Naruto hasn't forgotten that there is a large power bank in his body. You can ask Nine Tails tonight. Nine Tails should not need to eat, and he has a lot of chakra. If it can be transformed, it can greatly reduce the consumption of money and time. Speaking of Bing Liang Wan, what is my theory? 
Bing Liang Wan can quickly restore physical strength and chakra, but it doesn't say whether it can relieve hunger. Let's see if Nine Tails can find a way to reduce the food intake and still exercise normally without affecting the body. Advertisement. Chapter 5 The Certain Truth. Advertisement. Naruto entered that greatly changed consciousness space. Nine Tails is still lying here looking unhappy. Kid, what are you doing again? Nine Tails opened his eyes impatiently. Naruto didn't seem to notice Nine Tails' disgust and lay directly on Nine Tails' body. And Nine Tails, who saw Naruto lying on top of them, made no move to stop Naruto. Naruto lay on Nine Tails and asked with his eyes closed, Karema, how did you tailed beasts manage to get sealed by humans? Speaking of this, Nine Tails got angry, we tailed beasts were scattered around by the Sage of Six Paths, and we were very peaceful until one day I met that human. That man named Uchiha Madara has very evil power. He possesses the Manjikyo Sharinan and manipulates me to take advantage of my power. But that man failed in the end and was defeated by Senjo Hashirama. Senjo Hashirama was afraid of my power and sealed me to prevent my power from being used again. Senjo Hashirama's power is so powerful that even I can't touch it head on. When Nine Tails said this, he roared, It's all caused by you bastard humans. Although Uchiha Madara and Senjo Hashirama are both dead, the descendant of the Uzumaki clan sealed me in his body. That sealing method is called Jinshuriki. The first Uzumaki Mito Nine Tails Jinshuriki. You are now the third Nine Tails Jinshuriki. So who is the second Jinshuriki? Naruto asked curiously. Advertisement. Some information in anime is different from reality. You can't completely trust the information in anime. This is the real world. The second Nine Tails Jinchuriki is Azumaki Kushin and Nine Tails hesitated for a while and then said. Also your mother. I know Naruto seemed to understand something. Sure enough, the identity has not changed. What about father? What is my father's name? Uzumaki Naruto asked. Namikaze Minato. Now that you know the truth, what will you do Uzumaki Naruto? Nine Tails wanted to see what Naruto would do next. Naruto just listened quietly and jumped off Nine Tails. After Naruto confirmed that the information was consistent with what he knew, standing in front of Nine Tails pupils, he said firmly to Nine Tails, I will become a Hokage, and then personally transform this Kanaha village that belongs to me, and I will rule here. Nine Tails laughed loudly after hearing this, do you regard Kanaha as your property now? What about me, the one who killed your parents? Naruto was silent for a while and said, I will one day remove the resentment from you and set you free. Naruto added in his heart, let the mastermind die in my hands. Uchiha Obito, I will never let you go, and the people related to this matter. Hearing this answer, Nine Tails also sat up from lying down. Looking at Naruto seriously, he said, eliminate my resentment. If you have the ability, try it, but you have to let me go. Do you know the consequences of that? Clear. Naruto smiled, isn't it just death? There is no one who can't die. The third Nine Tails Jinchuriki may be the last one. Don't worry, Karema will be freed before I die. Looking at Naruto's face, Nine Tails thought of Sage of Six Paths. Advertisement. By the way, Karema, how much have you eaten in your life? How do you live except in Jinchuriki's body after you have lived for so long? Do you need to eat? Can you teach me? I don't have money to eat now. Nine Tails was speechless and replied angrily, We tailed beasts are pure energy bodies and don't need to eat. Chakra is enough. This kind of ability can't help you. As Nine Tails Jinchuriki, you are too embarrassed. Figure it out yourself. After saying that, Nine Tails lay down again and closed his eyes. Is there no other way? Naruto thought. Fortunately, there is a backup plan. Kanaha village is so big and there are some training grounds. There must be a lot of edible animals in there, and they are huge. It's a bit of a waste of time, but it's also a good place to experiment with your abilities. But when I test my abilities, I have to find a way to hide it from the people who have been following me. As soon as school was over the next day, Naruto went straight to the Ichiraku ramen shop. Uncle Ichiraku greeted Naruto happily when he saw him. Naruto asked anxiously, Uncle Ichiraku, does he have any seasoning? Uncle Ichiraku was confused as to what Naruto wanted the seasoning for. But he still handed several kinds to Naruto, and Naruto put the money directly on the table. He said quickly and then ran towards the forest of death. Naruto came to the edge of the forest of death and jumped directly into it. Umbu, who had been monitoring Naruto at this time, watched Naruto enter the forest of death. This matter must be notified to the third generation project immediately. Shadow clone technique, white smoke. A man who looked the same as Umbu before appeared in front of him. You go notify the third Hokage immediately and deactivate the shadow clone technique. The clone replied I know the true form and rushed towards the Hokage building. The main body followed Naruto into the forest of death. Naruto had seen a huge wild boar in the forest of death. Naruto condensed the chakra and dropped it from the sky, then punched the boar directly in the face. The huge impact was transmitted from the wild boar's face to the surrounding areas. The huge body was sent flying, crushing the surrounding trees. Advertisement. Naruto rubbed his hands, it looks like there will be a big dinner tonight. The third Hokage received notification that Naruto himself had entered the forest of death, and ordered, we must ensure Naruto's safety and bring Naruto out safely. Why did Naruto enter the forest of death alone? The third Hokage felt very strange. After receiving the order, Umbu directly released the Shadow Clone. After the main body of the Death Forest received the message from Shadow Clone, it was unable to take action. That Umbu saw that Naruto solved the wild boar with one blow and then divided it. It's baked now. Umbu hid in the tree canopy and made up his mind to knock Naruto out if he continued to walk deeper into the forest of death, and then exit the forest of death. After all, his mission was to bring him out safely. Naruto happily sprinkled the seasoning on the meat and ate it with big mouthfuls. After eating, we walked towards the outside of the Death Forest. Umbu breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, he only lit a fire on the outside and did not attract anything else, otherwise he would be exposed. I came to the forest of death just to eat, which made me nervous. Watching Naruto return home, Umbu told the third Hokage the news. Just eating meat, nothing else, and Naruto defeated it all by himself. Sarutobi Hiruzen puffed on his cigarette. Yes, that's right. It's just eating. Umbu replied, kneeling on the ground. Okay, you go down first and continue to watch Naruto. If anything similar happens, let me know immediately. Is he a genius? It seems that he has inherited your talent. Minato, it seems that the attention now is not enough. I will go to Naruto's house tomorrow to see it in person. Sarutobi Hiruzen took a puff of cigarette and thought. Naruto had fallen asleep at this time, of course in the conscious space, and fell asleep with nine tails as a pillow. Advertisement. 
Chapter 6 Sarutobi Hiruzen Advertisement The sky in the evening was not bright. The sun was already as red as blood, and the blood-colored light dyed the blue sky red. After school at the ninja school, most of the students walked together, with only a small number of people walking alone. Naruto just walked to the road alone, and the surrounding classmates and parents who came to pick up their children all avoided him. There was an inexplicable force surrounding Naruto that separated him from the crowd around him. Why is this fox demon still in the village? Why does the third Hokage allow such a person to enter the village? Don't play with him. He is a fox demon. Stay away from him. Malice came from all directions, and Naruto felt very clearly the evil in people's hearts. Naruto had the urge to tear everyone around him into pieces, so he could only avoid it for now. Naruto couldn't kill them all directly now. Naruto tried his best to stay calm, bear the malice, keep a calm mind, and not be affected by external things. Naruto thought of those people who were bullied online and had bad words spoken to them, and his heart suddenly calmed down. Naruto lay at home for a while, and there was a knock on the door. Naruto tried to sense the chakra knocking on the door. He discovered that the other party's chakra was more than what he perceived as most people's chakra. Although it was not as much as his own chakra, it was still very large. Naruto opened the door, and what he saw was an old man with a very kind smile on his face. He was very old, and the wrinkles on his face had covered his entire face. At the same time, the old man's face was the same as the avatar on the Hokage Rock. Somewhat similar. Grandpa third generation, please come in. Naruto avoided Sarutobi Hiruzen's eyes and said hello. Naruto sensed no malice from the third Hokage but warm chakra. Naruto, how are you doing at the ninja school? Have you made any friends again? Sarutobi Hiruzen asked kindly. I want to make friends, but they don't want to play with me. No one is with me, and no one in the village likes me. Advertisement. Naruto's nose suddenly became sore as he spoke, and he burst into tears, hugging Sarutobi Hiruzen's lap. Naruto's face was filled with tears, and tears fell from the corners of Naruto's eyes like water from a mountain. Okay Naruto, I believe Naruto you will be able to make friends. I will punish the people in the village well and vent my anger for our little Naruto, okay. Sarutobi Hiruzen touched Naruto's little head and comforted him. Okay, I believe Grandpa third generation Naruto slowly stopped crying, but Naruto's little face was still covered with tears. Still a child Sarutobi Hiruzen sighed inwardly. Sarutobi Hiruzen continued to ask softly, Naruto, can you tell me what you are doing in the death forest? When Naruto heard this, tears seemed to fall from his eyes again. His mouth tightened, and he said very aggrievedly, because I am very hungry, I want to eat Ichiraku ramen, but I don't have enough money, so I have to go to the forest to find food, and I am very strong. Sarutobi Hiruzen thought that Naruto's living expenses should be calculated, even if it was a little less, it would not be used up now. Most of the products around Naruto will not be sold to him because of Naruto's identity. I have also checked the stores that are willing to sell to Naruto and there are no problems. Sarutobi Hiruzen recalled Naruto's usual place, Ichiraku Ramen. Naruto's money should be spent on Ichiraku Ramen. Naruto, I'll treat you to Ichiraku Ramen today. Yeah Naruto agreed immediately. Third Hokage-sama, I'll start doing whatever you need right away. Naruto is here too. Uncle Ichiraku smiled. Today I'm just going to accompany Naruto to eat some tonkotsu ramen. Okay, I'll be here soon. Uncle Ichiraku, here's a bowl Naruto shouted loudly. Advertisement. Now that I know why Naruto's living expenses are not enough, I have to increase Naruto's living expenses, Sarutobi Hiruzen thought in his mind. Naruto, are you full? I'm full, I'm full. Sarutobi Hiruzen stroked Naruto's head just eat enough. In addition to treating Naruto to dinner, I have one other thing to do here today. I'm here to give you living expenses. Looking at Sarutobi Hiruzen's outstretched hand. Grandpa third generation, didn't I just give it to you this month? It's not time yet. Seeing how much you eat today, I understand that your original living expenses are not enough. Thank you Grandpa third generation Naruto said happily. Okay, Naruto, get some rest, you have to go to school tomorrow. Naruto lay on Nine Tails tail and asked like Nine Tails, why did you say Sarutobi Hiruzen came today? It couldn't be as simple as really coming to give me living expenses, although I didn't sense that he had anything to do with me. Negative emotion. Nine Tails snorted coldly, who knows, you humans are so convoluted, if you can get off me, you sleep on me every day. No, your place is so comfortable. It's more comfortable than my bed. Karema, what did you say about my acting skills just now? Is it really true? Karema is actually very surprised, why can you cry whenever you want, and the emotions are so real? It's like you really lose control of your emotions because of those things. Advertisement. Naruto chuckled, this is actually quite simple. In fact, those cold receptions did have a certain impact on my mood, but as long as I let go of suppressing negative emotions, my mood will collapse in an instant. My emotion is indeed real, but it's just not that serious. Now the living expenses have been settled. I just checked and my food intake is enough for me until the end of the month. Now ninjutsu should not be given for a short time. The school should teach some basic ninjutsu. If there is enough food, I should be able to do physical training. Let's see my limit. Yuan Fei Hiruzen shouldn't have any ill intentions towards me. Does he really want to cultivate me? But he probably didn't know that I knew the truth back then. If it wasn't him who leaked Nine Tails Jinchuriki's identity, then it was Danzo who should have leaked it. I feel that the strongest malicious emotion is at the root of the suspicion. He wants to control the power of Nine Tails. If he controls the power of Nine Tails with the wrong intention, he will only go berserk and reduce the chance of becoming a perfect Jinchuriki. No, that doesn't make sense. Unless Danzo just used the Nine Tails Jinchuriki as a disposable weapon, or Danzo has the power to control Nine Tails. Nine Tails rampages behind the enemy, then destroys the enemy, and finally jumps out to harvest Nine Tails. Killing two birds with one stone, Sarutobi Hiruzen should also know Danzo's plan, so he has always rejected Danzo's proposal to add Nine Tails Jinchuriki to the root. Does Sarutobi Hiruzen adopt a gentle policy? It's not bad, but Danzo is really disgusting. Karema, do you think there is anyone in Kanaha village besides Senjo Hashirama and my father Namikaze Minato who has the ability to seal you? Except for the third Hokage, he will also seal away the ghouls. Karema, Karema. Naruto shouted twice but there was no reply. Nine Tails closed his eyes and fell asleep as if he didn't hear Naruto's words. Karema, don't sleep, I haven't finished speaking yet. Wake up, I really fell asleep. 
Naruto muttered, lying on the fur that was the color of the sunset and slowly closing his eyes. Advertisement. Chapter 7 Practical Training. Advertisement. In the morning, some unknown birds stood on the branches, swaying gently, raising their heads, letting the surrounding people experience their beautiful singing voices. Naruto sat in his seat and listened carefully to Mr. Iraka's explanation of the spirit of the will of fire. Although Naruto knows that this will of fire has great flaws, if Naruto wants to be a Hokage, he must understand the will of fire. You don't have to believe it, but you must learn to use the will of fire to guide the actions of some people. Ahem, pay attention. There will be a practical test in the afternoon, so prepare in advance. As for actual combat, I didn't practice specifically, and I didn't know who my opponent was. Now start the actual duel training, in pairs. The people around him also became excited. Finally, they could engage in real combat instead of playing ninja games. Uchiha Suzuki heard the voices of the people around him, and a hint of disdain arose in his heart. I have practiced many times in actual combat training, and I practiced with my brother. None of you can compare to my brother. Naruto didn't know what Suzuki was thinking. If he knew, he would definitely laugh. Uchiha Suzuki's brother made Suzuki feel desperate a year later. Although Naruto had no idea to change this kind of thing, this kind of thing was the responsibility of the top management of Kanaha. It's your own fault, but sharing on is a good thing. The next group, Uchiha Suzuki and Azumaki Naruto teacher Iraka shouted. Naruto looked at it specifically. It can't be said that they are novices pecking each other, but the strength is too light. Even using chakra to increase speed and strength has no effect on me. Form the seal of opposition and begin. As soon as Mr. Iraka finished speaking, Suzuki rushed over and wanted to push Naruto to the ground. The speed is much faster than other students, but it was not enough for Naruto. He easily dodged Suzuki's hand and pressed directly on Suzuki's back, causing Suzuki to stumble. Suzuki's reaction was also very fast. He supported the ground with one hand and moved his feet back instantly. Kick away. Suzuki's foot collided directly with Naruto's fist, and with a muffled sound, Suzuki felt like his foot kicked against a steel plate. Suzuki felt a huge force, and Suzuki was directly knocked away by Naruto's fist. Naruto is so powerful that he can fight with Suzuki. All the students in the ninja school were exclaiming. Advertisement. It seems that I underestimated you, Naruto, be careful next time. Suzuki became serious and concentrated chakra on his legs. Suzuki rushed towards Naruto quickly, and the fist in his hand went straight towards Naruto's face, three minutes faster than before. The two fists and kicks exchanged, and Suzuki became more and more excited as they fought, because all his classmates in the ninja school were too weak, and he had not encountered such a strong person of his own age for a long time. Suzuki jumped up and slashed his leg directly towards Naruto. Suzuki's blow condensed all the chakra in his body. In Suzuki's heart, Naruto could never resist this blow. I won this match against Naruto, Suzuki couldn't help but think happily. What had seemed like a very intense confrontation with his classmates just now seemed to Naruto to be just playing house. Naruto just wanted to see what a ninja's Teijutsu fighting was like, but although Suzuki's attacks were very powerful among his peers, they were still far from enough to deal with Naruto. Naruto could easily predict Suzuki's attack by sensing the sound of Suzuki's fists and feet cutting through the air. You can also see Suzuki's breathing and chakra concentration at a glance. Not to mention that Naruto's physical fitness is even better than Suzuki's. He was just anticipating the moves just now, just to tease Suzuki. Seeing Suzuki's blow, Naruto just stepped back slightly, avoided it, and kicked out directly. Suzuki was kicked several meters away and lay on the ground. To outsiders, Naruto was just a little bit faster. The actual combat exercise is over. Uzumaki Naruto won this battle. Now we begin to receive the seal of reconciliation. Teacher Iraka announced the result. Suzuki-sama lost a girl muttered. There was a lot of discussion around why is Naruto so powerful, even more powerful than Uchiha. Some girls retorted, Naruto is just lucky. Suzuki-sama will definitely win next time. And Suzuki-sama is so handsome, he will definitely win next time. Naruto, I will definitely defeat you next time. Just wait for this Suzuki stared at Naruto and said. Next time I must have my brother train with me, and next time I must defeat Naruto, Suzuki thought to himself. Okay, next group, let's continue. It's just that Naruto and Suzuki's group is more enjoyable to watch, the rest are miserable. In a blink of an eye, it was time for school to end, and Naruto started today's training. First, he would warm up and run hundreds of laps around Kanaha village. Advertisement. Do a few hundred sets of push UPS. This fox demon is here every day, affecting other people's business. This kid runs along Kanaha village every day, I don't know what he is doing. There can't be any conspiracy, someone else said around. Don't be stupid, he's probably training. My son is a ninja, and they also have to train, but it's hard work. A boss selling masks nearby said. I don't know why you want this fox demon to become a ninja, but he is really serious and persistent enough. Never mind him, it has nothing to do with me, said the department store seller. When Naruto finished training, on the distant horizon, the sun had completely set, night had fallen, and the cool wind blew on Naruto's body. Naruto wondered why he had never been so motivated to exercise before, nor had he had the self-control. In the world of Hokage, I am full of motivation and gain a lot every day. Take a shower and eat. Naruto lay on the bed and directly entered the conscious space. Karema, here I go again. Nine tails just exhaled, turned his head to the other side, and closed his eyes. Karema was like this, and Naruto wasn't angry either. I want to learn Tailed Beast Bomb, Naruto said to Nine Tails. Hearing the words Tailed Beast Bomb, Nine Tails opened his eyes, staring at Naruto fiercely. How did you know? Oh, don't worry about how I know this. I can use the Nine Tails chakra to stay sane now, but I don't know how the Tailed Beast Bomb works, so I can't use it. Teach me, Karama. Are you serious? You might die, kid. Strong power requires taking risks. I'm ready. After saying that, Naruto brushed his mind and entered the golden body mode. Let me explain the principles of Tailed Beast Bomb first. Listen carefully. The Tailed Beast Bomb controls the Chakra of the Tailed Beast. The Chakra of the Tailed Beast also has attributes. The Chakra of the Tailed Beast is composed of the Yin Attribute Blue Chakra and the Yin Attribute Purple Black Chakra. Advertisement. Let your Chakra form change to ultimate, mix and compress it into an ultra dense ball in your mouth with a ratio of Yin and Yang of 2 colon 8, and then release it in one breath. But this process is quite dangerous. Once the mixing ratio is wrong, why will the Jade become extremely unstable or extremely stable? If it is extremely unstable, it will explode before you launch it. If it is extremely stable, it will be difficult to explode and has no power. 
Your chakra control ability is okay, but you still need to pay special attention to control the proportion. Idiot, throw it out. Naruto had condensed a black ball, and the black ball slowly jumped in Naruto's hand. Naruto threw the black ball several hundred meters away. There was a loud noise, and along with the shock wave, a huge mushroom cloud rose. Nine tails had already sat up and roared, Idiot, the proportion is wrong. You will go see Sage of Six Paths a little later. Sorry, sorry. Karema, my power was okay the first time. It will definitely not happen next time. Naruto gave Nine Tails a thumbs up. Bang, a huge voice came to mind again. The entire space of consciousness was filled with Nine Tails roar. The proportion is wrong, there are too many yin attributes, but it's wrong and there are too many yin attributes. The entire space of consciousness was blasted with craters, and the original grass had long since disappeared. Turf flew everywhere, and there were dozens of large craters on the ground. It will definitely work this time Naruto condensed the tailed beast chakra in a ratio of 8 colon 2, perfectly forming a black sphere in his hand. The black sphere floated steadily in Naruto's hands. Look Nine Tails, I succeeded, I successfully learned the tailed beast bomb Naruto said excitedly. Nine Tails hummed, not bad. I mastered the tailed beast bomb in such a short time. This time the explosion sounded, Nine Tails did not roar but continued, if you want to increase the power, you should follow the proportion. The more chakra injected, the greater the power. I finally learned it. Naruto sat next to Nine Tails' paw and leaned in. Naruto's voice became lower and lower, and he fell asleep against Nine Tails. Nine Tails just put Naruto gently on his back and closed his eyes. Close your eyes and act like normal. After exercising and consuming a lot of chakra to practice the tailed beast bomb, Naruto was physically and mentally exhausted. As Naruto fell asleep, Naruto's consciousness space absorbed Nine Tails' chakra, the ground slowly recovered, and the grass slowly grew back. The green energy directed the Nine Tails' chakra to relieve Naruto's fatigue from today's workout and repair the damaged areas of Naruto's body due to the workout. The green energy merged more closely with Naruto. Advertisement. Chapter 8 One year later. Advertisement. In the early morning, the sun had just risen, but there was a faint chill in the air. The sunlight penetrated the fog and brought light to the earth, and the sunlight shone into Naruto's room. The sun shone on Naruto's face, he frowned, turned over and continued to sleep. Naruto was unusually late. Because of the tailed beast bomb practice last night, he woke up nearly 20 minutes late for class today. Naruto didn't panic at all, put on orange clothes, brought various ninja tools, and tied up his long golden hair. Going out, Naruto used his legs to gather chakra, and jumped up, just like the first time he used chakra, but now his face was not excited, but calm. He was now very familiar with how to use chakra. Skilled. I saw him tapping his toes, stepping on the roof and flying away. If it hadn't been for a relay by chance, he would have definitely been flying. After a while, we were already in front of the school gate. Naruto knocked on the door and walked straight in. Teacher Iruka was roaring in class, shouting at the problem children. Iruka's entire face was twisted, obviously very angry. Iruka sensei Naruto continued to shout as if he didn't see this scene. Iruka heard Naruto's voice and looked back. It's Naruto, go to your seat quickly. Teacher Iruka showed Naruto what Situan opera face changing is. Advertisement. One second he was still roaring to open the meeting, but the next second he seemed to be a different person. Naruto couldn't help but feel a little funny. Teacher Iruka was really working hard. Originally, Naruto was also a problem child. After entering school, he played pranks every day and wanted to attract others' attention. Most of the students in the class were influenced by their parents and Naruto's desperate attempts to tease people, which led to many students not playing with Naruto. But when I become Naruto, I won't go out of my way to attract other people's attention. Instead, I will keep a low profile. This is also the reason why Iruka changed his attitude towards Naruto and did not pursue the reason for being late. Okay, please be quiet and continue the class. Next we will talk. As the days passed, Naruto's life did not change much. He listened carefully to the lectures and continued to practice physical fitness and taijutsu at night. During this year, the ninja school taught some basic ninjutsu and the use of various weapons, such as escape techniques and the three-body technique. Three-body technique is clone technique, body replacement technique, transformation technique. However, Naruto has practiced in private, and can use clone technique to separate three to five clones without using the seal. Clone technique has no entity, it is just an illusion constructed by chakra. The body replacement technique is essentially just an illusion. At the moment of the enemy's attack, the items you carry or the surrounding objects change into your own appearance to bear the attack for you, making the enemy mistakenly think that you have been hit, and the body is hidden. Sneak attack when the enemy is relaxed, body replacement technique has nothing to do with time and space ninjutsu, it just looks like it. But this ninjutsu is most likely to fool a genin or an inexperienced shinin. It's relatively easy for jonin to see through. Transformation technique, you can change your appearance, for example, into the appearance of others, or you can change into objects, but after all, it is fake. You can know the authenticity by just touching it. Transformation technique cannot deceive the sense of touch, it can only deceive the vision, and it cannot always maintain, with time limit. In Genin's battle, he doesn't use much ninjutsu. Firstly, his chakra is limited, and secondly, he doesn't know many ninjutsu. For civilians, apart from the basic ninjutsu taught in schools, basically only shuriken and taijutsu can be used to fight. People with family inheritance don't care about the ninjutsu taught in schools. They themselves are taught in schools and spend most of their time practicing their own family secrets. For example, the doubling technique, the shadow imitation technique, the insect control technique, and the techniques that work with the ninja dog, the byakugan, and the techniques related to the rinnegan. Advertisement. And to practice physical arts, you also need a teacher to teach you how to practice without getting injured, which is not accessible to civilians. Naruto can practice taijutsu unscrupulously simply because his physique is much better than that of ordinary people. The body can repair damage on its own, which would have been a long time ago for an average person. I don't know if it's due to Naruto's physical condition, but Naruto is now a bit taller than his peers, now about 1.5 meters tall. He is already taller than the 12-year-old Naruto who was malnourished and ate instant noodles every day. Naruto looked in the mirror, he saw sunshine, confidence, and blue eyes full of hope. Naruto opened his clothes, and the slightly bulging muscles on his body showed the results of this year's training. 
Naruto has never slacked off this year, and he can hardly look like his former self, except for the three beards on his face that prove his identity. The sun shines into the room and lights up the room. The whole room gives people a sense of clarity and cleanliness, and everything is in order. Now Naruto's cleaning skills are getting better and better. He uses the wind attribute chakra to sweep the breeze across the room and blow out the dust in the room. Naruto walked out of the house, and the neighbor greeted him and opened the door. Naruto, are you going to school today? Yes he replied with a smile. I don't know since when, people gradually forgot about the fox demon, and fewer and fewer people mentioned the fox demon. Just seeing Naruto's warm smiling face makes people feel purified. Naruto's smiling face was as dazzling as the sun, the sun's holy brilliance, following the footsteps of the sun. This is also one of Naruto's methods of using chakra. Research has found that all emotions can be transmitted from one person to another in the blink of an eye. The more vivid your expressions and the clearer your expression, the more contagious your emotions will be, and chakra can enhance this contagiousness. Naruto's chakra is very warm. As long as Naruto's heart remains sunny and positive, part of the chakra will flow on Naruto's body surface. However, the amount of chakra required is relatively small. If there is too much chakra, it will be noticed by others. Advertisement. After discovering that chakra has this characteristic, Naruto increased his contact with the outside world, and gradually changed the villagers' view of himself through the accumulation of time. Sage of Six Paths was right, chakra can make people understand each other, and now he understands the specific meaning of this sentence. Hey, Naruto, it's so early today. What do you want to eat today? Said a meatball shop owner. Three skewers of glutinous rice balls, take them away. The boss quickly installed it and handed it to Naruto. There was an old man moving goods, dragging a cart on the road, with several relatively large boxes stacked on top of each other. The wheels of the cart stepped on something, bumped, and the goods suddenly slipped from the top. Seeing this, Naruto rushed to the box very quickly, supported the box with one hand to stabilize it, and returned to its original position. Thank you. It would be a big problem if the goods were damaged. You're welcome, I'm a ninja, it's just a little effort. Naruto replied with a smile. Naruto's handsome face and warm smile enveloped the earth like the sun. The old man seemed to have seen a god and knelt down to worship. Thank you for your help, ninja-sama. Naruto walked down the street. Naruto's reputation gradually spread in the village, and now everyone knew that there was a person as warm as the sun. By helping people, coupled with the chakra that embodies one's own inner self, such a charisma of personality is hard to resist for an ordinary person. This is a manifestation of charisma. Ashira, the son of sage of six paths, can unknowingly infect others through love. After Naruto inherited his chakra, he also developed this ability, and the scene of mouth escape was born. But the most important thing is to be firm in your heart. Chakra also has the power of the heart. You must choose to believe in yourself. Only by believing in your heart can you keep going. Advertisement. Chapter 9 The Night of Genocide. Advertisement. Uchiha Itaka looked at Suzuki surrounded by female classmates, with a hint of tenderness on his face. But Uchiha Itaka's eyes instantly turned cold when he thought of the situation of the Uchiha clan. Kill all the Uchiha clan who are preparing to rebel, leaving no one alive and not allowing them to affect the village. Once chaos breaks out in Konoha village, the other four ninja villages will definitely be ready to take action. If the fourth ninja war is caused by Uchiha's rebellion, the Uchiha clan will not be involved by then. If Uchiha does not intend to put down the rebellion, thought, then Uchiha must be destroyed. Uchiha Itake is not only Uchiha's Uchiha Itake but also Kanaha village's Uchiha Itake. For Itake, who has been thinking in a Hokage way since childhood, the collective is more important than anything else, and the village is more important than the family. The exchange is to keep his brother Suzuki's life, as long as he can kill all Uchiha before the rebellion. Some time ago, a masked man came to me. The masked man called himself Uchiha Madara. He could help him eliminate Uchiha, but the prerequisite was that he could not attack the village. At the same time, if he joined them, he could not completely kill all the people on his own. The time is set for tonight, when Umbu will also cooperate and raise the barrier. Is it about to begin? The night of genocide. Naruto, who has the ability to sense emotions, senses the murderous aura rising in the air. In addition, Naruto just sensed an unusual chakra on the school rooftop. This chakra is somewhat similar to Suzuki, but it is colder than chakra and Suzuki. This person is very strong. At this point in time, it should be Uchiha Itake. Uchiha Itake is a very troublesome person. His Juken sword comes with a very powerful sealing technique, and for the sake of Kanaha village, he can do it to this extent. Advertisement. Uchiha Itake was a mistake to be born in Uchiha. It looks like there will be a lot of blood today. There will be a special drill today, and no one can take leave. Teacher Iruka announced the news standing in the classroom. At the same time, your parents will be notified of the results of this drill. The classmates immediately complained when they heard the news, but Uchiha Suzuki looked excited. If you can get first place, you can tell your brother the good news and ask him to practice shuriken with you. The exercise was not very difficult and did not involve much fighting. It was just extremely time-consuming and tested the ninja's ability to collect intelligence. If we want to save Suzuki's life, we can't let Suzuki go back early, so the arranged drill will delay it. Fortunately, I was prepared. Now let's take a look at my improved version of clone technique. This exercise was in a prescribed area. Naruto was aware of the chakra around him at all times, and entered Nine Tails mode after confirming that there were no problems. Clone technique modification, Naruto developed the Nine Tails chakra version of the shadow clone technique this year by learning the principles of chakra, adding the principles of the shadow clone technique created by second generation in the original work, and chakra resonance. However, Naruto's learning time was too short, and the ninjutsu he developed was very rough, so he could only barely use it in Nine Tails mode. The two Narutos nodded to each other. Hurry up and go to the main body. Leave it to me to come out. Try to avoid fights. This version of Shadow Clone won't last long. Naruto first sneaked into a place and put on the clothes and mask he purchased through transformation technique. Naruto channeled the negative chakra of nine tails and used the transformation technique, turning into a black-haired man about 1.8 meters tall with a fox mask on his face and a black robe with a white scarf on the collar. It is the path of the ninja. Uzumaki Menma's costume, coupled with the negative chakra of nine tails, even if there are sentient ninjas, they will only perceive strong malice. The negative chakra of nine tails can also be regarded as an alternative nine tails mode. Advertisement. 
Under the bloody night, Uchiha Itaka stood on the Uchiha telephone pole, with three Tomo Sherinan in his eyes as red as dripping blood. Uchiha Itaka looked at the ordinary children at Uchiha station with firm eyes. Itaka had already made up his mind. Uchiha Itaka disappeared in an instant. When he reappeared, wearing a mask belonging to Umbu, he walked to the door of the Uchiha tribe and slowly pulled out the knife. The Uchiha station is also very lively at night, with the sounds of babies crying, children playing, and adults talking. For Uchiha, today is the most ordinary day. But the bloody moon showed that this night was unusual. At this time, the lights were still on inside the door, and the family was sitting on the tatami, chatting and eating. Who are you and what do you want to do? The man protected his wife and children behind him. You guys leave quickly. Before he could finish his words, he was slashed into the chest with a knife. The blood sprayed directly on the window, staining the window red with blood. The man's wife and children were not spared either. Their eyes reflected the sharp blade and the plain but blood-stained face. Uchiha Itaka came to them one by one. The knife in their hands was not hesitant. Whether it was an elderly person or a newborn child, the blade cut their bodies. The blood on Uchiha Itaka's body was about to kill him. Stained red. A man in a tiger skin one-eyed mask looks at the Uchiha tribesmen being massacred by Uchiha Itaki. A space channel appeared next to the masked man's eyes, sucking his body in. The people Uchiha Itaka killed just now were all tribesmen with no fighting ability. They had not even opened Sherinan yet, so they were worthless to him. The masked man's target is the three Tomo Sherinan, and the ordinary blood chakra eyes are useless. Advertisement. The body of the man in the mask of the Uchiha guards appeared out of thin air. Who are you? The Uchiha guard shouted. Sherinan, who are you and why do you have Sherinan? The guard's pupils trembled when he saw Sherinan. The masked man slashed with the knife at such a fast speed that even three Tomo Sherinan could hardly keep up. Dang the swords collided, this Uchiha was quite strong, otherwise he would not have entered the police force. The other members who heard the movement came over one after another, but the masked man ignored them, only to see the attack go directly through the masked man's body and pierce the wall behind him. The masked man cut off his neck with his second knife. Without hesitation, the masked man took off his eyes and put them in the salt water bottle he carried with him. I've got my first pair. The masked man's one-eyed expression was filled with joy, and he couldn't help but turn his attention to the other members of the security team. Everyone comes together, shurikens, great fireball, swords attack together, and they pass directly through. No matter what attack is useless, the next step is to massacre together. Naruto looked on with Menma's makeup, watching Obito massacre Uchiha, his eyes filled with murderous intent. It was this man who made him an orphan in this life. Naruto, what happened? I feel that negative emotions are contagious in your heart, Nine Tails reminded. It's a small matter, I'll take care of it, Naruto replied to Nine Tails. But Nine Tails felt Naruto's heart getting colder and colder. Naruto comforted himself that he couldn't take action now, it was not the time yet, but the murderous intention in Naruto's heart was indeed getting stronger and stronger. Advertisement. Chapter 10 Harvest Night. Advertisement. The killings continued under the bloody moonlight. None of the members of the Uchiha security team were enemies of the masked man. The last person in the security team was a middle-aged Uchiha man. Uchiha Yan covered his neck with his hands, but he still couldn't stop the blood flow, and he slowly spit out blood from his mouth. Lying on the floor full of blood, his chest heaved slightly, and he wanted to struggle, but his pupils dilated, the hand pressing on his neck fell down, and he died. The masked man praised, you are the only one here who is pretty good, but you are far behind me, so I will accept your eyes. The masked man skillfully took out the sherry non with his bloody hands. This was the fifth pair. Naruto suppressed his murderous intention towards the masked man and left here. As soon as the masked man took action, Naruto rushed to another place. He spent so much effort not just to see. After a year of practice, he was finally able to control some green energy. Naruto focused the green energy directly on his eyes. Naruto's eyes were directly dyed green, and the surrounding areas of Naruto's vision also became transparent. As Naruto's vision continued to zoom out, Naruto's eyes had the ability to see through. Not only could they see through, but they also had the visual range of the Byakugan, comparable to the inside of three Tomo Sherinan. Advertisement. Naruto's eyes tightened, and he murmured in a low voice, I found it, the place where Uchiha keeps his ninjutsu materials. The purpose of Naruto is to create a database for the Uchiha clan. For a noble family, the information on the Uchiha clan should be very complete. Although Naruto can control all attribute chakra ninjutsu at will, he is powerless against some techniques that are independent of attribute ninjutsu. Just like the shadow clone technique, Naruto doesn't know how to do it now, let alone multiple shadow clone. The reason why he can sneak in now is the chakra convergence disguise technique he learned from Umbu who was watching me, and it's not very good for such a perceptive ninja. Naruto needs ninjutsu scrolls, sealing techniques, and all the information collected by the Uchiha clan, and any weapons he wants. Naruto walked towards the door of the Uchiha clan's warehouse. No matter how many secret rooms there were, Naruto's see-through eyes could not escape. Naruto walked slowly towards the door of the secret room. Without releasing the seal, he could only break it violently. There was only a sound. Naruto used chakra to condense into huge claws and violently tore the seal with just one blow. If it were normal times, the person who imposed the seal would have called the security team to come and see who was brave enough to break into Uchiha. But the person who imposed the seal now may have been eliminated by Uchiha Itake or the mask man. What caught his eye were rows of scrolls placed neatly in grids. Naruto also saw on the walls where the scrolls were stored. The weapons hanging on them were mostly sickles and swords, probably from Uchiha Madara or other tribesmen. It's a weapon I've used before. When Naruto saw the scene through perspective, he knew that this must be the secret vault of the Uchiha clan. Not only did it contain seals, but it also contained so much information. Advertisement. Naruto quickly came to the compartment where the scrolls were stored and took out the storage scrolls he had prepared long ago from the ninja bag on his waist. Storage scrolls are very common in Kanaha village. They are not only used by ninjas, but also by some wealthy merchants. They will hire ninjas to buy particularly large capacity storage scrolls to transport goods, because large capacity storage scrolls are very expensive. Generally only ninjas can use it. High capacity reels are only used when quantities are particularly high. These scrolls were obtained by Naruto from people who were infected by his emotions. With a year of infection, Naruto's status in their hearts was nothing more than a few storage scrolls. Naruto opened the scroll a little and took a look. It contained the training method of fire style dragon flame singing. It seemed that these were indeed ninjutsu scrolls. Naruto could only pack them all up and find a quiet place to open them one by one when he returned. 
However, there are so many scrolls inside that contain the ninjutsu and some research information that Naruto wants. As long as there are useful things, it's not a loss. Naruto took out all the weapons and scrolls on the wall. Placing the ceiling scroll on the ground, Naruto injected chakra and sealed it. Flowing in the middle of the ceiling scroll, Naruto's chakra wrapped up the scrolls and weapons to be sealed, and pulled them towards the middle of the ceiling scroll. The scrolls disappeared one by one in the center, and the seal was successfully sealed with the sound of smoke. Before Naruto left, he used his clairvoyance eyes to look inside and out, and left after making sure that nothing was missing. Naruto remembered one thing. The clan leader Uchiha Fugaku is suspected of owning the Manjikyo Sharinan. Although he may be bumping into Uchiha Itake, the value of a pair of Manjikyo is still very high, and Suzuki will be back soon. If he wants to stop me, I have to protect my brother. Suzuki, enough to keep him busy, still has a good chance of getting the pair of Manjikyo. The clairvoyant eye was activated, Naruto hid in a dark corner, Naruto glanced around, and except for the bodies of the Uchiha clan, there was no other activity. Naruto looked towards the middle of the Uchiha clan. I saw Uchiha Itake hacking another clan member to death. Naruto looked in that direction. There was no living person in Uchiha here now. Uchiha Itake walked towards his home step by step. Umbu are hidden on the edge of the Uchiha tribe. Their mission was to prevent any living Uchiha clan members from escaping, and they also deliberately covered the barrier to hide the battle from the villagers. The Uchiha clan was on the edge of Konoha, and few people came here, so they could avoid being discovered. Advertisement. A memory about the exercise suddenly appeared in Naruto's mind. The exercise was over. After Naruto's clone went home, another clone that existed for only a second informed the main body. Now that the ninja school is out, the Uchiha clan has almost been killed. Now just wait for Uchiha Suzuki to come back and take Uchiha Fugaku's body. Uchiha Suzuki, after the exercise, the feeling of psychological foreboding became stronger and stronger, and the moon above his head became redder and redder. Uchiha Suzuki ran towards the clan quickly and stopped slowly when he saw the familiar gate. Today, the people of the Uchiha tribe are not as lively as before, and even the lights of the street lamps are flickering. Suzuki could only see darkness and lifelessness, with no signs of human activity, and he could even smell the smell of blood filling the air. In the Uchiha tribe, there seems to be another huge beast's mouth opening, trying to swallow the life that enters. Under the flickering illumination of the street lights, Suzuki's face flickered. Suzuki's trembling hand slowly grabbed the ninja bag on his waist. Suzuki's hand stopped shaking the moment he grabbed the kunao. Suzuki's eyes instantly became determined, and he walked toward the Uchiha tribe with this kunao in hand, until Suzuki's shadow was completely swallowed. A spark suddenly burst out from the street lamp. The light of the street lamp went out and was no longer bright. Uchiha had fallen into deep darkness. Advertisement. Chapter 11 Suzuki's Despair. Advertisement. A fair-skinned and beautiful child, wearing this black shirt and white pants, carrying a small crossbody bag, Uchiha Suzuki with a fan logo on the back of the clothes. Uchiha Suzuki has been running away for a while, and the houses that used to be brightly lit every day are now dark. Suzuki saw the corpse lying on the street and hurriedly ran to his home. He was afraid, afraid that his parents would also be. Uchiha Itake held the blood-stained knife in his hand, with tears streaming down his face. He killed his father and mother with his own hands. They didn't resist, they just accepted that they were going to die, because he doesn't want to kill each other with his son, and he also believes that Itaka can protect Suzuki, and he is still proud of his son even if he knows that he is facing such a situation, even if his ideas are different. Itaka looked at the door where the door was opened. Under the bloody moonlight, Itaka was waiting for his brother Suzuki to come. Suzuki opened the door and saw the bodies of his parents lying in a pool of blood, with his brother Uchiha Itaka standing next to him. Brother, father, and mother. Before Suzuki could finish speaking, Uchiha Itaka threw a shuriken and cut Suzuki's clothes. It also made Suzuki tremble all over. He didn't believe that his brother would hurt him. The three hook sharinan in Uchiha Itaka's eyes condenses into a shape resembling a curved shuriken, and the eyes glow red. Tsukuyomi, Suzuki had no time to react and was taken directly to Tsukuyomi's world, which was full of blood and killings, scenes of Itaka massacring his tribe. Sharinan could use illusions to recreate the scenes he had seen. Suzuki instantly fell to his knees in pain, shouting crazily, No, brother, stop, I don't want to see this. The powerful pain almost caused Suzuki to have a nervous breakdown, and he could only lie on the ground helplessly. He kept saying why, why? Advertisement. To test your metal, for Manjikyo Sharinan, you have the potential to open Manjikyo, so I will save your life. Your brother is just my disguise. Hate me. Uchiha Itaka left after saying this. Uchiha Suzuki was left staring in the direction Itaka left with hateful eyes, and then fainted. On the top of the tall building in the Uchiha tribe, a slender man wearing a black coat and a tiger skin mask was waiting for Uchiha Itaka to complete the final massacre. Is it over? The masked man turned to look at Itaka who suddenly appeared behind him and asked. Itaka wanted to say something else, but stopped talking. Under the bloody night, the space around the masked man began to distort from his right eye, and the whole person was sucked into another space. Itaka watched the masked man leave and finally couldn't help but kneel down on the ground and kill his own clan members and parents with his own hands. Now his spirit had reached its limit. Itaki arrived at the place agreed by the third Hokage. The third Hokage had been waiting here for a long time. Third Hokage said to Itaki with complicated eyes, Thank you for protecting the peace of the village. It's a pity that there is no other way. From now on, Kanaha will regard you as a defected ninja who killed a clan and put you on the wanted list, regardless of life or death. Itaki was silent for a while before answering to third Hokage. That's natural. After saying that, Itaka disappeared. He had one more thing to do before leaving the village. After easily killing the root ninja with Genjutsu, he left the village. Advertisement. Naruto hid in the shadows in the distance and listened to Uchiha Itaka's words to Suzuki. He couldn't help but sigh. Kindness to the rebels was cruelty to himself. The Uchiha clan could not integrate into the village because of second Hokage's policies, and their arrogant personality. Now it's down to this. Naruto sensed that Umbu was ready to make a move and had to seize the time. Naruto opened the ceiling scroll and sealed Uchiha Fugaku's body. Naruto wanted more than just Manjikyo. He wanted the information in the brain of the Uchiha clan leader. The Uchiha clan leader should know a lot. That's it for today. Danzo sama the number of corpses on the Uchiha list does not match, and several are missing. It has been confirmed that Uchiha Suzuki is alive. The most important thing missing is the body of Uchiha Fugaku, the leader of the Uchiha clan. 
The possibility cannot be ruled out that he is still alive. The root member said to an old man with a seal on his right hand and a bandage on his right eye. The roots next to him suddenly appeared. Sherry Nan said to Danzo, I will always watch you. As long as you dare to take action against Suzuki, I will give all the secrets of the village to the enemy. Uchiha attack his body turned into crows and flew around. Of course Uchiha attack left and came back to warn Danzo not to make any small moves. Danzo's face turned livid and he whispered damn it. After saving Uchiha Fugaku's body, Naruto rushed back to the room and released the shadow clone. Then he lay directly on the bed. As for the tools used to preserve the body, they also came from vendors who would not usually notice it. The time is still too short. Although there is no need to worry about money and channels, it is impossible to get too many things at once. The gain is huge. It would be great if I could use illusion to control these two annoying guys. Now I can only use blind spots to separate the clones, or create clones and hide them when practicing clone technique. I still have to study the contents of the scroll, and I don't have time to care about them. Moreover, the monitoring distance is a bit far, and the effect of infection without communication is greatly reduced. Advertisement. Umbu has reported the situation of this year to the third Hokage in detail, but they will make mistakes. This year, Naruto took advantage of the gap and left Umbu's sight many times. Naruto entered the conscious space as usual and lay down on Nine Tails skillfully. Nine Tails was also used to it. After all, Naruto was like this every night after being together for a year, and he was still not used to leaving. Naruto, there is something wrong with the negative emotions in your heart tonight. If you allow the negative emotions to erode, you may be eroded by my chakra again. Although this possibility is very low, you still need to pay attention to eliminate the source of the negative emotions. Nine Tails raised his head and said to Naruto who was lying on his back. Naruto just said casually, I just met an annoying person. If I have the chance, I won't show mercy. But his eyes were full of killing intent towards the masked man. Naruto took some time to calm down, not letting him affect his emotions. Karema, do you know ninjutsu, something like clone technique? Naruto asked Nine Tails curiously. Well, Nine Tails was silent for a few seconds, and his very embarrassing side could be seen with the naked eye. It's so noisy, I don't need to know how to do it. Nine Tails shouted loudly. What a pity. I originally wanted to ask Karema if he knows the sealing technique. After all, you have lived for so long, there must be some things I don't know about. Naruto asked in a teasing tone. Go away, it's nothing special. Tailed Beast Club doesn't have many ninjutsu. Only Jinchuriki can use it. Now that you have mastered my chakra, you can basically do everything I know. Naruto chuckled, we'll know tomorrow whether today's harvest is worth it. I'm really looking forward to the abilities of those manjikyo. Go to sleep, good night, Karema said Naruto and closed his eyes. Good night, Naruto Karema replied softly with the corners of his mouth raised. Advertisement. Chapter 12 Viewing the Scroll. Advertisement. The most serious and influential thing in the history of the two families in Kanaha since the founding of the village happened. The Uchiha clan, one of the families that founded Kanaha village together with the Senju clan, was exterminated, leaving only a seven-year-old child who was lucky enough to survive. The surviving member of the Uchiha clan is the clan leader's youngest son, Uchiha Suzuki. When Kanaha announced this news, the ninja world was shocked. The Uchiha clan was already one of the strongest ninja clans during the Sengoku period. The history of the Uchiha clan can be traced back to the Sage of Six Paths period. It is a family that has been passed down for such a long time. He was exterminated, and he did it alone. Have you heard that the Uchiha clan was wiped out? I heard it was someone from the same clan who did it. Now there is only one left, and his name seems to be Uchiha Suzuki. Ah, that Uchiha Suzuki is too miserable. I also heard that the person who did it was his brother. Naruto was walking on the street listening to people talking about what happened yesterday about the Uchiha clan. The destruction of Uchiha affected not only Kanaha but also the attitude of other ninja villages towards Kanaha. Today Sarutobi Hiruzen should officially announce that Uchiha Itake has become an S-class rebel ninja. This level of traitorous ninja is already the highest level of traitorous ninja. Most people are not qualified to do so. They will kill without mercy if they encounter someone. Teacher Irika stood on the podium and announced that Suzuki-san would need to take a few days off and would not be coming to school in the near future. A girl sitting two rows ahead said to her table mate, Why did you ask Suzuki for leave? Is he injured in any way? Advertisement. Suzuki is so powerful, there must be other reasons. That makes sense. I hope Suzuki comes back soon. Hey, Naruto, do you know why Suzuki took leave? The person who asked Naruto was a little girl with a slightly broad forehead and long pink hair, Harano Sakura. Naruto spread his hands, I'm not sure, you can wait until Suzuki comes and ask him yourself. Harano Sakura turned her head in disappointment. Do I have to tell you that Suzuki's relatives were all killed by his brother? For ninja school students, this kind of thing is not suitable for them to know. In the anime, Naruto and little Sakura also learned about it after joining class 7. In a blink of an eye, it was time for get out of class to end, and Naruto had to use part of his training time to look at those Uchiha scrolls. Naruto skillfully found a corner and Naruto continued walking towards home. When Naruto came out, he was already a clone. The moment Naruto's body uses the clone technique, he uses the transformation technique at the same time. Then use your clone to direct your gaze away. Naruto walked out in a secluded area, which was in another direction on the edge of Kanaha, deliberately avoiding Kanaha's patrols. Opened the scroll of the Uchiha clan, which contains many high-level ninjutsu. Found it, Shadow Clone Technique. Naruto took a look at the training method and his own Nine Tails version of Shadow Clone. Although the principles are the same, the effects are different. Shadow Clone is easier to learn, and the Nine Tails version has better resistance to strikes. Naruto looked at the chakra operation method above, and with the sound of smoke, a person exactly like Naruto appeared. Naruto thought of a way to make the most of this jutsu. The main body goes to practice physical training, the clone goes to learn ninjutsu and check information, and the other one goes to school. Advertisement. This will give you several times more time to practice. Naruto then separated into two clones again and looked at the scroll at the same time. If he was doing something delicate, as the number of clones increased, too many memories would be returned and it would take longer for the brain to sort out the memories. Too much can lead to schizophrenia, which is one of the drawbacks of multiple shadow clone. There are many ways to exercise, including rock climbing with one hand, walking forward with weights, punching, and kicking. This is Naruto's daily training. Only a strong body can withstand more powerful forces. The clone focused chakra on the fire-style scroll in his hand, and a ball of fire appeared directly in his hand. 
Then the flame continued to deform in Naruto's hand, turning into a dragon's head made of flames. Then he injected chakra to make the dragon's head bigger, and slowly transformed. Many. What is written on the scroll is that the fire dragon sings, and now Naruto can release it with one hand. This clone is specially used to practice ninjutsu. Release illusions by condensing chakra using the eyes as a medium. There are some illusions through Sherry Non. To release, there are genjutsu in Uchiha's collection that do not require Sherry Non, but Sherry Non can amplify genjutsu. I can try it tonight with Umbu who is watching me. If I succeed, I won't have to hide from my clone every day. This is Izanagi Naruto exclaimed. The function of Izanagi is to record the state of the caster with Sherry Non at the moment it is activated, and then within the effective time of the spell, the effective time is different for each person. Any damage suffered by the caster will be even the death of the caster can physically restore it to the state recorded by Sherry Non, but the chakra consumed by the caster will not be restored. The trade-off is that the eye using Izanagi will permanently lose light, and is therefore classified as a forbidden technique. When Suzuki fought against Danzo, Danzo used Izanagi, but Danzo was not from the Uchiha clan so the time was only one minute, one minute for one Sherry Non. But if someone from the Uchiha family uses it, the time will be greatly extended. When Uchiha Obito fights Konon, the duration of Izanagi is five minutes. Advertisement. Naruto also has a pair of Manjikyo in his hand. Naruto is still very interested in this ninjutsu that can be revived, and he has made a lot of money this time. Uchiha Fire Formation, this ninjutsu is a bit interesting. It is actually a barrier technique. It may not be as good as the Four Red Yang Formation, but it is comparable to the Four Purple Flame Formation. The advantage is that it can be used alone without coordination. Why is there no sealing technique? Hey, I found it. The transfer seal can seal specific pupil power into one's own eyes or the eyes of others. It can be activated automatically after a period of time or when the conditions set by the caster are met. These are Uchiha's accumulation, not only fire attribute ninjutsu, but also various attributes. After Naruto finished his training, he removed all traces of himself here as much as possible, used transformation technique to sense the position of monitoring Umbu through chakra, and directly used the control illusion he had just learned. Umbu's eyes under the mask instantly became dull. He had been invaded by Naruto's chakra, and the other one was also instantly knocked unconscious, and at the same time, illusion control was exerted. What is your true identity? Naruto grabbed Umbu's hair with his hands and lifted it up along with his body. Umbu didn't react to the intense pain caused by his body being lifted. My name is Yamanaka, and I am the Jonin of Kanaha village. Give me the secret technique of the Yamanaka clan. There was a trace of struggle in Yamanaka's eyes for three days, but was immediately suppressed by Naruto. Obediently, he handed over the secret technique of recording the Yamanaka clan to Naruto. With the secret technique of the Yamanaka clan, you can peek into the memory of Uchiha Fugaku. Forget what happened today and report that everything is normal. Naruto ordered. Moreover, Naruto had given hints to both of them. After Naruto's intelligence report, the only option was for everything to be normal. Now that we are only free from surveillance, it is not enough to become a ruler. Advertisement. Chapter 13 The Secret of Uchiha Fugaku. Advertisement. Since Naruto got the Shadow Clone, he has a lot of time. The Shadow Clone takes his place to deal with teachers and school. Now the theory of the ninja school no longer supports him to continue to become stronger, but there is still some knowledge about ninja literacy that needs to be learned. Naruto entered a secret room underground. It was far away from Kanaha village, and there were no ninjas around. With Naruto's speed, he could get here very quickly. There were walls, and only the torches inside illuminated the darkness slightly. There is a transparent coffin inside, and there is an operating table next to it. Uchiha Fugaku's body is stored in the transparent crystal coffin. Putting Uchiha Fugaku's body on the operating table, Naruto put his hand on Uchiha Fugaku's head and used Yamanaka's secret technique, mind reading. Naruto felt that his consciousness had entered another world, almost like entering his own consciousness space. Naruto was facing a stone tablet with strange words written on it. Fugaku said to Itaki, only the Manjikyo Sherry Non can read this stone tablet. With the Manjikyo Sherry Non, you should be able to read more. Itaki asked dismissively, do you want me to tell you the content? Advertisement. Fugaku just turned to look at Itaki who was kneeling on the floor. That's not necessary. After saying that, Manjikyo Sherry Non showed. Itaka said with surprise on his face, Manjikyo, daddy too. That was Manjikyo who was born with blood and tears after my friend saved me with his life during the third ninja war. Fugaku just turned his head and continued, the stone tablet contains Uchiha's path to salvation, but Manjikyo is not enough. The Uchiha family can go further. Uchiha had the wrong environment. The higher UPS were afraid of Sharingan's power and used Manjikyo to control nine tails. Now I can do it too. After saying that, he launched the pupil technique on Itaka's eyes, and something appeared in Itaka's eyes. Three Uchiha tribesmen kidnapped Izumaki Naruto, and then nine tails broke the seal. The powerful power shocked the entire Kanaha, and Kanaha remembered being killed by nine. Fear dominated by tails. Itaka's face was full of horror after watching it. He didn't expect that he could really control nine tails. Cold sweat instantly covered Itaka's face, which only made Itaka determined. Fugaku wants to launch a bloodless revolution, but he needs Itaka's help. The choice between family and village depends on Itaka's thoughts. As Fugaku's son, Itaka wanted to trust his son and help Uchiha, but what Fugaku didn't expect was that Itaka betrayed Uchiha in turn, missing a move. If it might really succeed with Itaka's help, Fugaku should also see the possibility of success, but Manjikyo I technique is not invincible. Fugaku believed in the wrong person, which led to Uchiha's destruction. Fugaku's Manjikyo SI technique is a scene after seeing the success, but it shouldn't be a true prediction of the future. In Uchiha Fugaku's memory, they captured Nine Tails Jinchuriki, and Naruto who was captured was also wearing a forehead protector. It should be the time it should be after Naruto graduates. Advertisement. But the strange thing is that when I become Naruto, this situation will almost never happen. Nine Tails will no longer go berserk. Even if it is controlled, it is impossible for Uchiha to catch me, but Manjikyo can control tailed beasts. And in Fugaku's eyes, I'm just a brat even after graduation. So this pair of Manjikyo is deduced based on the cognition of the person who uses Manjikyo, but if it is unknown information or the information is wrong, there will be a deviation in the predicted results. Both eyes are deductions, but the time involved is different. One can span a long time, and the other can only cover a short time. 
One can predict a few years from now, and the other can predict a few days from now. If it hadn't been for my arrival, then Fugaku's prediction would have been correct, but Fugaku did not deduce the genocide. Uchiha Itaka betrayed the Uchiha clan, which is also one of the limitations. Naruto exited Fugaku's head, dug out the Sherry Non, and the Mangekyo in his memory had turned into a three magadama form. He put the Mangekyo into a maintenance tank, randomly dealt with the scene, and left. Naruto kept thinking about the possibility of Kagaya's resurrection on his way back. Naruto has an anxious mentality. He has always been anxious when he knew the enemies he might face in the future. Although Naruto has many abilities, he is still unable to deal with those enemies. The reason for Naruto's anxiety was that the enemies he would face in the future were too strong. Atsutsuki Kagaya is the ancestor of Chakra. Kagaya, the source of Chakra, has ash bones of killing, heaven's control, expanding truth-seeking ball, and blood succession snare. It is the fusion of all the nature transformation of the yin and yang power of the five elements. It can fuse fire and wind. Ninjutsu of all seven natures, earth, water, thunder, yin, and yang. Facing such an enemy, Naruto alone has little chance of winning. If there is no change in Suzuki's life, as long as he lets nature take its course, Suzuki can become a helper. His brother Uchiha Itake had already paved the way. Now we need to prevent Kagaya from being resurrected as much as possible, and if we can't stop it, we need to weaken her as much as possible. Even if it's not Kagaya, Uchiha Madara is still a troublesome existence, but there will still be a long time, Black Zetsa, the sixth one, is still lurking in the dark. With his help, the possibility of Uchiha Madara's resurrection is very high, and there is also the matter of Nagato Rinnegan. Although Naruto can barely control green energy now, he doesn't understand what its essence is. Judging from the ability to increase his eyes, it is very useful. Advertisement. Inside the ninja school. Naruto, why aren't you very active lately, and you don't play with us anymore? Cheer up, okay, I'll give you some potato chips. The person who said this was a man in a green shirt with a, a plump boy in a white scarf. It's okay, Koji, thank you for your kindness. I'm just tired recently. Naruto, who was lying on the table, waved his hands feebly, and then lay down again. If the main body hadn't separated three shadow clone at once and the main body had gone to exercise, I wouldn't have had to save Chakra at all. My clone had been holding on to it for many days. In order to prevent too many memories from flooding in at the same time, Naruto would deactivate the clones one by one. After the digestion is completed, he would contact another one. The shadow clone used for school is usually the last one to deactivate, because the memories at school are not too complicated. As well as the low chakra consumption, Naruto used the Nine Tails Chakra to help several other clones, so the school's shadow clone could only save a little and try to last as long as possible. In a valley, two figures were attacking each other, and one person quickly threw a dozen shurikens. These shurikens collided with each other in the air, making clang, clang, clang sounds, forming a pair of huge black surrounding nets and flying towards Naruto. This is the shuriken technique unique to the Uchiha family. It uses the collision of the ninja tools to change the trajectory of the ninja tools, thereby attacking the enemy in all directions. Both the attack angle and attack density are first rate. Naruto's eyes calmed down, he observed the gaps between the shurikens in the air, and fired multiple shurikens in different directions, knocking away the flying shurikens. The other person also stopped when he saw this. Both of them are clones of Naruto and are now practicing the Uchiha family's shuriken technique. Advertisement. Chapter 14 Suzuki's Determination. Advertisement. Two days later, in a ward of Kanaha Hospital, a seven-year-old boy with fair skin and handsome features was lying on the bed of Kanaha Hospital, his eyes trembling slightly, as if he had exhausted all his strength. Suzuki slowly opened his eyes, revealing a hint of confusion. Looking at this unfamiliar scene, his mind went blank. This is Kanaha Hospital, where specialized medical ninjas treat the injured. Countless people come to Kanaha Hospital due to accidents every day. You finally woke up. Are you still feeling uncomfortable? A nurse in a white coat was very anxious to check on his condition. Being so stimulated, the mental stress would be very serious. The nurse who saw Suzuki regaining consciousness hurriedly ran forward to check his physical condition in case there were any other hidden injuries. He asked after making sure his brain was fully awake. Suzuki just shook his head numbly. Now his mind was blank and he didn't know anything. The nurse hurriedly ran out and reported to the medical ninja who was responsible for Suzuki. After all, Suzuki was the last tribe member of Uchiha in Kanaha and could not make any mistakes. You are not worthy of being killed by me. You are not brave enough. If you want to kill me, hate me, and then escape with your life. Live cowardly forever. Uchiha Itake looked at the man lying on the ground. Suzuki, with Manjikyo in his eyes flashing red, left directly after speaking. Ever since the night of the genocide, the gentle brother in Suzuki's heart, the brother who had always taken care of him and encouraged him, has died, and now only his enemies are living. Advertisement. Uchiha Itake, even if I try my best, I will kill you. Suzuki clenched his fists and his nails dug into his palms. Suzuki's eyes flashed slightly red. Only then did Suzuki take stock of his surroundings. The surroundings were pure white, except for the small yellow flowers on the table that were swaying slightly, and his clothes had turned into hospital gowns. Suzuki briefly took stock of his situation. His body was still a little weak, but he was not injured. Then he looked at the backpack on the table and his belongings that day, all well placed there. At this moment, Suzuki's ward door was pushed open by a pair of hands, and an old man wearing a white hokage robe and a red hokage hat walked into the ward. It was third hokage Sarutobi Hiruzen. Suzuki, are you feeling well? I have classified Itaki as an S-class traitorous ninja. Kanaha will hunt him down. You are the only one of your Uchiha clan who survived. The rest were killed by the traitor Uchiha Itaki. Sarutobi Hiruzen sighed, comforted Suzuki and said, Have a good rest, Uchiha's property will be safely in your hands. Kanaha will protect you. This was also an exchange with Itaki. Sarutobi Hiruzen told the nurse next to him, Take care of Suzuki. If Suzuki has any requirements or feels uncomfortable, send someone to notify me immediately. Okay, Lord Third Hokage, the nurse said with a nod. Sarutobi Hiruzen looked at Suzuki who was silent on the hospital bed, and couldn't help but feel pain in his heart. Then he turned and left. Recalling the agreement between himself and Itaki, he couldn't help but feel guilty for this child. Itaki sacrificed for Kanaha. Sarutobi Hiruzen's back slowly softened. He walked slowly outside, only to become rickety. It's like I've aged many years overnight. Advertisement. Third Hokage Sarutobi Hiruzen is old, and the ambition he once had is gone. Now he just wants to be an old man who protects Kanaha. 
Three days later, Suzuki had packed his things and was discharged from the hospital. If it weren't for the fact that the nurse said that I need to observe it for a few more days to make sure there are no sequelae, Suzuki had been discharged from the hospital a long time ago and went home to practice. Now he needed strong power to kill that man. The streets were filled with sympathy for Uchiha. These looks of sympathy and pity will now make Suzuki more determined to revitalize Uchiha and kill that man. In a valley, there were four identical boys, all with blonde hair, wearing white short sleeves and black shorts. Two of them were conducting confrontation training, and the sound of shurikens clashing with each other filled the air. There is also a boy sitting cross-legged on the ground, holding a huge scroll in his hand and carefully looking at the recorded information on it. The boy listened to the sounds of bumping around and couldn't help but yelled at the source of the sound, Can you two keep your noise down when you are fighting? There are still people reading here. Hey, did you hear that? Those two guys fighting it's true that once they fight, you can't hear the sound. The boy simply lay on the ground without looking at the scroll, letting it scatter on the ground. Advertisement. Bang, a sound like a smoke explosion sounded, and Naruto released the clone that was about to view the Uchiha scroll. As the memory was lifted, the clone's memories of the past two days instantly flooded into his mind. Naruto had just continued to do physical exercises near the valley, but the effect of the exercises began to decline. It seems that there is an age limit. I am only seven years old at most and less than eight years old now. My body has reached its bottleneck after nearly a year of exercise. Naruto's current physical fitness is actually much higher than that of Mike Guy at the same time. Although Naruto's training time is still relatively short, Naruto's physical potential is higher than Mike Guy. If you add Chakra Burst and Nine Tails Chakra, it is still possible to play a sixth gate or seven gate guy. Naruto sat cross-legged and sorted through the memories after the Shadow Clone was released. The memories that just flooded into his mind were basically the principles of ninjutsu and information. After reading these in two days, it was already very good. Physically, I continued my daily routine. Uchiha's information is very large. For example, this information is about the Blood Dragon Eye. The Blood Dragon Eye is about the blood inheritance limit of the Blood Pond Clan. It can open the eyes through strong emotional stimulation, and its pupil power is as strong as that of an ordinary Sharingan. Because the Blood Pond Clan and the Uchiha Clan are both members of the Eye Technique Blood Succession Limit, then I, Uchiha, will write down the scene of the battle, but this piece of information is from a very long time ago, and it is not of much value to Naruto. Touch, there were two more sounds of the clones being released, and waves of dizziness sounded in Naruto's mind. The two clones fought against each other, and finally died together because of insufficient chakra. The battle scene was transmitted back accurately, including the practicing Uchiha, throwing and combat experience. Naruto stood up, holding three shurikens in each hand. The six shurikens collided with each other, changing direction and hitting the blind spot in an arc. It's time to go back to school. The shadow clone in the ninja school can no longer hold on, and a new shadow clone needs to be created to replace him. Naruto used the transformation technique to deal with it first and then rushed straight to the ninja school. You still need to be careful. The third Hokage often uses crystal balls to spy on Kanaha, and be careful to sail the 10,000 years ship. Advertisement. Chapter 15 Hineda. Advertisement. You're finally here, I don't know how much longer I can last, Naruto's clone said weakly. Naruto looked at himself slumped on the chair at home and couldn't help but wonder if he had such a personality and why his clone had such a distinct personality. Naruto released the clone with a wave of his hand, and then sat in front of the table. The memories of the past few days returned, but in his memory, Naruto found that someone was following him. What? It turns out to be Hineda, secretly staring at me every day, that shy little face flushed. When he was in school, Naruto also noticed that Hineda often peeked at him, but now he started to follow him. Naruto helped Hineda once when she was a child. At that time, Hineda was bullied by several peers. A lot has happened recently, and I need to sort it out. Naruto is now considering whether to bring Suzuki into the game. If he wants to fight against future enemies, his power is necessary, and I can't do anything like gouging people's eyes. After school, Naruto went to school today in a rare form. If he was a clone, he would usually go home directly now, but Naruto noticed the little tail following him, changed his direction, walked slowly to the valley where he usually trained, and took care of his things. Then he turned back, smiled at the tree with two thick arms and said, Hineda, I see you, come out. If you don't come out, I'm going to pass. Naruto slowly approached the tree as if he was coming to catch someone. Advertisement. The chakra sensed by Naruto's clone had already memorized everyone's chakra at the beginning of school. In addition, Hineda's tracking skills were too clumsy, so every time she peeked, her eyes were so intense that it was difficult not to notice. It's just because the clone has to last for a week and chakra really can't be wasted, so I didn't point it out. In addition, this time I deliberately asked Hineda to follow me, just make it clear. There was silence behind the big tree for a few seconds, then one foot slowly stretched out, and what came into view was a girl with short lavender hair and white eyes. The girl with white eyes lowered her head shyly. Naruto-kun. After saying this, Hineda looked at her toes with a red face. Naruto walked towards Hineda. Now Naruto was basically a head taller than Hineda. Naruto put his hand on Hineda's and said don't be so shy, Hineda why are you following me? When Hineda felt Naruto's hand on her head, she thought that Naruto's hand was so warm and smelled so good. When she thought of Naruto being so close to her, Hineda's face turned red and steam appeared on the top of her head. Hineda closed her eyes, fainted, and fell forward. Naruto just felt the top of Hineda's head getting hot, and then saw Hineda fainting, and quickly held Hineda in his arms. Are you okay? Hineda Naruto asked hurriedly. Hineda, who was pregnant, even murmured Naruto-kun. This little girl, this is too shy. I haven't done anything yet. I'm sure the anime won't deceive me. Some people actually faint because of shyness. Naruto complained. Naruto had no choice but to lay down with Hineda's head on his lap, waiting for Hineda to wake up. A cool breeze suddenly blew around. It was almost autumn, but the weather was still relatively hot, so this wind came just in time. 
In such weather, the wind is gentle. Watching the sunset, all worries and fatigue will disappear with the wind. Advertisement. Naruto felt the wind and suddenly felt that the world was so beautiful. Looking at the sky and Hinata who was still on his lap, he suddenly felt that it wouldn't be bad if it continued like this. Naruto felt Hinata's breathing was long and she seemed to be asleep. Looking at Hinata sleeping, Naruto suddenly thought of the meaning of the world he came to, which was to protect the present. Protecting this place, looking at the quiet scene of these years, Naruto's perception expanded instantly. Naruto's perception drifted with the wind, and Naruto seemed to turn into the wind and drift randomly in this world. One moment it gathers, the other moment it spreads. Naruto felt the energy of nature, it was so huge, so warm, and had an indescribable sense of intimacy. This feeling was so free, Naruto was immersed in this feeling. Slowly, Naruto's soul seemed to rise on the wind and turn into wind and go to the world. There was a sudden cry from Naruto's legs, and it turned out that Hinata had woken up, because Hinata woke up, instantly interrupting Naruto's urge to turn into the wind, and Naruto was forced to withdraw from that state. Naruto immediately realized that he had almost merged with nature. The integration here was not the integration of practicing magic, but his soul was almost decomposed and merged into the world. If you allow your soul to be decomposed, you may never come back. But this time he briefly turned into the wind, allowing Naruto to gain more understanding of the wind, but the danger of sensing it again was too great, and this was also accidental. Hinata rubbed her eyes with a hazy look on her face and got up from Naruto, but Hinata suddenly woke up when she saw Naruto. As the memory slowly emerged, Hinata's face became redder and redder, until it was almost bleeding, but this time Hinata managed to hold on and did not faint. How could I fall asleep on Naruto-kun, oh my, but Naruto smells really good, just like the sun. Well, Naruto-kun, I didn't mean to follow you. I just wanted to say thank you and I'm sorry I fell asleep on you. Hinata lowered her head while speaking, her hand still holding the corner of her clothes. Don't let go, still too nervous. Naruto just smiled and said, it's just a small thing. Speaking of which, I still want to thank you, Hinata. Thank me, but I, didn't help Naruto-kun. Hinata raised her head and said to Naruto, advertisement. No, Hinata, you helped me a lot. I really want to thank you. After hearing what Naruto said, Hinata's face turned slightly red again. Naruto-kun wants to thank me. I'm so happy. While talking, Naruto took Hinata to the valley. Hinata looked around at the traces of training. There were many shuriken targets and other training equipment. It was not difficult to see that this place had been used by people for a long time. Hinata's little face looked at Naruto and asked where is this? This is where I usually practice. If you come to see me in the future, don't follow me secretly. I am usually here. The me who goes to school is just my clone. Generally speaking, I practice here except during breaks. Naruto said to Hinata with a smile. You really worked hard, Naruto-kun. Hinata looked at the many traces in this training ground, as well as the shurikens all over the floor, and the traces left on the ground by Naruto's physical training for a long time. He sighed to Naruto. Naruto-kun, I am actually training at home. My father practices gentle fist with me, but I always fail to meet his requirements. Am I not suitable to be a ninja? A trace of disappointment flashed across Hinata's face, feeling that she was always unable to practice well. That's not the case Hinata. Hinata you are just too gentle. You are also very suitable to be a ninja Naruto retorted. I like that Hinata. Don't give up. You will definitely become a great female ninja in the future. Hinata couldn't help but feel happy when she heard Naruto say she liked it. Naruto-kun likes me, and I will definitely work hard to become a great female ninja. Advertisement. Chapter 16 Kanaha's Nightlife. Advertisement. When chatting with someone you like, you won't feel the passage of time. In a blink of an eye, it was time to meet the devil. Naruto pointed to the sky and said, Hinata, it's a bit late today. You should go home. It was already dusk now and it didn't matter to Naruto when he went back. But for someone who comes from the famous Hayaga clan, it's a matter of tutoring. What's more, as the eldest lady of the Hayaga clan, her safety is very important. Hinata looked at the already late night sky and stood up hurriedly. He bowed slightly to Naruto and said thank you, thank you Naruto-kun for staying with me today. Naruto-kun, see you at school tomorrow. Then he glanced at Naruto. Although we could see each other at school tomorrow, he still felt a little reluctant. But Hinata walked away in a hurry, because once she went back to ask why she came back late, she might not be allowed to contact Naruto again, so she had to rush back quickly. Thinking of this, Hinata's steps became a little faster. Naruto smiled and shook his head, then looked at Hinata's leaving back and couldn't help but sigh, that's so cute, Hinata. I still have plenty of time now, do I still have my own life besides practicing? Naruto, who originally wanted to continue to create clones, gave up the idea of continuing training and just relaxed today. Naruto walked straight towards the streets of Kanaha. Although the nights in Kanaha were not as good as those nights when the whole city was brightly lit, he did watch the merchants turn on their lights one after another. Kanaha the nightlife is about to begin. Gradually, the lights became brighter and brighter. Just as the darkness wiped away the shadow of the building, countless lights and electric lights came on again. Darkness and light cannot have both, but here, they get along in perfect harmony. Advertisement. Suddenly, all the lights were on, and colorful lights shone on the street. The street seemed to be inlaid with a string of beautiful pearls, and the passersby seemed to be covered with beautiful colorful clothes. Naruto walked to a stall selling masks and took a fancy to a red fox mask. The mask seller is an old man with dark skin and a bit of bald head. How much does this fox mask cost? Naruto asked as he picked up the red fox mask. That 400 yuan, the boss said hurriedly when he saw business coming to his door. Naruto just handed him the money and put on his mask. Although this mask didn't have the effect of hiding his identity, Naruto still liked it inexplicably. Since Naruto came to this world, his nerves have been tense and he has never relaxed. But until he met Hinata, Naruto suddenly understood that he not only wanted to become stronger, but also wanted to live a good life. If he just became stronger, it would be just a training machine. That's all. Naruto himself can live like an ascetic, but that doesn't mean he can't live well and embody the present moment. Naruto bought some snacks and ate while shopping. Isn't that Naruto? Naruto here. A little girl wearing a green suspender is waving in this direction. Isn't this Ino? Naruto recognized this classmate and one of the people spying on him as a member of the Yamanaka family. It's Ino, what a coincidence we meet here. Naruto walked up to Ino. Naruto, I've never seen you out playing Ino and Naruto walked side by side on the busy street. I'm too bored at home, let's go out and hang out Naruto just said helplessly. But it's Ino, you often come out to play Naruto changed the topic. Advertisement. 
Of course, there are a lot of fun things in Konoha at night. Wow, let's go play that. Ino's eyes seemed to glow brightly, and her face was full of excitement. She pulled Naruto through the crowd and walked to a shooting target. There is a target under each item. As long as you can hit the target, you can take away the corresponding product. However, you can only use the shuriken provided by the merchant. In addition, official ninjas cannot participate, so the participants are a group of small people. Children, so businesses can still make some money. Naruto, that doll looks great. I'll get it after you finish it. Ino said to Naruto energetically. Ino went to the boss and got three shurikens. Ino handed one to Naruto, just take this as a thank you for playing with me. Naruto just had no choice but to use the shuriken, but after flipping his hand, he discovered that this shuriken was a little light and the feel was wrong. For the first time, using this kind of shuriken for target shooting almost depends on luck. Okay, it's up to me. Ino raised his arm and threw it at the target. Ino used the basic throwing technique taught in the ninja school. The shuriken thrown by Ino drew a straight line in the air and hit the target directly. However, due to lack of strength, it failed to stand and fell straight down. What a pity, but I still have one. Ino cheered up and threw again, but unfortunately this time he didn't even hit the target. Ino's little face fell, but a shuriken was inserted straight into the target that Ino wanted to shoot just now. Ino looked at Naruto, who had not fully recovered his movements. Congratulations to this guy the boss handed Naruto the doll above. Ino stared at Naruto with bright eyes, no, at the doll in Naruto's hand. Naruto, you are so powerful, but I will definitely get it next time. Ino regained her energy. Come on, let's keep playing, Naruto. Before Ino could finish her words, she was suddenly blocked by the furry thing in front of her. Advertisement. This doll is for you, Ino Naruto said to Ino. Really? But you got this? Although I like this doll very much, I know you got it Naruto. Naruto put the doll into Ino's hand and interrupted her. Actually, I'm just shooting that target because you like this doll. Speaking of which, I haven't thanked you for accompanying me. You just gave me a shuriken. Isn't it fair that I give you a doll now? Naruto thanked him and told Ino again. Ino held the doll Naruto handed him with both hands and stood here stupidly, not knowing what he was thinking. Let's go, don't stand there stupidly, keep shopping. There are still many things we haven't tried yet Naruto turned to Ino and said. Ino just nodded slightly, hugged the doll, and continued walking down the street with Naruto. Ino and Naruto played with all kinds of things in this street. Eat from street to end. Seeing the flow of people around him slowly dwindling, Naruto glanced at the time, turned to Ino and said, It's very late now, go home, Ino. Naruto turned and left. Goodbye, Naruto, see you tomorrow Ino said to Naruto's back. Naruto just waved his hand and continued walking alone into the darkness. Ino returned home, washed up, lay on the bed and played with the doll on the bedside. Thinking back to playing with Naruto tonight, she couldn't help but hold the doll in her arms and fell asleep. Advertisement. Chapter 17 Naruto's Dream. Advertisement. Early the next morning, Naruto woke up from his crib as usual. He had a lot of fun last night and hadn't relaxed for a long time. Naruto stretched and let out a long yawn. At this time, Naruto was in line with his boyhood image. He used to always pretend to be mature and deal with things alone. Coming to other world alone is very unsettling and feels like one is always in danger. Naruto was actually under a lot of pressure. The pressure from the initial awareness of the surveillance, the pressure from the perception that the village had great ill will towards Naruto. When he got Achiha's information and successfully solved the two monitors, Naruto felt pressured about the future again, so he listened carefully to the lessons and trained hard in the past year. I squeeze myself every day and tire myself to death. This kind of life is tiring, but when he thinks about those enemies in the future, he feels that he is not strong enough, and Naruto can't stop. But yesterday, as he almost rode the wind, Naruto suddenly understood in the process of experiencing the wind, and almost lost himself in that feeling of freedom. That kind of freedom was indeed what Naruto was pursuing, and yesterday he released a lot of pressure. Naruto washed his face vigorously with water to wash away the sleepiness. Naruto created a shadow clone to take his place in school. Although Naruto would relieve the pressure, the source of the pressure and the essence of the matter were not resolved. Continuing training, Naruto came to the valley, and several shadow clones appeared around him. Naruto himself changed his clothes, put on the weights he just bought, and continued to climb the mountain with one hand. Just as the bell rang, a girl with purple hair and pure white eyes hurriedly packed her things and walked out of the school gate. What's wrong Hineda? Why are you in such a hurry? Said little Sakura who was also packing her things. Maybe there's something urgent. Little Sakura, let's go home together. Ino said to little Sakura who was ready to leave. Advertisement. Because little Sakura and Ino both particularly like Suzuki, a cold-faced handsome guy, so they have to fight over who can be closer to Suzuki every day. They fight every day. It has been a long time since they took the initiative to talk to each other. In fact, little Sakura and Ino are very good friends, they just like Suzuki. But what puzzled little Sakura was that during extracurricular training today, Ino not only did not look at Suzuki, instead, he looked at Naruto. Although Naruto was also handsome, Naruto was the sunny type, but didn't Ino like Suzuki as much as I did? Thinking of this, I heard Ino calling me if I wanted to go home together. Little Sakura agreed subconsciously, okay, Ino, I'll wait for you. Little Sakura and Ino walked on the streets of Kanaha without saying a word. Little Sakura thought to herself, say something, it's so embarrassing now, it won't always end like this. Little Sakura's alter ego roared. During the silence between the two, Ino made up her mind and turned to little Sakura and said, let's make up, I don't like Suzuki now, what do you mean you don't like Suzuki? Sakura exclaimed with her eyes widened, I discovered last night that my feelings for Suzuki are not that I like him, I'm just attracted by his handsome appearance. But if you look carefully, Suzuki and I have nothing to do with each other, he has never taken the initiative to talk to me, and I have already met someone I like, and that person is not Suzuki. When Ino said this, she was thinking about Naruto helping her last night and getting the doll she liked. Maybe I already liked Naruto at that time. Little Sakura felt a little disappointed when she heard Ino's words, because Ino was right. Suzuki was the same for little Sakura, but she was also a little happy, because no one was competing with her for Suzuki. Thinking of this, little Sakura let out a happy sigh. Little Sakura hugged Ino and rubbed her face happily. We will still be good friends from now on, let's go shopping. After saying that, little Sakura took Ino's arm and walked towards the shopping street. Advertisement. Ino just smiled softly, and she was very happy to get to know this good friend again. 
Hineda hurried to Naruto's training valley, because Naruto just said to Hineda that I am just a clone, and the real body is waiting for you in the valley. After saying that, he directly released the shadow clone and disappeared in front of Hineda. Hineda heard that Naruto was waiting for her, so she packed her things and ran towards the valley as fast as she could in her life. You're here Hineda Naruto turned around and smiled. As soon as Hineda arrived in front of the valley, she saw Naruto turning his head as expected and saying hello to Hineda. Hineda was not so anxious after seeing Naruto, but slowly walked towards Naruto. While talking, Naruto sat down on the stone where he usually rested, and invited Hineda to sit with him. Hineda sat opposite Naruto. The distance between Hineda and Naruto made Hineda feel more at ease and seemed to relax mentally. Sitting on the edge of the stone, I watched several shadow clones training hard around me. Hineda overcame her shyness and asked, Naruto-kun, have you been using Shadow Clone for school? That's right, in order to save time, I used the Shadow Clone technique to go to school instead of me, and my body continued to practice in this valley and became stronger. Naruto looked at Hineda with a smile and said, Hineda sat quietly by the stone and listened to Naruto telling interesting stories about her training. Hineda also laughed very happily when talking about the time when Shadow Clone was dissatisfied with the fight between two other Shadow Clone and they quarreled with each other. Even Naruto-kun's clone is so cute, Hineda said with a smile. Those clones don't look like me at all, Naruto said viciously. Advertisement. I think that's Naruto-kun. He just doesn't show it normally. He only behaves like this in front of people close to him. Hineda covered her mouth and said to Naruto with a smile. Hineda could tell at just one glance that it was Naruto's usually repressed character. Hineda cared about Naruto very much and sensed what Naruto was thinking. Hineda thought of the valley full of traces of cultivation, and... He said to Naruto's face, Naruto-kun, why do you want to become stronger? Looking at Hineda's serious face, Naruto was too embarrassed to tease her anymore. Because of freedom Naruto stood up and looked at the sky. Naruto pointed at the birds that streaked across the sky and said to Hineda, look at how free the birds are flying in the sky. The reason why I became stronger is simple, to fly freely like a bird. Being able to do what you like at the time you like and in the way you like is the freedom of life for me. Hineda mustered up the courage to stand up, walked to Naruto, and said to Naruto seriously, Naruto-kun, although I don't understand what you mean by freedom, I will support you forever. Thank you, Hineda Naruto's warm smile reflected in Hineda's heart. For Hineda, Naruto's eyes were full of hope now. Naruto looked at the girl next to him tenderly and took the initiative to take Hineda's hand. Hineda did not resist, but also held Naruto's hand, and they watched the sunset together. Hineda glanced at Naruto secretly. At this time, Hineda was no longer shy as before and just wanted to hold Naruto's hand quietly. Hineda felt a warm breath passing from Naruto's palm to her body. It seems like the fatigue has disappeared. A dream is a ray of sunshine that dispels the haze of your journey. A dream is a clear spring that washes away the lead in your heart. Spread the wings of your dream and chase it. Okay, Hineda, I have to continue training. Naruto turned to Hineda and said. When Naruto's hand left, Hineda still felt reluctant to let go. She wanted to continue holding those hands. Advertisement. Chapter 18 One month later. Advertisement. After that day, Naruto's life became busy again, but now Hineda was with him every day. Naruto's training methods also changed. From the beginning, Hineda just sat here and watched him train. Gradually, Hineda was moved by Naruto's spirit and joined in training with Naruto. Hineda, be careful, this mountain is very high. Naruto watched Hineda move towards the top of the mountain bit by bit, grabbing the raised part of the mountain with both hands, and lying on the cliff with one hand. My hands worked hard to climb up. Naruto watched Hineda climb up step by step at the foot of the cliff, as if he saw himself in the past, but at that time I was alone. Now I have some nervous people. Hineda almost missed the mark several times, and Naruto was ready to take Hineda down directly. Fortunately, there was no danger. But looking at Hineda's hard work, Naruto silently gave up the idea of letting Hineda give up. Naruto was always ready for Hineda to fall. Although Naruto believed that Hineda could do it, he had to be prepared for unexpected events. Hineda's inner lining was completely soaked, but she still tried her best to climb up. Her chakra was almost exhausted and her physical strength was low. But when she saw how easily Naruto climbed up with one hand, she proposed that she too I wanted to give it a try, but I didn't expect that I ran out of energy halfway up the climb. No, I can't check anymore. The chakra is almost exhausted. Hineda kept having a voice in her heart urging herself to give up. But when she thought of Naruto still looking at her from below, the voice in her heart was immediately replaced by Naruto's warm smiling face. As if Naruto was waiting for her in front, she must not give up. Hineda gritted her teeth, cheered up, continued to squeeze her body to extract chakra, and climbed up. Hineda appears to be shy and timid, but with Naruto's encouragement, someone who can burst out with huge power. Naruto watched Hineda continue to climb up and suddenly shouted to Hineda, Hineda, come on, you can do it. Advertisement. Just like in the original work, during the Chinin exam, Hineda bravely attacked Hayaga Niji with Naruto's encouragement. Hineda heard Naruto's encouragement to her, and a huge force suddenly burst out in her body. This power flowed to Hineda's whole body, greatly relieving her fatigue, and supported Hineda to continue climbing until she reached the top of the mountain. Rock climbing is an extremely challenging sport that requires physical strength, endurance, flexibility, and mental stability. When Naruto tried rock climbing for the first time, he felt a huge physical and mental challenge, but he also gained many valuable experiences and insights. Hineda climbed to the top of the mountain and fell to the ground from exhaustion. She sat on the ground imageless, breathing heavily, and the sweat on her face dripped down from her delicate little face. His vision went black, and his chest seemed to be burning with fire. Hineda's inner lining was wet with sweat and sticky to her body. Hineda wanted to tell Naruto that she had done it, but now she had no energy to shout Naruto's name. Hineda, you did very well Naruto's figure suddenly appeared in front of Hineda's eyes. When Hineda saw Naruto's figure, she immediately relaxed and fell forward. Naruto was afraid that she would be injured and hurriedly caught her. Naruto helped Hineda sit down on the top of the mountain. Naruto stretched out his hand and passed his chakra to Hineda. Hineda suddenly felt a very comfortable warmth. The warmth spread from her hands to her whole body instantly. Whether it was muscle soreness or fatigue, it dissipated at an alarming speed. Hineda suddenly felt like she was soaking in a hot spring, so comfortable and relaxed, as if her whole body was floating in the air. Advertisement. 
Sakura Ning Hineda woke up from semi-consciousness and looked at herself lying on Naruto's lap. She suddenly blushed with embarrassment and tried to struggle to sit up, but was pushed down by Naruto. Hineda, lie down for a while first, the treatment is not over yet. Naruto continued to inject his yin release chakra into Hineda's body. For Naruto, the healing effect of his chakra is probably stronger than Xiangling. Xiangling just awakened the innate ability of the Uzumaki clan, which allows others to gain the ability to heal by sucking their own chakra, and their own wounds can also heal quickly. It can be said that the sage body has been awakened, but Xiangling's sage body is not perfect yet. The real sage body can only be perfected by Xiangling's physique plus Senju Hashirama's physique. The reason why Naruto can exercise regardless of physical damage is because he has awakened the full version of sage body's huge chakra and its terrifying regenerative ability. Now Naruto's cells are very corrosive. Therefore, when the pure yin release chakra is injected into Hineda's body, it will quickly repair the injuries Hineda suffered due to practice, and it can also improve her physique and make her gradually stronger. Naruto's chakra flows with Hineda's meridians, nourishing her meridians subtly. Naruto-kun, is it okay? Hineda asked Naruto with her cheeks flushed and her voice as small as a mosquito's legs. Hineda had tried hard to stay calm, but as Naruto's chakra flowed through her body, her body felt an indescribable pleasure. She wanted to stay in Naruto's arms, but this was very shy for a lady like Hineda, so she couldn't help but ask. Advertisement. Okay, okay Naruto had already injected chakra into every corner of Hineda's body to ensure that there would not be any hidden wounds left. As night falls, the moon gradually shines on the earth. At this time, Hineda had gone home. Naruto was also afraid that she would catch a cold, so after repairing Hineda's damage, he let her go home to rest. In the dark valley, Naruto was still training hard. At 9 o'clock in the evening, inside the Uchiha station, Suzuki was sitting in his training ground. After the Uchiha clan was exterminated, Suzuki would wake up from nightmares every night. Every time he saw Uchiha attack him massacre the Uchiha clan. Human situation. So every night Suzuki trains himself to exhaustion, but Suzuki's previous training was not that intense. Today Suzuki just practiced a little too much, and now his body is hard to move and he can only sit here. Suzuki had never tried to overdraw chakra before during training. This was the first time he overdrafted chakra. Suzuki felt that every cell in his body was in pain. Ah Suzuki suddenly screamed and fell to the ground. There was a coolness in Suzuki's eyes, which made him sober up a little. I actually awakened my Sherinan. Suzuki realized that his Sherinan had awakened and couldn't help laughing happily. Uchiha Itake, your death has come. Damn, my body still hurts. Suzuki reluctantly got up and staggered towards the house. Advertisement. Chapter 19 Suzuki's Surprise. Advertisement. When he went to school today, Suzuki wore a simple black long-sleeved shirt with a stand-up collar and black shorts. Suzuki is so handsome today, and his grades are also good. The female classmates around Suzuki exclaimed, and a smile appeared on the corner of Suzuki's mouth. This morning Suzuki looked at his Sherinan in the mirror. Suzuki's eyes will turn red, and two Tomo will be produced in the eyeballs. The left and right eyes will appear symmetrical. This is the Sherinan in the form of two Megatama. The greater the number of Megatama in the eye, the stronger the Sherinan's ability is. Suzuki awakened the second Megatama Sherinan and was in a good mood. Coupled with the praise from the girls around him, Suzuki felt full of confidence. Such a voice caused dissatisfaction among other girls on the spot, and they retorted on the spot. Naruto is also very handsome, and Naruto is also very strong. Suzuki even lost to Naruto before. That was before, now Suzuki is definitely better than Naruto. Suzuki strong. Naruto is strong. The girls started arguing on the spot. During the actual training, Suzuki lost to Naruto. From then on, Suzuki always wanted to fight Naruto, but they never met in the actual training. Maybe the teacher didn't let them meet on purpose. There was no chance of fighting Naruto again. But today Suzuki decided to go find Naruto for another fight after school to prove that the Uchiha clan is the strongest. Now after school, let Naruto try the power of our Uchiha clan's Sharingan. Advertisement. After school, Suzuki followed Naruto directly out of the school gate to a remote and deserted alley. He was about to talk to Naruto about finding a place to fight again. Immediately, Suzuki saw Naruto disappear like smoke with a pop. Shadow clone? Naruto is a shadow clone, so Naruto didn't come to school at all today. No, it's not just today. He may have started using shadow clone to go to school very early. No wonder he always lays on the table except in class and rarely talks. There was also very little communication. Damn, how could I have overlooked such an important detail? When Suzuki wanted to understand, his whole face suddenly turned the color of pig liver from suppressed pain, and he clenched his fists and danced in the air, as if he wanted to hit someone. Would you like to know why I use shadow clone for school? Naruto's voice suddenly came from behind Suzuki. It turned out that Naruto deliberately walked to a remote place when he sensed that Suzuki was following him, and then deliberately let Suzuki see the shadow clone being lifted. In fact, at the moment when the shadow clone was lifted, shadow clone created another clone and then hit it. After all, Naruto can cast ninjutsu without any seals as long as he knows the principles. Suzuki was surprised when he heard Naruto's voice. He turned around and looked back, and saw Naruto standing behind him. You, I clearly saw it with my own eyes. Really, are you sure your eyes didn't deceive you? Naruto just smiled. Follow me Naruto turned to Suzuki and said. Damn it Suzuki snorted, but followed Naruto obediently, with an indignant look on his face. Naruto led Suzuki through the dense woods to the valley where Naruto often trained. Naruto released the shadow clone with a bang. Suzuki saw a large stone tied behind Naruto. Naruto was dragging the huge stone forward by pulling on the rope. Advertisement. Looking at the traces of the stone being dragged on the ground, Suzuki understood the weight of the large stone. This was a weight that Suzuki could not move no matter what. The maximum weight an adult man can pull at one time is about 100 kilograms, and the stone Naruto pulled is 3 to 4 tons. According to the conversion, the stone Naruto pulled is 2 cubic meters. This is what Suzuki saw Naruto can pull. The reason for giving up on such a big stone is that Naruto is just a child now. Naruto stopped when he saw Suzuki's arrival, untied the rope and walked up to Suzuki. Hi, Suzuki Naruto greeted Suzuki with a smile. 
Suzuki felt a fire in his heart when he saw that smile that made people want to beat him. Suzuki asked Naruto angrily, you have been training here and not going to school. Shadow clone can actually be used like this. You left me in the dark and you are secretly getting stronger. The expression on Suzuki's face now is as if you were secretly studying while everyone else was messing around. Even though they were all classmates, you were so stupid. Suzuki remembered Naruto after that failure. Since Suzuki got to know Naruto, he has watched Naruto slowly become stronger. P.S. It is actually the work of Shadow Clone. If you maintain a level all the time, it is easy to be discovered and you are not using your full strength. Suzuki's there was always a sense of crisis in my heart, and I was afraid that I would fail again when I faced Naruto again. So I have been training hard, and even harder after the genocide. He has maintained this arduous training that is beyond his peers, just to one day be able to defeat Naruto and become a powerful ninja who can kill Uchiha Itaki. However, theoretical classes usually take up a lot of time in ninja school, and Naruto has been using Shadow Clone to take classes. The knowledge learned can be passed on to himself, so studying with Shadow Clone saves time. But Suzuki was very angry when he realized this. When Suzuki saw the intense training Naruto was doing, Suzuki felt very angry. Actually, I just developed the hidden usage of Shadow Clone. If you can recognize Shadow Clone, can you use it? Naruto's question to Suzuki didn't change much, and he even wanted to laugh a little. My brother, no, it was Uchiha Itake who once befriended me. Suzuki thought of Uchiha Itake again, and his mood became slightly calmer. Then why do you still go to school? What is taught in school now should be of no use to you. Advertisement. Naruto's words silenced Suzuki, commonly known as breaking his guard. But Suzuki quickly forgot that Naruto didn't tell him to use Shadow Clone to go to school. The key now is that he originally came to avenge Naruto's shame, but now he looked at the stone and his small body. Can't beat it. The topic changed, what do you want me to do over there? Suzuki asked Naruto, you are my former opponent after all. Seeing how strong I am, do you have any ideas? Naruto replied with a smile. Naruto suddenly said seriously to Suzuki, do you want to become stronger, Suzuki? Suzuki was stunned for a moment and then stared into Naruto's eyes and said, I want to, even in my dreams. Naruto stretched out his hand to Suzuki, tell Suzuki in a seductive tone, then join me and train together, if you want to become stronger. Suzuki grabbed Naruto's outstretched hand without hesitation. I agreed. Come here at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning to see how your current strength is. Go back tonight and prepare well. I will determine your training plan based on your strength and whether you overdrawn your chukra yesterday. Naruto looked at Suzuki he looked over his body carefully. Suzuki felt a little uncomfortable when he saw him and directly called Naruto. What's wrong? I just overdrawn chukra yesterday. What's wrong with my body? Naruto just shrugged helplessly and said, Overdrafting chukra is very dangerous. If not treated in time, the body will be left with hidden wounds, which will affect the growth rate of strength. But this is not the most serious problem. Don't continue practicing after you go back today. I'm afraid you will get more injured the more you practice. It would be better if your body has a strong recovery ability. At this point Naruto looked at Suzuki's body and sighed and shook his head, if this continues. When Suzuki heard that overdrafting chakra would cause serious problems, he not only remembered that he couldn't stand the pain all over yesterday, he asked Naruto, what is the most serious problem? Advertisement. Chapter 20 Suzuki's Strength. Advertisement. You will die early, which means your lifespan will be shortened, and your body will break down more easily. Naruto had no choice but to tell Suzuki the most serious problem. Hearing Naruto say that he might die early if he continued to overdraw chakra for training, Suzuki trembled all over. He was not afraid of his own death, but afraid that he would die before he killed Uchiha Itaki. Tell me, what should I do to be as strong as you and live longer? Suzuki put the life-saving straw on Naruto. Naruto just smiled mysteriously and told Suzuki to go back and have a good rest now and remember to be on time tomorrow morning. Early the next morning, Suzuki arrived here carrying a large bag. In the bag were various cutting tools for practice, as well as a change of clothes, bandages, healing supplies, and a double lunchbox. Although it is the end of autumn, the training will definitely be sweaty, and Suzuki is fully equipped and ready for everything. Suzuki came here half an hour early. After going back yesterday, he tossed and turned and couldn't sleep. Although Suzuki couldn't sleep before because of the fear caused by the destruction of the Uchiha clan, last night it was because he saw Naruto showing the tip of the iceberg's strength. In terms of strength, Suzuki had to admit that Naruto was much stronger and more powerful than him now. If before he felt that Naruto's strength could never catch up with his own, Suzuki actually had a sense of superiority in his heart. But this sense of superiority was severely shattered today, perhaps because of jealousy or dissatisfaction. Suzuki was so annoyed that he spent the entire night thinking about Naruto, Naruto's strength, and how many things Naruto had. I don't know. But seeing the traces in the training ground in the valley, Suzuki's heart changed. Looking at the devastated training ground and the place full of traces of various battles, Suzuki understood how much effort Naruto had put in behind the scenes to get where he is now. Kind of situation. Suzuki could only sit here and wait silently for Naruto to arrive. Advertisement. As soon as 8 o'clock arrived, Naruto arrived as promised. Hey, Suzuki, you're here so early. Compared to the big bag Suzuki brought, the things Naruto brought were much simpler, just some basic seasonings. Other than that, there are only some blades in the ninja bag on his waist. Morning, Naruto. Suzuki greeted Naruto a little awkwardly, after all he had been thinking about Naruto all night. Naruto wants to test Suzuki's strength first. If he wants to test it accurately, he must first push Suzuki to a desperate situation in the battle and let Naruto see where he needs training. Although the Shadow Clone usually observes Suzuki's actual training and performance in school, Suzuki's strength is pretty good among his peers. After all, Suzuki was the chief when he graduated. But if you want to make an accurate judgment, you still have to play in person, and you can only know the specifics after playing. Although Suzuki had understood yesterday that Naruto was very strong, he simply understood that he was very strong, but he still didn't quite understand how strong he was. Now Suzuki needed a defeat to understand himself. Naruto, can you fight with me? Suzuki hadn't finished speaking. Naruto grabbed Suzuki directly and brought Suzuki to the training ground with irresistible force. Come on, Suzuki, let me see what you're capable of. Suzuki's eyes turned red, and two Tomo appeared in the middle of his eyes, spinning rapidly around the center. Have you turned on Sherinon? 
Naruto praised. Advertisement. As Suzuki ran forward, he stepped hard on the ground with the sole of his left foot and jumped up lightly, just like Naruto. When Suzuki's hand was about to touch Naruto, Naruto just turned sideways slightly and raised one foot slightly upward. Saw it, Suzuki's Sharingan saw Naruto's foot raised and kicked towards his abdomen. Why, I can't move. Suzuki tried to avoid Naruto's kick, but found that he couldn't move. Naruto kicked Suzuki in the abdomen. Suzuki's eyes suddenly went black and he was kicked 10 meters away as if he was hit by a cannonball. Suzuki lay on the ground and retched, unable to stand up for a while. Naruto did not pull Suzuki up, he just stood and said to Suzuki, Your speed is too slow. Your Sharingan should be able to see clearly what I just did, but your body can't react, even though you have a pair of good eyes. But you did not use the full power of these eyes. Needless to say, in terms of physical skills, skills are useless when the body is crushed. Just like when I just kicked you lightly, you fell to the ground. Your body's ability to resist blows is not enough. Once your physical fitness reaches a certain level, you can start technical training. Naruto ignored Suzuki's murderous look and continued, At your age, your chakra cannot release a few ninjutsu, but you still have to practice one thing, which is second only to physical fitness. Seeing Suzuki standing up despite the pain, Naruto had a hint of admiration in his eyes, his willpower was pretty good. But he still said harshly, the thing you still need to practice is called chakra control. When you rushed over just now, a lot of chakra was condensed on your feet for acceleration, but some of the chakra was wasted. This is the problem of chakra control. Now, I suggest you not to practice ninjutsu now. Firstly, the ninjutsu you know now is basically useless. Secondly, your current chakra is insufficient, and chakra control is not accurate enough. Practice chakra control well, and you will get twice the result with half the effort in learning any ninjutsu. For example, Suzuki saw a ball of fire rising directly in Naruto's hand, but Suzuki did not see Naruto's seal. Advertisement. Suzuki's eyes widened, but he couldn't find any flaws under Sharingan. Suzuki pointed at the fire tremblingly and said, How did you do that? As I explained, chakra control makes it possible to simplify the seals, and in the end they may not even be required. If you practice, you should be able to simplify some of the ninjutsu you are familiar with. After all, it is related to your control of chakra level. Naruto looked at Suzuki who barely stood up, and directly injected his chakra into Suzuki's body. Suzuki felt a wave of warmth rising up in his lower abdomen. The pain in his stomach that had just been so painful instantly disappeared. The warmth flowed throughout his body, making Suzuki's body warm. Suzuki closed his eyes in comfort. Naruto looked at Suzuki's expression of enjoyment and stopped the chakra transmission with a look of disgust. After all, Suzuki had recovered from his injury. Suzuki hadn't enjoyed it for too long when he felt the feeling stop and opened his eyes to see Naruto with a disgusted look on his face. Suzuki opened his mouth, turned his face away, and whispered thank you. Now start the formal training. Let's climb the tree first, practice chakra control, concentrate the chakra on the soles of the feet, and walk up vertically. Naruto said to Suzuki while hanging upside down in the tree. Seeing that Suzuki's training was on track, Naruto took out a clone and entered today's training. Advertisement. Chapter 21 Climbing a Tree. Advertisement. Damn it, how should I control it? If you use too little force, you will fall directly. If you force too much, you will be directly ejected. Suzuki fell from the tree in a very embarrassed manner and fell heavily to the ground. Suzuki looked at the scratches on the tree and reached the center of the tree. It was a 15 meter tall tree. Now Suzuki tried his best to reach it. It only reached about a third of the way to the tree. Suzuki wiped away the sweat and bruises on his body. Suzuki's body was now bruised and bruised, and his muscles were sore all over. He had exerted himself too much. This is already Suzuki's best result without rest all morning. Naruto suddenly appeared next to Suzuki and said to Suzuki who was already lying on the ground and still struggling to stand up, just rest for a while, your body can no longer support you to continue, and then stretched out his hand to Suzuki. Suzuki also grabbed Naruto's hand unceremoniously and stood up. At this moment, Naruto was not injured except for being a little dirty, but Suzuki was different. Suzuki's fair and handsome face was covered with a combination of dust and sweat, which was very ugly, and his clothes were in tatters. Yes, after all, it fell from the tree so many times and it couldn't be intact. Rather, this is the normal state of practice. Ninjas are a fighting profession. The clothes on their bodies cannot always be kept clean and tidy. They are full of sweat, dust, and blood, whether it is their own or others. This is not a game. The two of them were sitting here. Suzuki took out two lunchboxes and handed one to Naruto. Hey, Naruto, I brought an extra lunchbox, so I'll give you this one. Suzuki felt a little embarrassed even though he was handing something to Naruto. Advertisement. Naruto just took it generously, but did not open it. Instead, he put it beside him and said to Suzuki, wait for me for a while, I will be back soon. Naruto just raised a fire in his hand to light the fire, when Naruto's shadow clone came back dragging a huge wild boar. Numenon, next time something like this happens, just do it yourself. Stop talking about it, Naruto said skillfully and took out the seasoning. At this time, Naruto's clone used wind style to cut the wild boar into pieces. After a while, with the cooperation of Naruto, the rich aroma of wild boar meat was already spreading everywhere along with the heat. Suzuki looked at the bento in his hand and the wild boar meat Naruto was roasting, and suddenly felt that the bento in his hand was no longer fragrant. Suzuki, bring the bento over here Naruto called to Suzuki and took Naruto's bento and his own bento over. The wild boar matched the bento and the two of them ate it hungrily. When I started training in the afternoon, I supplemented Suzuki with my own chakra to help Suzuki's body recover faster. Suzuki seemed to understand that this was the reason why Naruto became stronger. With such a quick recovery of chakra, coupled with life-threatening training every day, could the effect be bad? What Suzuki didn't know was that this was only the tiniest bit of Naruto's power. Advertisement. After Suzuki got Naruto's chakra, all the injuries in his body were gone and he was full of energy. It also inspired Suzuki's motivation. Naruto has this quick recovery chakra. Now that I have Naruto's help, I can be as strong as Naruto. The current Suzuki no longer expects to surpass Naruto in a short time, he just needs to be almost as strong as the current Naruto. If Naruto knew what Suzuki was thinking, he would probably laugh very loudly, because apart from his own efforts, the biggest reason why he is so strong now is his own physique, of which quick recovery is only a very small ability. When the sun was about to completely set, the two people's practice ended. Today's dinner was not pork at noon, but several large birds that Naruto had newly caught from the death forest, probably upgraded chicken varieties. Naruto didn't care. Anyway, with his current body, no poison could hit him. 
His magic resistance points were full. Naruto ate the wings of the large unknown bird and said to Suzuki, How was your training today? Suzuki still had a chicken leg in his mouth and said vaguely, I successfully reached half of the big tree this afternoon. I believe that in a few days, I will be able to successfully climb to the top of the tree. Naruto said directly, You are still far from it. After climbing the tree, there are other exercises on chakra control, which are more difficult than climbing the tree. Suzuki nodded and said, I know, I feel like I gained a lot today. I feel that chakra control is very important now. I wasted a lot of chakra when I used chakra in the past. Naruto continued, Chakra control is just the beginning. You forget that your physical fitness is not enough. A powerful ninja must be strong in all aspects, otherwise he will be easily targeted. In the final analysis, the battle between ninjas is information is needed, but if you are strong in all aspects, then even if someone knows your information, they will not be able to target your weaknesses. Suzuki nodded in agreement and said, I understand. Advertisement. By the way, you are from the Achiha clan. How are you practicing with your shuriken? Naruto asked. Probably, it's okay. Ever since Suzuki saw the traces of Naruto's training, he didn't dare to say that something of his was very good in front of Naruto. After you finish practicing your chakra control, you can divide the day into three parts, namely physical fitness, physical skills, and shuriken. Among them, physical fitness is practiced by yourself, and I will fight with you in physical skills. As for the shuriken skills of the Uchiha clan, we can refer to each other and practice with each other. Naruto suggested to Suzuki. Suzuki immediately agreed. What I want to say is, Suzuki, if you continue to train here, you will be very hard. Are you ready? Naruto said to Suzuki seriously. As long as it can make me stronger, I'm willing to do anything. Suzuki is equally serious. After that day, everyone in the class felt that Suzuki had become a different person. Although Suzuki was a loner together, he didn't stop communicating with others all day long. Now Suzuki can stay alone in one place all day, basically. People disappeared after class. Those female classmates who hang around Suzuki all day can hardly see Suzuki anymore except in class. Suzuki is really having a hard time saying that he separated Shadow Clone to go to school, but he has to reduce contact as much as possible. First, the Shadow Clone Chakra is only half of the original body, so the strength will be affected. If he is accidentally hit, he may if you reveal that you are using Shadow Clone to go to school, you will be in trouble. Training Valley Suzuki climbed up from the ground with difficulty and looked at the scratches on the tree trunk. There was a hint of joy in Suzuki's eyes. After three full days of training, the scratches were finally approaching the peak. The further back he went, the more he had to concentrate. If he made a mistake, he would all previous efforts were wasted. Advertisement. Chapter 21 Climbing a Tree. Advertisement. Damn it, how should I control it? If you use too little force, you will fall directly. If you force too much, you will be directly ejected. Suzuki fell from the tree in a very embarrassed manner and fell heavily to the ground. Suzuki looked at the scratches on the tree and reached the center of the tree. It was a 15 meter tall tree. Now Suzuki tried his best to reach it. It only reached about a third of the way to the tree. Suzuki wiped away the sweat and bruises on his body. Suzuki's body was now bruised and bruised, and his muscles were sore all over. He had exerted himself too much. This is already Suzuki's best result without rest all morning. Naruto suddenly appeared next to Suzuki and said to Suzuki who was already lying on the ground and still struggling to stand up, just rest for a while, your body can no longer support you to continue, and then stretched out his hand to Suzuki. Suzuki also grabbed Naruto's hand unceremoniously and stood up. At this moment, Naruto was not injured except for being a little dirty, but Suzuki was different. Suzuki's fair and handsome face was covered with a combination of dust and sweat, which was very ugly, and his clothes were in tatters. Yes, after all, it fell from the tree so many times and it couldn't be intact. Rather, this is the normal state of practice. Ninjas are a fighting profession. The clothes on their bodies cannot always be kept clean and tidy. They are full of sweat, dust, and blood, whether it is their own or others. This is not a game. The two of them were sitting here. Suzuki took out two lunchboxes and handed one to Naruto. Hey, Naruto, I brought an extra lunchbox, so I'll give you this one. Suzuki felt a little embarrassed even though he was handing something to Naruto. Advertisement. Naruto just took it generously, but did not open it. Instead, he put it beside him and said to Suzuki, wait for me for a while, I will be back soon. Naruto just raised a fire in his hand to light the fire, when Naruto's shadow clone came back dragging a huge wild boar. Numenon, next time something like this happens, just do it yourself. Stop talking about it, Naruto said skillfully and took out the seasoning. At this time, Naruto's clone used wind style to cut the wild boar into pieces. After a while, with the cooperation of Naruto, the rich aroma of wild boar meat was already spreading everywhere along with the heat. Suzuki looked at the bento in his hand and the wild boar meat Naruto was roasting, and suddenly felt that the bento in his hand was no longer fragrant. Suzuki, bring the bento over here Naruto called to Suzuki and took Naruto's bento and his own bento over. The wild boar matched the bento and the two of them ate it hungrily. When I started training in the afternoon, I supplemented Suzuki with my own chakra to help Suzuki's body recover faster. Suzuki seemed to understand that this was the reason why Naruto became stronger. With such a quick recovery of chakra, coupled with life-threatening training every day, could the effect be bad? What Suzuki didn't know was that this was only the tiniest bit of Naruto's power. Advertisement. After Suzuki got Naruto's chakra, all the injuries in his body were gone and he was full of energy. It also inspired Suzuki's motivation. Naruto has this quick recovery chakra. Now that I have Naruto's help, I can be as strong as Naruto. The current Suzuki no longer expects to surpass Naruto in a short time, he just needs to be almost as strong as the current Naruto. If Naruto knew what Suzuki was thinking, he would probably laugh very loudly, because apart from his own efforts, the biggest reason why he is so strong now is his own physique, of which quick recovery is only a very small ability. When the sun was about to completely set, the two people's practice ended. Today's dinner was not pork at noon, but several large birds that Naruto had newly caught from the death forest, probably upgraded chicken varieties. Naruto didn't care. Anyway, with his current body, no poison could hit him. His magic resistance points were full. 
Naruto ate the wings of the large unknown bird and said to Suzuki, how was your training today? Suzuki still had a chicken leg in his mouth and said vaguely, I successfully reached half of the big tree this afternoon. I believe that in a few days, I will be able to successfully climb to the top of the tree. Naruto said directly, you are still far from it. After climbing the tree, there are other exercises on chakra control, which are more difficult than climbing the tree. Suzuki nodded and said, I know, I feel like I gained a lot today. I feel that chakra control is very important now. I wasted a lot of chakra when I used chakra in the past. Naruto continued, chakra control is just the beginning. You forget that your physical fitness is not enough. A powerful ninja must be strong in all aspects, otherwise he will be easily targeted. In the final analysis, the battle between ninjas is information is needed, but if you are strong in all aspects, then even if someone knows your information, they will not be able to target your weaknesses. Suzuki nodded in agreement and said, I understand. Advertisement. By the way, you are from the Uchiha clan. How are you practicing with your shuriken? Naruto asked. Probably, it's okay. Ever since Suzuki saw the traces of Naruto's training, he didn't dare to say that something of his was very good in front of Naruto. After you finish practicing your chakra control, you can divide the day into three parts, namely physical fitness, physical skills, and shuriken. Among them, physical fitness is practiced by yourself, and I will fight with you in physical skills. As for the shuriken skills of the Uchiha clan, we can refer to each other and practice with each other. Naruto suggested to Suzuki. Suzuki immediately agreed. What I want to say is, Suzuki, if you continue to train here, you will be very hard. Are you ready? Naruto said to Suzuki seriously. As long as it can make me stronger, I'm willing to do anything. Suzuki is equally serious. After that day, everyone in the class felt that Suzuki had become a different person. Although Suzuki was a loner together, he didn't stop communicating with others all day long. Now Suzuki can stay alone in one place all day, basically. People disappeared after class. Those female classmates who hang around Suzuki all day can hardly see Suzuki anymore except in class. Suzuki is really having a hard time saying that he separated Shadow Clone to go to school, but he has to reduce contact as much as possible. First, the Shadow Clone Chakra is only half of the original body, so the strength will be affected. If he is accidentally hit, he may if you reveal that you are using Shadow Clone to go to school, you will be in trouble. Training Valley Suzuki climbed up from the ground with difficulty and looked at the scratches on the tree trunk. There was a hint of joy in Suzuki's eyes. After three full days of training, the scratches were finally approaching the peak. The further back he went, the more he had to concentrate. If he made a mistake, he would all previous efforts were wasted. Advertisement Naruto, I succeeded. Suzuki stood on the top of the tree with a smile on his lips, showing Naruto his achievements in recent days. Not bad. It only takes four days to complete the tree climbing training. After all, I spent a lot of time in the beginning. Naruto tapped his toes on the tree trunk and jumped up. He sat next to Suzuki and asked him, how does it feel to climb to the top of the tree? Suzuki immediately sat down next to Naruto, staring at the rising sun in the morning and said, this feels very good. When you succeed in something through hard work, it is a very satisfying thing, just like Suzuki now. Then you take a rest now, and then we will conduct physical training. Taijutsu training, isn't chakra control still advanced? Suzuki looked surprised. Chakra advancement is still a bit difficult for you now, and your physical fitness has also been honed in the process of climbing the tree. Now it is time to practice physical skills. The three things I told you before aspects should go hand in hand, not one by one. Naruto spoke out his experience. Are you ready? Naruto just stood in the middle of the valley and looked at Suzuki. Suzuki, on the other hand, was staring at him with a dead look on his face, and the two Tomo Sherry Non was spinning wildly in his eyes, trying to find Naruto's flaw. Don't worry, Suzuki, I'm just practicing with you now, don't be so nervous. After hearing this, Suzuki rushed forward and punched Naruto's head with both hands. At the same time, Suzuki predicted the direction of Naruto's avoidance. However, Naruto seemed to predict Suzuki's thoughts and grabbed Suzuki's hands with both hands. At the same time, he charged up his feet and directed towards Suzuki's head. Head kick. Advertisement. Suzuki's Sherry Non moved to ultimate, just to see the kick clearly, Suzuki raised his head to avoid it. But Naruto suddenly changed his moves, suddenly let go of Suzuki's hand and hit Suzuki's chest with an elbow. Naruto attacked Suzuki like a violent storm with fists and kicks. Suzuki could only rely on the power of Sherry Non to barely predict Naruto's attack. The attack direction, I don't know how many times I got hit on my body. Naruto punched out, and Suzuki used all his strength to resist Naruto's attack. After receiving frequent heavy blows, Suzuki's hands were numb, but Naruto seemed not to notice the pain and continued to use parts of his body to attack. With the sound of fists and feet colliding with each other in the air, you can understand how fierce the battle is. Naruto saw that Suzuki's Teijetsu was rusty at the beginning, but now he can barely keep up with his attacks, so let's add more firepower. Naruto's speed was a little faster. Suzuki's defense based on Sherry Non was no longer able to keep up. Suzuki's movement of raising his hand was a little slower, and he was directly punched hard in the face by Naruto. That delicate face was completely deformed in the air, and after being knocked down several times, Suzuki stubbornly stood up again. Suzuki stabilized his body and managed to stand, but his legs were trembling, he was panting heavily, and his hands had no strength to drag him, as if he was about to fall, and the clothes on his body seemed to have rolled on the ground countless times. Also covered in dust and stains. Naruto, on the other hand, was just standing here properly, his breathing was steady and delicate, and his body was not damaged at all except for a little sweat. Are you going to continue, Suzuki? Naruto asked as he looked at Suzuki who was about to collapse at any moment. Come here after saying this, Suzuki was exhausted and fell to the ground. Naruto was hitting Suzuki from the beginning, but Suzuki had no power to fight back. Naruto helped Suzuki sit up. Suzuki's body was covered in injuries, his arms were strained, his leg bones were damaged, and his body was covered in bruises, especially his face, which was swollen like a pig's head. He was guaranteed to be unrecognizable even to his mother. But Suzuki still refused to admit defeat, muttering that I will definitely surpass you Naruto one day. Advertisement. Naruto looked at that pig-headed face and finally couldn't hold it in and laughed. Suzuki, you are here again today. Naruto, don't be proud, I will defeat you. Hiss. Naruto just touched Suzuki's face a little and heard Suzuki making a sound of pain. Don't move, I'll treat you. The ridicule is ridicule and treatment cannot be given up. 
As Naruto Chakra transformed Suzuki's whole body, the injuries on his body slowly began to heal, his bones gradually grew, the swelling on his face slowly subsided, and in the blink of an eye he turned into a beautiful boy again. Although he had received Naruto's chakra several times, Suzuki still felt a little awkward, because Naruto's chakra was so comfortable and had a great effect on healing wounds and relieving fatigue. Okay, the treatment is complete. Although training with Naruto is very painful, I feel that I have become stronger. At the beginning, I could barely block, but the more I continued to fight, I could feel that the speed was slowly getting faster, although I still couldn't beat you. But my body has improved, thank you, Naruto Suzuki said sincerely. Thank you. I learned a lot about Teijutsu from fighting you Suzuki, so that's okay. Naruto waved his hand. There is still a little time left today, and we need to summarize the following results of our practice in recent days. Suzuki, you successfully climbed to the top of the tree today, do you have any ideas? Naruto was like a teacher asking questions like classmates. For tree climbing, chakra needs to be controlled very evenly, and concentration is needed. No more, no less. Each step requires accurate chakra, and at the same time no mistakes are made. Suzuki thought for a moment, recalling the feeling of climbing a tree. Advertisement. Actually, there's a little more Naruto interrupted Suzuki. You need to make this feeling instinctive. You need the body to remember this chakra control, rather than slowly condensing it. No one is waiting for you in battle. Once you master chakra control, you can release ninjutsu in one step. The seal is only used to guide chakra, so you can control chakra no matter what ninjutsu you use. The stability will also increase. As long as you can be one step ahead of others, you have a good chance of winning. The same goes for physical skills. My speed today is faster than yours with Sherry non-activated, so you were suppressed by me the whole time and had no power to fight back. In most cases, my speed can defeat most enemies. Do you know about Yellow Flash? Naruto asked. I know, Yellow Flash is the hero of the third ninja war and also the fourth Hokage, why are you asking him? Suzuki was a little curious why he was mentioned. Because Yellow Flash possesses the Flying Thunder God technique, which is the fastest time and space ninjutsu in the world. It can kill more than 50 ninjas in an instant. This is how terrifying the speed is. This ended the third ninja war. At the same time, after the war, Yellow Flash was appointed the fourth Hokage. If the Hokage level is not reached, the number of people does not make any difference to the Yellow Flash. This is the scary thing about speed. Then how did Yellow Flash die? If he was so fast, who else could kill him? Suzuki continued to ask. I'll tell you later. Suzuki looked at Naruto's face that was filled with murderous intent and subconsciously closed his mouth. It turns out that Naruto also has someone he wants to kill, Suzuki thought. Advertisement. Chapter 23 Naruto's Progress. Advertisement. Since the day Naruto beat up Suzuki, Suzuki has been living in dire straits every day, and is on the way to being beaten by Naruto every day. However, what makes Suzuki happy is that he can feel his progress very well. Except for Naruto, who is still undergoing strict physical training, all Shadow Clone are realizing the power of nature. Since that day when Naruto and Hinata were together, he accidentally realized the power of wind and his soul was almost torn to pieces. Naruto planned to use Shadow Clone to practice, while the main body continued to practice Teijutsu. So Suzuki saw three or four clones of Naruto, sitting cross-legged on the ground. Birds were already building nests above Naruto's head, but the clones remained motionless, as if they were one with nature. And Naruto just sat there stiffly. Naruto's breathing was minimal and his breath was almost gone. If Suzuki hadn't looked with his eyes, he wouldn't have noticed where Naruto was. The principle of current practice is the method of practicing Senjutsu in the Hokage. To practice Senjutsu in the Hokage is to maintain one's own peace and integrate with nature, so as to sense the natural energy, and then inhale the natural energy to reconcile with one's own chakra. But Naruto this kind of practice only integrates with nature, but does not inhale it. Naruto said that what he had to do was to completely integrate into nature, from body to soul, and then directly manipulate nature, rather than using magic chakra to control. There was a bang, and one of Naruto's shadow clone exploded directly without being harmed by any external force. After Naruto received the message from shadow clone, he thought about it carefully and realized that it was backlashed. When manipulating nature, he needs to ensure that his heart is calm at all times. If there is a slight fluctuation in his heart, he will be backlashed. The worst consequence is to completely assimilate with nature and become a part of nature. Although they are both integrated into nature, one is dominated by one's own will to control nature, and the other is dominated by nature's will, causing you to disappear directly into ashes. Advertisement. Luckily it wasn't that long since Naruto last crossed over. Bang, bang, two more voices came, and Naruto's clones exploded one after another. Obviously the fluctuations in his heart were backfired. As time goes by, Naruto's clone time is getting longer and longer, and the time for merging with nature is getting longer and longer. Coupled with Naruto's chakra control, if Naruto now practices celestial magic, he may end up with sage. Like six paths, you can learn it in the blink of an eye, but now Naruto's goal is not magic. If he wanted to learn various senjutsu moves, when Jiraiya returned to the village, he would naturally go to Mount Mayaboku. Immortal magic is a powerful force, and this power cannot be given up. Spring has passed and autumn has come, and a year has passed in the blink of an eye. It has been a year since I maintained this way of cultivation. It took Naruto a year to finally master how to enter that state, from keeping his body still at the beginning, to barely being able to stand up in the middle, to running and jumping at the end, until he could fight without quitting. In this state, Naruto's perception ability has been greatly improved, and he can more accurately perceive the status of himself or the people around him, as if the world around him has become transparent. The first element Naruto understood was wind. Now Naruto can control the power of the wind at will, and now Naruto can control the wind even without chakra. Naruto successfully flew up with the help of the power of the wind. Naruto called this method natural perception. All the power of the wind can hardly hurt Naruto. As long as Naruto has a thought, the attack on the wind will collapse. Naruto can also increase the power of wind and can already control storms. Advertisement. The plan to slowly infect the villagers of Kanaha village with chakra has gone bankrupt. It is really too slow and there is no need to infect everyone. Naruto currently does not have enough chakra to practice, and there is no extra chakra to slowly spread. But if there is an opportunity to give a speech in front of the whole village, then Naruto will use it again, and he will have the opportunity to infect everyone at once. 
Naruto will definitely not let go of this opportunity. A familiar chakra suddenly appeared under Naruto's natural perception, and the corners of Naruto's mouth rose, as if he had encountered something happy. Naruto exited the natural perception mode, stood up quietly, and leaned against the big tree, as if waiting for someone beside him. I saw a person walking gently on the road, with light blue hair draped over his shoulders. Those pure white eyes were full of joy, and they were holding some food in their hands as they walked towards Naruto with light steps. Good afternoon, Hineda. Well, good afternoon, Naruto-kun. At this moment, the breeze blew up, blowing the girl's long hair, and also blew the beautiful girl's heart. Naruto-kun has sensed me a long time ago, right? The girl smiled brightly at the boy next to her. Naruto just skillfully took the girl's hand and walked towards the secret base. Advertisement. Of course, if I can't feel it if you come Hineda, then it seems like my training all these years has been in vain. Naruto held the girl's hand and answered the girl's question. Naruto put his arm around Hineda's waist. The girl's face turned red but she didn't resist. Naruto and Hineda flew to the top of the valley with the blessing of the wind. Hineda just hugged Naruto's body, but when she saw herself rising slowly, she couldn't help but feel no fear at all, but felt a little relieved because Naruto was by her side. In addition to Hineda and Naruto's relationship getting better and better, Hineda also practiced very hard this year. In order to keep up with Naruto's pace, Hineda practiced at Hayaga's house this year. Hineda accepted Naruto's training that time. After Chakra, she wanted to become stronger, so she specifically told her father that she would work hard to practice. Although Hayaga Hayashi is very strange, although the Hayaga family often practices training, Hineda took the initiative to increase the intensity of training. This made Hayaga Hayashi very happy, and he began to train Hineda more rigorously. At the same time, with Naruto's encouragement, Hineda told her father about her food intake. If the training is not supplemented, it will be easy to overdraw the body. At this time, the leader of the Hayaga clan understood how much his daughter's appetite can be, and became more confident in Hineda's future. The amount of food she eats is equivalent to the amount of Chakra. A better appetite can provide more energy, and with the addition of Naruto give Hineda her own yin release chakra from time to time. So Hineda has made rapid progress this year, and at the same time, the school has also begun to use clones. After all, the things taught in the ninja school are of no use to the Hayaga family, but they still have to give the Hokage a face. After all, the Hayaga is now the largest family in Konoha, and the patriarch's daughter also attends the ninja school. This will maintain the majesty of the Hokage. So Hayaga Hayashi didn't let Hineda drop out of school. But Hineda's time to come to Naruto has become less and less, because the more rigorous training requires a lot of time and the rest time is reduced, so she can only come to accompany Naruto occasionally. Advertisement. Chapter 24 Hineda's Heart. Advertisement. Hineda spread the carpet on the floor and took out the things in the bag one by one. In order to accompany Naruto today, Hineda got up early in the morning to prepare things. Hineda tried to make some food by herself and prepare some things that she should bring. Hineda, you have prepared so many things. Naruto looked in surprise at the things Hineda laid out on the carpet. There were not only drinks, but also sandwiches, rice balls, and even various cut fruits. Hineda blushed slightly when she heard Naruto's question and replied, because I have to be with Naruto-kun today, and I know that Naruto-kun you eat a lot, so I prepared a little more. When Naruto heard Hineda's words, Naruto couldn't suppress the impulse in his heart and hugged the girl tightly, as if he wanted to integrate the girl into his body. Thank you, Hineda. For Naruto, he had never felt this way even in his previous life. In this life, he had lived alone for several years. Naruto felt that he was lucky to have such a person who liked him. When he lived alone, he did not feel lonely. But once you experience living with someone who loves you, you don't want to go back to that person's life. Hineda felt Naruto's hot embrace, Hineda felt Naruto's hot love, felt Naruto's power, recalling every moment with Naruto in her heart, Hineda was not shy but hugged Naruto tightly. It's so nice to have you by my side. Hineda tightened her hands around Naruto's body after hearing what Naruto said in her ear. Hineda just hummed quietly. Naruto hugged Hineda, and after a while he let Hineda go. Hineda looked at Naruto with tears in his eyes and an expression on the verge of crying. Hineda just stretched out his little hand and touched Naruto's face. Advertisement. I like being with Naruto-kun the most. Hineda said with a smile on Naruto's face. When Naruto heard Hineda's confession, Naruto's surprise and emotion surged out of his heart. Naruto's brain seemed to stop thinking and just played Hineda's words repeatedly, as if he was dreaming. Nine Tails felt the endless happiness that passed through Naruto's heart. A smile could not help but appear on the corner of Nine Tails' mouth, and then he changed his position and lay down, but the smile beside the corner of his mouth had not disappeared. Naruto calmed down and said to Hineda, I also like Hineda the most. I like to be with you Hineda the most. I will always protect you and prevent you from getting hurt again. Naruto and Hineda were enjoying their time together, sitting on the top of a mountain, hugging each other and enjoying the breeze. The two people did not disturb each other, and although they did not talk much, neither of them felt bored. On the contrary, both of them felt very happy. Happy time always flies by very quickly, and in a blink of an eye, it's time for Hineda to leave. Although Hineda is on vacation now, the tutors in Hayaga's family are very strict. Hineda is afraid that her father will not allow her to go out, so she has been very abiding by family rules. Hineda moved away from Naruto. Although she was very reluctant to leave, she stood up. But when leaving this time, Hineda suddenly bent down and said loudly to Naruto, Naruto-kun, please give me your advice in the future. Naruto was stunned for a moment. After he came to his senses, he quickly bent down and said to Hineda, please give me more advice in the future, Hineda. After saying that, Hineda left reluctantly. Naruto watched Hineda take a step and looked back. Naruto just stood there, waved his hand, and smiled as Hineda's back disappeared into his eyes. Naruto understood that the relationship between Hineda and himself was now one step closer, and both parties understood the other's position in their hearts, so Hineda only said when he left, Naruto would like to give you some advice. Thinking of this, Naruto couldn't help but shook his head. A girl was braver than him. Hineda had a very deep feeling for him and he had to protect her well in the future. As for Suzuki, who was still training, Naruto specially found a place far away from Suzuki when Hineda arrived. Advertisement. Why do you and Hineda need to bring a light bulb in this world? Suzuki should be continuing training at the foot of the mountain. In fact, Suzuki also found out when Hineda came, but Suzuki is not interested in girls now, and she is looking for Naruto. Suzuki never intends to waste time on women. If you have time to eat with a girl, you might as well practice ninjutsu for a while. 
During this year of training, Naruto gave Suzuki part of the scrolls he harvested on the night of the genocide. Half a year ago, Suzuki, who was knocked to the ground by Naruto again, struggled to accept the treatment of Naruto Chakra. Naruto said to Suzuki, Do you remember what I said about training before? Of course I remember, Teijutsu, physical fitness, and chakra control. Suzuki lay in Naruto's arms, but the position was a bit awkward, but Suzuki didn't care at the time. Just now, when you were fighting with me, you felt how much your physical skills have improved now. I still couldn't beat you, Naruto, and you probably struck too hard just now, Suzuki said through gritted teeth. Unexpected, unexpected Naruto chuckled. Naruto continued, now that your physical fitness and physical skills have improved a lot, it's time to move on to the next step of your training plan. Naruto stopped delivering chakra, the treatment has ended. Follow me Naruto greeted Suzuki and walked towards the center of the valley. Suzuki followed Naruto and walked in front of a wooden house. This wooden house was used by Naruto to store things when he first started training. It is where some training equipment is now kept. Advertisement. The room is not big. It is filled with some dumbbells and weights used for strength training, and there are some targets standing here. What are we doing here Suzuki said looking at Naruto. Naruto didn't answer. Naruto put his hand on the wall of the room. Suzuki didn't notice any movement from Naruto. Suddenly, a bulge appeared in the middle of the wall. As the bulge gradually expanded, Suzuki discovered that it was a hidden compartment. Naruto took out a scroll from the secret compartment and threw it to Suzuki. Suzuki caught it and asked, Why, I didn't even know there was something hidden here. Naruto thought, Of course you don't know, I just hid this. But Naruto said, This is ninjutsu training prepared for you. This scroll contains the jutsu suitable for the Uchiha clan. Now I leave it to you to practice. I didn't give it to you before because you didn't have enough chakra to practice it a few times. You need to restore chakra, so after training your body and willpower in the first half of the year, your chakra should be able to support the consumption of practicing ninjutsu. In the next six months, Suzuki worked hard to practice ninjutsu, while also retaining the practice of teijutsu. Now Suzuki saw that Naruto was addicted to women and was not ashamed of Naruto's behavior. Women will make you weak and eat up your time. Just wait, you will understand when I am stronger than you, Naruto. Suzuki watched Naruto separate himself and continue training, and couldn't help but form seals a little faster. Naruto looked at Suzuki working harder and his heart was filled with relief. He sighed and said, keep up the good work, Suzuki. Advertisement. Chapter 25 The Showdown Between Naruto and Suzuki. Advertisement. A week later, Naruto was practicing natural sensing as usual. The sound of Suzuki practicing ninjutsu could be heard nearby. Suzuki was wearing a blue shirt and white pants and stood in front of a pond. Suzuki poured all the chakra from his body into his mouth while quickly forming a seal in his hand, fire style great fireball technique. I saw a huge fireball spitting out of my mouth. The fireball burned the surroundings. The temperature of the fireball distorted the surrounding air. The 300 degree high temperature fireball hit the pond hard. The moment the fireball came into contact with the pond, the fog in the sky instantly dispersed. Come, the pond is covered with a layer of fog. Suddenly a gust of wind blew over. Although the wind was not strong, Suzuki could tell at a glance that there was something wrong with the gust of wind. There was no chakra wind but it accurately dispersed the fog of the great fireball. After the fog disappeared, the wind the pause seems to be caused by blowing away the fog. Naruto, who was meditating, suddenly had a smile on his lips, as if he had encountered something happy. In fact, Suzuki's guess was not wrong. The gust of wind was caused by Naruto. Naruto just gently used some of the power of the wind to blow away the fog. In fact, the pond where Suzuki practiced was still very far away from the valley where Naruto was. Naruto projected his power to Suzuki's area in natural perception mode, so he could directly manipulate the natural power around Suzuki. Only then did Suzuki notice that something was wrong with the wind, he stopped practicing his ninjutsu and started to rush towards Naruto, his speed was more than one level faster than Suzuki before. Naruto sensed that Suzuki was on his way over, so he simply stopped practicing and stood up to stretch his muscles. After all, entering natural perception for a long time is quite tiring. Naruto moved his numb legs a little and waited for Suzuki's arrival. Advertisement. Suzuki rushed to the valley as quickly as possible. As soon as Suzuki entered the valley, he saw Naruto doing some preparatory activities. He stretched his legs and stretched his waist, looking like he was preparing for activities. The question Suzuki was about to ask Naruto also stopped. Sighed. Suzuki looked at Naruto and said, Naruto, let's have a fight and see how far behind I am. Naruto smiled inwardly and continued with the preparatory activities. Kaido, didn't we practice Teijutsu? Is there anything else to fight? I want to have a serious fight with Naruto. It's no longer just a physical battle. I've become stronger now, and I've almost practiced the ninjutsu on the scroll you gave me, Naruto. Naruto, are you afraid of losing to me? Suzuki said with pride. In fact, Suzuki had this idea a long time ago. He was practicing Teijutsu and Ninjutsu to the point where his hands were itchy if he didn't fight. Suzuki also wanted to know how Naruto could control the wind at such a long distance. At this time, Naruto's preparations were finally completed and he agreed to Suzuki's request. Naruto and Suzuki stood opposite each other, with the seal of opposition in their hands at the same time. The seal of opposition can only be performed when the two sides seriously decide the winner. The formation of the seal of opposition means that the ninjas can start fighting. However, this seal is only applicable to companions. If it is an enemy, just attack directly. How insidious is this? Assassinations are very common. Naruto and Suzuki moved, and they ran towards each other at the same time. Their elbows collided hard, and the air around them froze. Fists, feet, and hands came into contact at extremely fast speeds, leaving only the sound of fists and feet intersecting in the air. Advertisement. Naruto's whole body became a weapon for attack. The Sharingan in Suzuki's eyes was desperately observing the direction of Naruto's attack. A large amount of chakra was concentrated on Suzuki's Sharingan. The blood vessels around Suzuki's eyes bulged. At this time, Naruto suddenly changed his move and raised his leg. Suzuki suddenly thought of the first failure, which was being kicked out. It won't happen this time because I saw it. Suzuki also raised his leg, intending to fight Naruto directly. It was a head-to-head -head encounter, and Suzuki's punch was ready to strike. As long as he blocked it, he would hit Naruto's chest directly. Naruto's knee lift was blocked by Suzuki's leg, and at the same time Suzuki's punch came roaring. Naruto could clearly feel the power Suzuki had accumulated in this punch. Naruto suddenly turned sideways, and Suzuki's charged punch grazed Naruto's clothes. It passed over and hit the air hard. Naruto hit Suzuki with a fierce uppercut on the chin. 
Suzuki's head and his body were sent flying by Naruto. Suzuki was ready to defend himself when the punch missed, but he didn't. Block, that blow was too fast, Suzuki's head went blank for a moment, but he quickly reacted and quickly completed the hand seal in the air. Fire style great fireball technique. Suzuki spit out a huge fireball from his mouth and aimed at Naruto rushed forward, and the huge fireball blocked Naruto's sight. Naruto concentrated chakra on his feet and quickly jumped back. The fireball hit the ground hard, burning a large hole through the ground. That's a good move Suzuki Naruto said looking at the big pit. Of course, I'm from the Uchiha family. Suzuki pointed at the Uchiha clan emblem behind his back and said, Naruto be careful next time. Suzuki took out several kunao in each hand and shot at Naruto. The kunao collided in the air and aimed at various places on Naruto's body at angles that ordinary people would not expect. It was the orthodox Uchiha technique. Naruto took out the kunao directly from the knife bag on his waist. Bang, bang, bang. The sound of several kunao colliding directly knocked all the kunao off the track. Naruto has also practiced the techniques of the Uchiha clan, and is better than Uchiha Suzuki. Naturally, he knows the direction of the kunao's aim very clearly. When Suzuki saw Naruto flying away all the kunao easily, he was not disappointed at all, but showed a smile that his plan had succeeded. Suzuki pulled his hands, and the kunao that had been blown away immediately launched a second wave of offensive, and at the same time, the steel wire entangled Naruto. In conjunction with kunao shooting, advertisement, Suzuki also continued the hand seal, fire style fire dragon technique. The thread that entangled Naruto suddenly burst into flames, and the flames burned along the wire towards Naruto instantly. This was Suzuki's plan. He used Naruto's carelessness in practicing Uchiha's throwing technique to fly the kunao. Before doing so, he tied the kunao with a wire. After the kunao was blown away, he pulled the wire at the same time to trap Naruto. The Toki kunao will aim again and use the fire dragon technique to finish. As the flames burned on Naruto's body, Naruto's body ignited a fire. Suzuki was just about to stop the fire dragon technique. After all, Naruto was his partner, but when he thought about it, Naruto couldn't be so weak, and such a simple strategy couldn't be undetected. Naruto, who was burned by the flames, suddenly turned into smoke with a bang. Shadow clone, when is it? The one I have been fighting is shadow clone. Suzuki quickly used Sherinan to quickly check the surrounding environment to see where Naruto was hiding. A hand suddenly stretched out from under Suzuki's feet. Suzuki was dragged to the ground, and Suzuki's body was also sinking. Suzuki wanted to struggle, but his center of gravity was unstable and the strength of his hand was too strong, so Suzuki was taken off directly. Only Suzuki's head was left on the ground, and parts of his body were already underground. Naruto Shi Shiren rose from the ground. Hi, Suzuki Naruto happily greeted Suzuki. I lost this time. Naruto, when did you switch to Shadow Clone? Suzuki said with only one head left, looking up at Naruto. Well, let the main body talk to you. This Naruto also turned into smoke and disappeared. This is also a Shadow Clone. What about Naruto's true form? Suzuki was extremely surprised. Advertisement. Chapter 26 Suzuki's Strength. Advertisement. Naruto's body fell gently from the tree, and looked at Suzuki who only had his head on the ground and laughed. You guy, get me out of here, Suzuki said angrily. Okay Naruto agreed with a smile. Naruto raised his hand and the soil around Suzuki was like flowing water, wrapping Suzuki and rising from the ground. Suzuki only felt that the surrounding soil was wrapping him up, as if the soil had liquefied, and Suzuki felt that he still couldn't move. If he squeezed into the middle at this time, he had no means. That's how strong you are, Naruto. Suzuki didn't know how many times he had said this, but every time he fought Naruto, the result was a sense of despair. Come on. When Suzuki came out, Naruto stretched out two fingers to Suzuki, and Suzuki also stretched out his hand, forming a seal of reconciliation. Naruto and Suzuki were sitting on the stone bench, preparing to review today's duel. To be precise, it was mainly reviewing Suzuki's battle. For Naruto, this kind of battle was just a warm-up. When did you change your body to a shadow clone? Suzuki asked. It may be that Suzuki failed too many times with Naruto. After seeing Naruto's efforts and strength, Suzuki had no hope for this duel. You said that, the moment I knocked you away, I separated the shadow clone. At the same time, the main body has been observing your fight in the tree, Suzuki. Naruto explained with a smile. There are many nerves on the human chin. If you hit it hard, it may cause coma and loss of consciousness. Although your Sherry Non predicted it and concentrated the chakra to reduce the power of the punch, it still made you unconscious for a moment in the air. It was switched at that time. Advertisement. Suzuki, your physical skills have improved a lot. You can fight me for such a long time. It seems that your previous training was effective. As for ninjutsu, your great fireball is very powerful and fast, and your chakra control is good. The control of shuriken is also remarkable. Overall, your strength exceeds that of most chinin. Naruto concluded by comparing the chinin in Kanaha village. Is it just better than chinin? Suzuki still felt a little unwilling. You are now growing in strength faster than most of your peers. Even Uchiha Itake was promoted to chinin at the age of 10, and you are only 9 years old at most and Naruto explained to Suzuki. Uchiha Itake, Suzuki's heart tightened when he heard this name. No matter how many times I hear it, it still resonates. How did you know, Uchiha Itake's promotion time? Suzuki had already gotten rid of the disappointment and asked Naruto hurriedly. The information on Uchiha Itake is very simple, it is in the library and on the wanted list. Now Uchiha Itake is the most wanted criminal, and the civilians of Kanaha village should know a little bit about it. You only need to go out to look for it, and you can collect complete information. Gathering information is the basic skill of a ninja. Naruto explained the source of Uchiha Itake's information. Then how can I become stronger quickly and then kill Uchiha Itake? Suzuki suddenly felt a little confused. Advertisement. Just two words, insist Naruto said decisively. As long as you stick to it and keep training, you will be able to surpass him sooner or later. Before reaching the goal, all the confusion is no longer important, you just need to move forward. Yes, Naruto, you are right. As long as I keep working hard, I can achieve my goal. Suzuki's eyes suddenly became determined. Keep training. Naruto continued to beat Suzuki, and sure enough, Suzuki became full of motivation again. It's just that although Naruto told Suzuki that Uchiha Itake became a chin in one year after him, Naruto did not tell Suzuki that Uchiha Itake had already opened Manjikyo when he was 13 years old, and his strength soared directly to the shadow. Naruto recalled Suzuki's performance after turning on Manjikyo, and couldn't help but sigh. Suzuki relied too much on Manjikyo, and unscrupulously squandered Manjikyo's eye power. 
caused Mangekyo S blindness, and was a bit far behind Uchiha Itaki in the use of Mangekyo Sharingan. Fortunately, I still have Fugaka's Mangekyo in hand, so at least I have an insurance policy. After Suzuki activated Mangekyo, he used the Eagle Team to challenge Eight Tails Jinchuriki and was beaten violently. Of course, it was because Uchiha Suzuki had just opened his eyes and was not familiar with Mangekyo's ability, but if it was Itaki who also didn't use Mangekyo, he could at least be as good as Eight Tails Jinchuriki. At 50 50 if Itaki is forced to use Mangekyo, Eight Tails Jinchuriki can only fail. This is the difference in fighting methods. Now Naruto's main purpose is to change Suzuki's reckless fighting style and learn to observe and collect intelligence. The moon slowly appeared in the sky, and night fell. Advertisement. At this time, Suzuki was still doing weight-bearing training. I don't know if he was stimulated by what Naruto said in the morning. At this moment, Suzuki had one belief in his heart, that is, perseverance. Under the illumination of the night light, a figure appeared in the valley running hard for the future, sweating like rain, soaking the ground drop by drop. Naruto looked at the back of Suzuki who was still running hard. Naruto raised his foot and appeared next to Suzuki in an instant. He said to Suzuki, I'm going back. You should finish it as soon as possible. Regarding daily exercise, Naruto only adheres to one principle, that is, too much is not enough. With Naruto's physique, he can continue to exercise, but in the case of the Shadow Clone memory return, Naruto must sleep for a certain period of time to digest. At this time, going back to rest and relax was the best thing for Naruto's spirit. Serious psychological problems may occur under the pressure of the long world, and the gains outweigh the losses. Naruto is training for his future, not for the sake of training. Okay, Naruto, you go back first. I want to continue to persevere and see my limits. Suzuki had no intention of stopping and continued to run with weights. For Suzuki, overdrafting chakra is no longer a problem because Naruto is still there. Suzuki now understands that no matter how he practices or overdrafts his body, as long as Naruto is here, he will be a good man tomorrow. This is where Suzuki's confidence lies. Naruto just admired the night view and walked slowly home. He bought some snacks and nutritional supplements at the store and ate while walking. He arrived home unknowingly. Naruto lay peacefully on the bed after taking a shower. Thinking back on what happened today, his breathing became slow and steady. The night light shone through the window in Naruto's room, covering the surroundings with a veil, as if to protect him. Just like Naruto. As Naruto breathed in and out, Naruto dreamed. Naruto dreamed again, that feeling of floating freely in the air, surrounded by darkness and only illuminated by countless stars. Advertisement. Chapter 27 Class Reunion. Advertisement. Naruto's eyes shot open. Last night I dreamed again of that feeling of floating in space. Ordinary people's dreams are only made up of the brain's memories of people's daily lives. The basis of dreams are based on people's memories. But in the Hokage world, with the existence of extraordinary power like chakra, dreams are more than just dreams. Normally dreamers would soon forget the specific content of their dreams after waking up, but Naruto had never forgotten that dream since the first time. Instead, he could remember all the details of the dream, as well as the floating feeling of weightlessness. That dream was so real. Naruto believed that it was not an ordinary dream. It was probably related to his time traveling to the Hokage world, and his ability to show differences from the original Naruto. However, except for the second dream last night, in never in the past two years. Thinking of dreams, Naruto suddenly thought of a person, not an animal, Mount Mayaboka's toad. The toad senin who has lived from the sage of six paths to the present, has the power of prophecy, and the prophecies of the prophecy sun also come from it, and he predicts the future through dreams, an existence named Toadmaru. Naruto can't practice magic without the three holy places, but now he has another reason. But the summoning scroll to Mount Mayaboku is on Jiraiya. Jiraiya is still running around the world and is not in Kanaha at all. Jiraiya returned to the village sometime after Naruto graduated and took the Chinin exam. The original work is Chinin's return to Kanaha village during the exam. Orikimura will also cause Kanaha's collapse plan, which is still a few years away from now. Naruto stretched, let out a long yawn, got dressed, and got ready for training. Day after day of training made Naruto, who used to be a nerd, change and become more disciplined. It's time for ninja school to end. Naruto, let's go have barbecue tonight, said the little boy with a pineapple head. Advertisement. It's just the two of us, is there anyone else with us? There are also Ino, Koji, Hineda, Little Sakura, Kiba, but I don't know if Suzuki will go. Shikamaru scratched his head to express his unfamiliarity with Suzuki. Leave it to me Suzuki Naruto just said casually. Shikamaru nodded seriously, and then went to call other friends. Shikamaru recalled the rumor about the fox demon that he first asked his father about. Dad, I want to ask you a question, why are everyone saying Naruto is a fox demon? Shikako was stunned when he heard Shikamaru's question, and then asked Shikamaru, do you think that child is a fox demon? Shikamaru shook his head and said, Naruto is not a fox demon. In my opinion, Naruto is a member of Kanaha village just like us. Dad, can I be friends with Naruto? Shikamaru asked Shikaku. Shikamaru did not answer Shikamaru's question directly, but said to Shikamaru, I will not object to you dating Naruto. If you want to be friends with Naruto, then go ahead. Kanaha village has experienced the Nine Tails Rebellion. Nine Tails broke the seal and not only wreaked havoc in the village, but also killed many people. Therefore, when the fox demon's message spread, he directed his anger towards Naruto. But the Nara clan has always been famous for their extremely high wisdom, and they all understand the reason. Naruto sealed Nine Tails as Jinchuriki. Naruto is the hero of Kanaha. However, although the Nara clan understands the reason, they cannot take the initiative to calm it down. Firstly, it is easy to leak the information that Naruto is Nine Tails Jinchuriki. Secondly, it is about the attitude of Hokage. Well, the Nara clan only assists the Hokage and cannot make decisions for the Hokage. They can only sit and watch. What makes Shikaku happy is that his son was not misled by the rumors. Instead, through his own observation, he realized that Naruto was a person worth making friends with. This made Shikaku very happy. Naruto walked towards the dark corner and took a closer look to make sure that no one was waiting. Advertisement. With a bang, Naruto's clone exploded into smoke. Naruto, who was exercising in the valley, suddenly stopped with a smile on his lips, as if he had received some good news. Suzuki, tonight's class reunion, you should come to. Class reunion. 
Suzuki's eyes flashed with surprise. Suzuki has never seen Naruto participate in any activities. He has just been practicing like an ascetic monk day after day. Now he is going to a class reunion, which makes Suzuki very surprised. Should I go too? Suzuki asked Naruto. Yes, establishing connections with classmates is also a very important lesson. We cannot do everything alone. At this time, companions are very important. Suzuki frowned, but they are too weak now and will not be of any help to us. Naruto advised Suzuki, being weak now does not mean you will be weak in the future. Didn't you come from being weak step by step? In the face of a certain strength, companions are important. But there are still things that strength cannot do. Strength is not everything in life. I am working so hard now for the future, so that I can live a peaceful life. Suzuki wanted to say something else but was interrupted by Naruto. Suzuki, let's go together. Naruto said, forcing Suzuki to leave the valley. Seeing this, Suzuki had no choice but to deactivate his clone and prepare for the party after school. Hinata thought the same. Hayaga Hayashi explained that he was going to a party at night, and Hayaga Hayashi readily agreed. Hinata heard her father agree and quickly bowed and said, Thank you, father. Advertisement. Hayashi is very pleased with the current Hinata. Hinata has made great progress and is now worthy of being the eldest lady of the Hayaga clan. From now on, the Hayaga clan will still be handed over to her. Hayashi turned and walked towards the room. Hinata dressed up well because she knew that Naruto would also go this time. Hinata happily picked up her clothes and really hoped to see Naruto soon. Thinking of this, Hinata felt a little shy. The entrance of Kanaha Grill. Shikamaru was waiting for the others to arrive. Shikamaru saw a figure. Hi, Naruto Shikamaru greeted Naruto as he raised his hand. Shikamaru was still surprised to see people around Naruto. Seriously, Suzuki was pulled over. Naruto felt familiar with Chakra and ran over to her. After all, she was his future wife. Hinata here Hinata heard Naruto's voice and trotted towards the source of the sound. Hinata hugged Naruto, and Naruto took Hinata's hand and joined her friends. At this time, Ino, Little Sakura, and other friends came. Little Sakura saw Naruto and Hinata holding hands and asked directly, Hinata you and Naruto. At this moment, other friends saw Naruto and Hinata holding each other's hands. Hinata blushed, but did not let go of Naruto's hand. Naruto also held her hand and did not let go. Ino next to her looked at Naruto's hand, a hint of darkness flashed in her eyes. Let's go barbecue. Advertisement. Chapter 28 Big Eater. Advertisement. As night falls, the bright moonlight is shining on the streets of Kanaha. Night is when Kanaha is really lively. In the barbecue shop, nine classmates from the same period were gathered around a large table, waiting for the barbecue to arrive. Little Sakura struggled to sit next to Suzuki, and Hinata also took the opportunity to sit next to Naruto. At this time, you can see the close relationship between the classmates. Kanaha's Inoshikacho sat together, Naruto Hinata, Little Sakura and Suzuki, Shina Abarame, and Kiba Inuzuka. Koji took a bag of potato chips and said while eating, This is a Yakiniku restaurant owned by the Akamika clan. You can eat whatever you want. I'll pay for it today. Little Sakura looked at Koji a little surprised, because Little Sakura didn't know the Akamika clan, she just knew that the Akamika clan was fat. Little Sakura is from a commoner background, and Little Sakura is too young to know that the Akamika clan has always been a big consumer of food in Kanaha, so the Akamika clan has restaurants all over Kanaha. Otherwise, for their food, even the tribesmen would not be able to feed themselves with that little money. Naruto was a little excited when he thought of this, Koji, let's see who can eat more food. Ino next to her heard Naruto wanting to compete with Koji for food intake, and her eyes widened. Naruto, are you sure you want to compete with Koji for food? Ino looked at Naruto and compared the body shapes of Naruto and Koji, feeling that Naruto was joking. Okay Koji was very happy. When it comes to eating, Akamaiki is first and no one is second. Now it's more about eating. This is a challenge to Akamaiki. Naruto Kan Hinata just looked at Naruto but didn't stop her. She understood that Naruto never did anything he wasn't sure about, and Hinata, who cooked for Naruto, understood Naruto's appetite very well. Suzuki just looked at Akimichi Koji with interest. This man dared to compete with Naruto on his appetite, which was simply asking for his own death. Suzuki was shocked not only once by Naruto's appetite, but he got used to it later. Uncle Akimichi Koji shouted to the back kitchen, and the chef in the back kitchen seemed to hear something and walked towards Naruto's table. Advertisement. Even Naruto was amazed by it. It was too fat. If Koji was already very fat, he was nothing compared to this one. His waistline was at least three or four times larger than that of an average adult, and his weight was estimated to be 200 kilograms. Above, and very high, just like a little giant. This is Naruto looked at the body, looking at his small body, which was too strong. Koji continued to introduce, this is our uncle, and he is also the owner of this barbecue restaurant now. Uncle, my classmates want to compete with me on who can eat more. Please make more food later. Akamika Dingyan smiled heartily, now we have a meal competition with the Akamika clan. Okay, the delicious food will be here soon. Can you tell me who is competing with you? Akamika Dingyan touched his big belly. Seeing this, Naruto stood up proactively, my name is Uzumaki Naruto, and I am the one who competes with Koji for dinner. Uzumaki, Akamiki. Ding Yan seemed to understand something when he heard this last name. Akamika Dingyan smiled and said, Okay, if you can win against Koji, I will treat you to meals for a week, free of charge. Akamika Dingyan ordered the chef to make food quickly. In a blink of an eye, the table was filled with all kinds of food. Although it was called a barbecue restaurant, there were also other things. Seeing this, Kanaha's classmates started to taste it. It's delicious. Ino and Little Sakura covered their mouths. They didn't come to this kind of barbecue restaurant often. Everyone ate deliciously, but compared to Naruto and Koji, their eating speed was far behind. Naruto ate every dish quickly. Fortunately, the meat here had no bones, otherwise even the bones would be chewed and swallowed directly. Naruto and Koji mainly ate the grilled meat, which was grilled by the kitchen. Just seasoning is enough. Advertisement. Barbecued meats were being brought out from the kitchen in a steady stream, and the others couldn't help but have an appetite as they watched Naruto eating. Naruto ate the barbecue so deliciously that it affected the people around him, who also started to feast on it. Ino touched her full belly and thought with tears in her eyes. She originally wanted to control her weight, but now it's all gone. How long will it take to lose weight? The little Sakura next to her is also the same as Ino. She's going to gain weight now. 
fat. Little Sakura's second personality roared, if I had known better, I wouldn't have agreed. It's all Naruto's fault for eating so much. The food tastes so delicious. Hinato was still preparing the seasoning for Naruto, spreading the seasoning evenly on the grilled meat. The empty plates on the table were piled high, about 20 or so, as well as other food, which showed how much they had eaten. Koji was already a little reluctant to eat until now, but seeing Naruto not stopping at all, Koji still had to persist and eat more. Shikamaru next to him had already seen that Koji was reaching his limit, and advised him, Koji, don't force it. Akimichi Koji had filled his entire mouth, and his whole face was trembling. Naruto, on the other hand, was still the same as when he started eating, and didn't have much reaction. It was just Hineda who was silently checking Naruto's sweat. Koji reluctantly swallowed the last bite. Koji's stomach is now full of food, and he must not continue to eat. Koji is now hiccuping non-stop, and is accompanied by the feeling of nausea and vomiting. He knows that he can no longer eat. Said to Naruto, I give up, you did eat more than me. Koji is so trembling now that he dare not speak loudly. Naruto swallowed the food and said to Koji, I was born with a big appetite, but now it seems that I can eat better than you. Advertisement. Akamika Dingyan also rushed over and said, it seems the winner has been decided. I declare that Azumaki Naruto is the winner of this match. Hineda clapped her hands happily. Naruto's victory was more important to Hineda than anything else. On the way back, Kanaha Xiaoqiang was a little stuffed. Naruto sent Hineda home, and they went home separately. I didn't expect that Naruto could really beat Koji in terms of food intake. Shikamaru looked at Koji who was already walking with his hands on the wall. Shikamaru also knew better. The Akamika clan obtained a large amount of chakra by burning fat, but Naruto's food intake was even greater than Koji's. Big, that means Naruto's strength is not ordinary. Shikamaru is a smart person, good at observation and thinking, and has doubts about Naruto's strength in the ninja school. But Shikamaru didn't go deep. For Shikamaru, it was enough that Naruto was his friend, and nothing else mattered. Naruto and Hineda were walking home, Naruto asked Hineda. Have you eaten enough today Hineda? Do you want to go get something to eat? No, Naruto-kun, I've eaten a lot, I'm full. Hineda gently held Naruto's arm. I see that you have been preparing condiments for me, and I just thought that you didn't eat much. Naruto rubbed Hineda's hair, with a fond smile on his face. Hineda just shook her head I'm happy today because Naruto-kun won and I also helped Naruto-kun. Having said that, she had already reached the door of Hayaga's house, and Hineda said goodbye to Naruto reluctantly. Naruto watched Hineda enter the door, turned around and returned to his home alone. Advertisement. Chapter 29 Winter is coming. Advertisement. Naruto was very satisfied with yesterday's meal. The taste and portion were both excellent. Two months have passed in the blink of an eye, and the new year is about to arrive. Naruto stood in front of the window and looked at the falling snowflakes in the sky, and reached out to touch a snowflake. Naruto's hands felt a hint of coolness, and looking at the melted snowflakes in his hands, Naruto slowly closed the doors and windows. Naruto hasn't trained for half a month, and winter is Naruto's rest time. The ninja school was also on winter vacation. Naruto got dressed and wore a red scarf around his neck. This was sent by the third Hokage. Naruto just took it with him. This was just a drop in the bucket for Namikaze Minato's legacy. Naruto has learned some information about Namikaze Minato through Kanaha's library, although it is not comprehensive, but Naruto also knows some about Namikaze Minato's performance on the battlefield and his achievements. Naruto knows it in detail, and of course, by the way, learned about the contributions made by the former third Hokage. Now is the period when the third Hokage is in power, and the Yuan Fei family has developed very fast during this period. It is not just the reason why the third Hokage has opened the back door, but the third Hokage is still alive. After all, he is a member of the Yuan Fei clan, so other families will intentionally or unintentionally avoid it. This is inevitable. Therefore, in the past few years, you can see the Yuan Fei clan everywhere, including people from the Yuan Fei clan around the daimyo. The so-called 12 ninja guards are used to protect the daimyo. The daimyo is very important in the Hokage world. Although Naruto doesn't understand why they should respect the daimyo's opinions, it does not hinder their protection of the daimyo. So now the Yuan Fei clan has become a big family, while during the second Hokage period, Yuan Fei was still a small family. Also developing was the Shimura clan. With Danzo here, their strength also rose relatively quickly. Therefore, the position of the Hokage of the third generation is very stable, and Kanaha's staff have a relatively good relationship with the third generation. The third Hokage can directly decide the candidate for the next Hokage. Even a dog can become a Hokage, the third Hokage was originally a dog. Dog, but the setting was abolished. When Naruto saw this information, although he didn't have much hope, he still admired second Hokage very much because second generation integrated his family into the village and directly cancelled Senju's surname. At the same time, as time passed, he gradually intermarried with people in the village, thus spreading the family bloodline. But the perception of third Hokage is not so good. Advertisement. Suddenly several children ran away from Naruto, interrupting Naruto's train of thought. Haha, look at my snowball. The snowball hit a little boy in the face. The little boy didn't cry. He then pinched a bigger snowball and threw it back, but they ran away. Naruto stood there for a long time watching the children playing. Naruto recalled that he was playing around with his parents in his last life. Thanks to Chakra, not only did he remember the events of this life more clearly, but the memories of his previous life also slowly emerged. Although Naruto already had someone he wanted to protect during this time, he still felt a little homesick. Naruto cheered up and went out to buy some things today. The Chinese New Year was coming soon, so it was very necessary to add some things to the house. Suzuki also didn't know what to do in the empty house. He just stared at the empty house. He recalled that he was playing in this room. His parents seemed to be still there. His mother was preparing in the kitchen and his father was sitting on the tatami. He was sitting majestically, with his favorite brother beside him. Suzuki's eyes were filled with tears at some point. Tears fell from the corners of Suzuki's eyes. Suzuki wiped them unconsciously, tears streaming down his face. Suzuki's eyes turned into Sherry Nan at some point, and the Megatama on the Sherry Nan split into another Tomo. At this time, Achiha Suzuki awakened the three Tomo Sherry Nan, but he doesn't know it now, and he is still immersed in sadness. Naruto was on his way home with a lot of things in his hands. Now that Naruto was not short of money and it was time to rest, he would definitely buy whatever he had, including various snacks, various instant noodles, and various daily necessities. Hineda was coming to Naruto's house in the evening. When there was no training, Naruto told Hineda the location of his home. 
Hinato was coming over to play tonight, so Naruto went and bought a lot of snacks. Naruto still needs to tidy up the house. After all, after staying at home for a while, people will become lazy, so the room needs to be cleaned properly. Advertisement. Naruto was cleaning when he heard the key to open the door. Naruto looked back and saw a pair of white and tender hands pushing open the door of his home. Hinata was also holding a bag filled with various ingredients. Naruto-kun, I'm here. Hinata quietly stood at the door looking at Naruto. Naruto was still looking like he was cleaning. When he saw Hinata coming, Naruto took off his apron as fast as he could in his life and brought Hinata in. Hinata, please sit down for a while. Naruto laughed. Hinata saw Naruto cleaning the house and quickly went to help Naruto clean the house. Naruto's cleaning was almost finished, but with Hinata's help, he finished it quickly. Hinata, thank you. Naruto threw the last bag of garbage out the door. Hinata, didn't you say you would come here at night? Naruto asked slightly confused. Hinata said with a smile, originally I was going to practice gentle fist today, but I might be better at practicing, so I came over early. I talked to my father today and he agreed that I should leave early. By the way Hinata opened the bag she carried with her and laid out the food inside one by one. The coffee table was filled with food brought by Hinata. Hinata pointed to a placed pastry and said, I made this by myself, Ming. Advertisement. Man, give it a try. Naruto took the exquisitely packaged cake and tasted it. A sweet taste spread in Naruto's mouth, and at the same time it was filled with the fragrance of flowers, and the taste was very good. It's very soft and has a very moderate sweetness, which is very satisfying to Naruto's taste. Naruto ate three or four pieces in one go. Very delicious, Hinata. Hinata saw that Naruto liked the cakes she made, and she was very happy that her practice was not in vain. In fact, what Naruto didn't know was that Hinata spent more time practicing cooking at home than practicing gentle fist because she wanted to cook it herself. Give Naruto something delicious and practice day and night until you are satisfied. The ones brought to Naruto now are all Hinata herself slowly. Experiment, both texture and taste are top notch. Then try this. Hinata brought more than one kind of food. Naruto had a very nice night, feeding only. Naruto spread out on the sofa and said to Hinata, Hinata, I'm going to be fattened by you. Hinata just stroked Naruto with her hand, no matter what Naruto becomes, I will always like Naruto. Advertisement. Chapter 30 Raise Non. Advertisement. There was snow falling all over Kanaha, and the snow covered most of the buildings. However, because the trees in the shinobi world are generally tall, most of the snow fell on the tree trunks. The new year in Kanaha village is very lively, and every household has posted spring festival couplets. Although I don't know why the festival here is somewhat similar to that on earth, it's better to be more lively. The neighbor also gave Naruto a couplet and some red lanterns to celebrate the arrival of the new year. After sending Hinata away, Naruto rested in the room for a winter. During this period, Naruto was also invited by his classmates from the ninja school. During the new year, Shikamaru specially invited Naruto to their home to celebrate the new year. Naruto, who was thinking about celebrating the new year and didn't want to be alone, agreed. Worthy of being called the Nara family, Naruto looked at the big house that came in and out, but he was very envious. The Nara family basically monopolized the medicinal materials market in Kanaha, and there were also some medicinal gardens, and every generation of the Nara family had their IQs are generally high. There may be some secret to this stable inheritance, which may be related to the medicinal garden. But this is a secret, and Naruto is not easy to find out. Naruto, this is your first time coming to our house. You must accept this. Shikaka handed over some newly bought clothes and some secret tonics that are very suitable for children's growth. Naruto. Shikamaru on the side saw Naruto's hesitation and said, Just accept it, Naruto. These things are specially prepared for you and are very useful. Shikamaru stuffed the gift box directly into Naruto's arms. Without waiting for Naruto to retort, Shikamaru took Naruto to eat. Advertisement. After Naruto went back, Nara Shikaka still sighed. Shikaka knew Naruto's identity. In fact, even if the third Hokage didn't announce that Naruto was the son of the fourth Hokage, he would have guessed that Naruto was the son of the fourth Hokage, with blonde hair, surname Uzumaki, or nine tails Jinshuriki. Although there is no direct evidence, based on these points alone, Shikaku already understood that Shikaka had assisted the fourth Hokage when Namikaze Minato was still alive. In Shikaka's heart, fourth Hokage Namikaze Minato is a very gentle yet considerate ninja. In the process of getting along with Namikaze Minato, Shikaku also understood that the fourth generation was a great Hokage who could bring Konoha to the top. Now that his son is living so lonely, what reason does he have for not helping him? Naruto watched the snow melt and the earth return to life. Naruto also gained some understanding of nature and experienced the flow of the four seasons, which was beneficial to the natural model developed by Naruto himself. Now that winter has passed, Naruto continues to pack his things and prepare for training. Naruto took out a balloon, filled it with water, put it in the palm of his hand, and used chakra to rotate it to expand the water balloon. This is Naruto's signature skill in the future, raise non. What Naruto is practicing now is the first step of raise non, controlling the rotation of chakra. The description of raise non was inspired by the fourth Hokage Namikaze Minato seeing the tailed beast bomb. Focus the chakra on one point and use rotation to damage the enemy. The learning difficulty of this ninjutsu is level A. Now Naruto has gone through compulsory education in a ninja school and understands that the classification of ninjutsu is based on the difficulty of learning, not the power. Because they are in the hands of different people. The power of ninjutsu only depends on the person who performs it, and any ninjutsu will have weaknesses. There are only invincible ninjas, but there is no invincible ninjutsu, as strong as Senju Hashirama. His secret technique wood style is based on his sage body to exert its power. If you only know wood style but don't have enough chakra and vitality, you will be like Yamato, who can only build houses and engage in wood leaf greening and so on. Advertisement. You must know that although Yamato inherited the wood style and was the Jonin of Kanaha village, he inherited the wood style of Senjo Hashirama who pacified the troubled times. Such power is really disappointing. Yamato wood style, let alone fighting Manjikyo, even fighting three Tomo Sharinan is quite difficult. It is only the ninja that is strong, not the ninjutsu. Closer to home. The balloon in Naruto's hand suddenly deformed and exploded with a loud bang. Naruto was happy because the first section of Reisnan was completed. You know, just a few minutes after Naruto took it into his hands, he was already able to use chakra to spin and pop the balloon directly. Learning A-level ninjutsu is difficult for most people, but in Naruto's hands, as long as it's about chakra control, it's not a problem. Naruto then took out a rubber ball from his hand. 
The second part was the power. The power of rotation would burst the rubber ball. There was still some gap in strength between the rubber ball and the balloon. Naruto concentrated and mobilized the chakra to rotate rapidly. As the chakra rotated faster and faster, the rubber ball in Naruto's hand made a loud noise. In the blink of an eye, the ball in Naruto's hand had turned into pieces. Ray's non-second phase completed. The last stage is stabilization, which stabilizes the huge power and finally forms a sphere. For this step, it is the easiest for Naruto. Naruto has experience in practicing tailed beast bomb. Naruto is familiar with stabilizing chakra. In a moment, a blue sphere appeared in Naruto's hand, with many chakras spinning in different directions inside. Naruto looked at the blue sphere, wanting to test its power. Advertisement. Naruto stood in front of a big tree with several people hugging each other. Raise non, as Naruto roared, he pressed the ball in his hand against the big tree. Centered on a certain point, the big tree began to twist crazily, as if a rotating drill was turning inside the tree. Naruto's arm directly penetrated the trunk of the big tree, and the big tree in front of Naruto's eyes had a large prototype hole in the middle where the raise non was hit, and the scenery behind the tree could be seen from the hole. The power of this move is really not low. It is indeed based on the tailed beast bomb. A raise non the size of a palm can cause certain damage, but Naruto knew that as long as he continued to inject chakra, the raise non would grow larger. How long does it take to inject nature transformation to make raise non more powerful? The most basic raise non is just a container. This raise non is not weak in power. It can inject tailed beast chakra, and it can also inject chakra of various attributes into the raise non. You can also fuse tailed beast bomb with raise non to greatly increase its power. If there is enough chakra as support, the nature transformation of tailed beast bomb plus raise non plus chakra can destroy the entire Kanaha village with just one blow. The next step is to try to inject the tailed beast bomb into the raise non, and inject various attributes into the raise non, just like Naruto's raisin shuriken. I can also develop a ninjutsu that is more powerful than the raisin shuriken. Directly using nine tails tailed beast transformation to condense this compound ninjutsu, almost no one can resist it. Advertisement. Chapter 31 The Art of Fighting. Advertisement. Spring arrived, and Naruto came to the training ground as usual. Before it even started, he saw Suzuki running over quickly, running and shouting at the same time. Suzuki ran to Naruto excitedly and said to Naruto, look at my eyes. With the injection of Suzuki chakra, Suzuki's eyes turn red directly, showing three tomo. After waiting for three, Naruto seemed to notice something was wrong. Naruto looked at Suzuki, his eyes full of surprise, and said, you have awakened three tomo sherinan. Although Naruto does not have a sherinan, he understands all kinds of information about sherinan. Naruto understands that there are many things to go through to awaken three tomo sherinan. It turns out that the purpose of awakening three tomo sherinan is to completely cut off Naruto's bond, and thus meet Naruto for the first time. The battle of the valley of the end awakens. Three Megatama is already the norm Uchiha has reached the highest level of awakening. Naruto was sure that Suzuki could awaken Manjikyo, but the time to awaken the three Megatama was much earlier. But there is nothing that would cause Suzuki to have a strong emotional change. How did Suzuki awaken? Naruto still felt strange. A trace of embarrassment also flashed across Suzuki's face, and he touched his eye sockets. I don't know how I woke up, but I woke up one morning and suddenly found that my eyes had turned into three Megatama. At this time, Naruto thought of a possibility. Could it be that my chakra made it easier for Suzuki to open his eyes? As the reincarnation of Ashira in this generation, Naruto is very aware of how pervert his chakra effect is, and he often injects his own chakra into Suzuki's body, thereby stimulating Indra's chakra in Suzuki's body, thus making it easier for Suzuki to awaken. Most likely so. Naruto retracted his thoughts. Advertisement. Suzuki said confidently, Now that I have Megatama Sherinan, Naruto, you will no longer be my opponent soon. Look at Suzuki's excited and proud expression. Although Naruto couldn't bear to hit Suzuki, he still wanted Suzuki to recognize the reality. Then let's have another fight to test the power of your three Tomo Sherinan. Suzuki heard that Naruto was about to fight him again. Suzuki immediately cheered up because he had never won in sparring with Naruto, but this time Suzuki was confident. Come on, Naruto Suzuki is at it again. This time Suzuki realized the limitations of three Tomo Sherinan and refreshed the gap between himself and Naruto. Suzuki and Naruto exchanged blows, the two men slamming into each other like two bolts of lightning. There were sounds in the air, the sounds of bodies colliding with each other. Suzuki wanted to predict Naruto's moves, but he was always a little slow. Suzuki stared at Sherinan, looking at Naruto's extremely fast and unorganized movements. Suzuki's brain couldn't analyze it, and Sherinan also reacted. But come on, it's too fast. In the blink of an eye, Suzuki was being beaten all the time. If Naruto's hand had been replaced by a knife, Suzuki's body would have been covered with wounds. Suzuki had been trying hard to dodge Naruto's attack, and suddenly Suzuki saw something, and I knew what Naruto's next move would be. Now it's a straight punch, the next move is a kick or a punch. The next move was a punch, which should hit me on the left side below my heart. After Naruto's violent attacks, Suzuki finally saw clearly for once. Suzuki was going to directly control Naruto with both hands and arms, and then throw him forward directly. Naruto unleashed the blow, and everything was exactly as Suzuki expected, controlling it with both hands. Advertisement. The moment Suzuki's hands were about to touch Naruto, Naruto disappeared. Suzuki groaned and his body was pressed hard to the ground. Suzuki struggled to get up, but then a huge force came from his back, forcing Suzuki to the ground and unable to move. Damn it, Suzuki cursed secretly, and the next second his face was pressed to the ground. Naruto slowly let go of Suzuki and let him get up. Naruto directly patted the dust on his body, which was splashed from the fight just now. Why is it so difficult for Sherinan to predict your attacks? Suzuki asked in confusion. Moreover, Suzuki tried to copy Naruto's movements just now, but after copying, he couldn't use it at all. And Naruto didn't use any Teijutsu moves, but just normal Teijutsu attacks. 
Naruto patiently explained to Suzuki, the Uchiha tribe of San Magadama is very powerful. Not only can it see through the enemy's chakra flow in battle to predict the released ninjutsu, but it can also copy its movements and predict actions. In this way, the effect of later generations can be achieved, and the effect of pioneers can be achieved, and illusions can also be used to confuse. This will make it difficult for the enemy to defend against it. But as long as you avoid looking at Sherry Non, the illusion won't work, not to mention I'm very resistant to illusions. In physical combat, as long as you have enough speed, Sherry Non can fail to predict, or can only predict part of it. And just now, I disrupted some physical attack methods by speeding up, thereby interfering with Sherrington's judgment. As long as I can keep changing my moves at a very fast speed, you can only passively defend. Advertisement. And in the end, you still predict something. You have never been exposed to this kind of attack method before. That's why I couldn't tell for a while. You finally wanted to block and counterattack, which is very good, but I have already seen your expression through observation, so I was prepared in advance. The moment you hit, gather chakra attacks from above you, hitting you when you don't have enough speed to adjust. This way there will be a great chance of hitting the target with one hit and making the opponent lose resistance. Launching an attack at the moment when the enemy thinks he has succeeded is second Hokage Senjutobirama's Tobirama's specialty. Naruto shook his finger at the stunned Suzuke. This time it was a victory of intelligence. Suzuke thought he might lose but he didn't expect to lose so miserably. Suzuke raised his head and looked at Naruto and asked, Second Hokage, isn't that already dead? Naruto smiled and said, I learned it from the Kanaha library. There are very classic battles in it. I just summarized the fighting methods. Suzuke looked at Naruto's smiling face and had the urge to hit him, but forced himself to calm down. Suzuke thought to himself, if you can't beat him, you can't beat him, and peace is the most important thing. Suzuke didn't expect that it was just a battle, but Naruto was thinking about so many things. So Suzuke, you know the importance of intelligence, right? Because I know you very well and know Sharingan's information, I can defeat you easily. Use your three Tomo Sharingan well, its power is more than that. After saying that, Naruto turned and left. Advertisement. Chapter 32 Graduation Ceremony. Advertisement. Time flies and it's finally the graduation season of Ninja Academy. Omino Iruka did not yell and punish the troublesome students as usual but stood on the podium with the roster in his hand. Omino Iruka slowly spoke to the students he had taught for six years, as you know, this is the last year of the ninja school. Hearing Omino Iruka's very serious look, several students in the audience who often made trouble gradually became quiet. There was silence in the classroom. Iruka was a little reluctant to see the scene, but he still emphasized that the graduation exam will be held next week. Those who pass the exam will be awarded the title of Genin, which also means that you will become a Kanaha villager, a ninja instead of a ninja academy student. People who become ninjas must be willing to risk their lives. I wish you good luck. Omino Iruka understands the profession of ninja. Although it is still in a peaceful era, there is still considerable danger in being a ninja. During a ninja mission, anything can happen. If you are not careful, you may lose your life. It is already quite difficult for a ninja to survive. Someone as strong as Hokage will be killed one day. Watching these children become ninjas one by one. The kind-hearted Omino Iruka couldn't bear it, but he understood that he was also a ninja and a teacher at the ninja school, and his duty was to train ninjas. There was nothing he could do to change this fact. After hearing what Omino Iruka said, the audience instantly became very lively. Do you know what the graduation exam will be about this time? Ask the classmate with whom I have a good relationship. I don't know. I hope it's not too difficult. Yeah, sitting above them burst out laughing when he heard what they said and said confidently, no matter what kind of exam it is, I and Akamaro will pass it, are you right Akamaro? The puppy on Ya's head, Akamaro barked happily when he heard Ya's words. Advertisement. Compared to him, Shikamaru is much calmer. I asked my senior classmates about graduation, and they said it was not difficult. It could be said to be very simple. But after graduation, we have to form a three-person team, and that's where the trouble begins. Koji, who was sitting next to him, had just swallowed a mouthful of potato chips and asked, what's the point of forming a three-person team? Don't you know how to take on missions directly after graduation? Ino next to her was also listening to Shikamaru's words with her ears pricked up. Shikamaru shook his head and said solemnly, the graduation exam is not a real test. After forming a three-person team, basically one jonin will lead the team. Ino couldn't help but interject when he heard this, looked at Shikamaru and said, isn't this great? With jonin leading the team, the safety will be very great. Shikamaru did not get angry at Ino's interruption but continued, after the graduation exam, team leader jonin may take an additional exam. Added exams, what is that? Isn't the graduation exam already completed? Ino was very confused. I heard that if Jonin fails the exam to lead the team, he will be stripped of his ninja status and sent back to the ninja school for another year. I heard about this, and every year there are students who are kicked back to ninja school to re-enroll. This is too cruel. When Ino heard Shikamura's words, she lay weakly on the table, as if she had lost her soul. But we don't know which group we are assigned to, or who the teacher is. We don't know any of this. We can only take it one step at a time. Shikamura's worry is very necessary, but for Naruto, it is very simple. Even if you don't know the plot, you can look at it through what you have learned in Kanaha Village over the years and the special profession of ninjas. Although it is true that if an ordinary team encounters Heitei Kakashi after graduation, it is basically impossible to pass. But it will only be beaten back once at most, and it is impossible to be beaten back continuously. After all, ninjas are a fighting profession. Those who can enter and graduate from ninja schools are not just ordinary children. At least they can kill people. It is impossible for Kanaha to cut off its own retreat. Kiri Cage is completely negative in this regard, even though the boss is controlled. Advertisement. Naruto understood, so he didn't panic at all. Otherwise, after Nine Tails Jinchuriki graduates, Kanaha will be full. The week passed quickly, and it was the day of the graduation exam in a blink of an eye. Mr. Iruka and Mr. Mizuki are discussing. The questions given by Hokage-sama are easy, right? Iruka said to Mizuki while looking at the exam content in his hands. Mizuki still had that fake smile on his face, making it impossible to tell that he wanted to collude with Orikimura secretly. Oh, of course it's easy for you Iruka, but it's still a bit difficult for the students in the ninja school. By the way, who is the chief this term? Shuimu asked, concerned about the results. Iruka thought for a moment, probably Naruto. Both his performance and actual combat are far beyond those of his peers. Naruto, that demon fox, there was a hint of evil in Mizuki's eyes, but then it returned to a kind smile. Okay Mizuki, it's time for us to prepare. 
Invite classmates to draw lots and decide the order. The content of this graduation exam is clone technique. If you have three clones, you will get full marks. If the clone fails, you will fail. Teacher Iroko was talking about the exam rules on the stage, and the table in the exam room was covered with Kanaha forehead protectors. Start exam. Following Iroko's order, everyone went up to draw lots. Naruto took it out casually, looked at it and put it in his pocket. Naruto-kun, what number did you draw? Hineda asked curiously next to Naruto. On the sixth, the exam is very simple, it doesn't matter what date it is. Advertisement. What's your number Hineda? Naruto was also curious about Hineda's order. Number 15, behind Naruto-kun. Number 6, please come in and take the exam. I'm going to take the exam first. Naruto said and walked into the door of the room. Naruto formed a seal with his hands, and several identical figures appeared next to Naruto. So fast, this kind of speed, Mizuki was shocked, he didn't even have this kind of clone speed now. Iruka checked Naruto's results a few times, handed Naruto the brand new Kanaha forehead protector and said to Naruto at the same time, you passed, congratulations on becoming Kanaha Genin. Iruka watched Naruto graduate successfully and felt very emotional. After all, Iruka's parents were both killed by demon foxes, so he had mixed feelings. As soon as Naruto walked out of the door, he saw his friends and asked, how are you doing? Naruto just waved the forehead protector in his hand. Smooth past Naruto put the forehead protector on his forehead, Naruto finally became a genin. The time for Naruto to rule Kanaha is getting closer and closer, and now is just the first step. Get ready, take photos. The old man who was taking pictures of the ninja school graduates was shouting to Naruto. As the sound of taking pictures rang out, Uzumaki Naruto's handsome face instantly came into view. In the Hokage office, third Hokage Yuan Fei Hiruzen was looking at Naruto's information, and looked at Naruto's results with a satisfied smile. Advertisement. Chapter 33 Grab the bell? No, he was beaten. Advertisement. Although the sun in June is not hot, it is somewhat warm and bright. Although it is not as nourishing as the warm sun in winter, it has its own temperature. Naruto sat on the chair in the classroom, looking at the classmates walking in the classroom, and couldn't help but recall how cautious he was when he first came here, and how vast the world is now. In the Hokage building, several well-known jonin in Kanaha village looked at the graduating ninja students through the third Hokage's crystal ball, waiting for instructions from the third Hokage. Yuan Fei Hiruzen took a deep breath of smoke and said, These students are left to you. They are the future of Kanaha. One of the ninjas with a full beard and a cigarette in his mouth said, He is the chief of this term. His eyes looked at Naruto's figure in the crystal ball. He continued, I just look like an ordinary kid. Can I become the chief like this? Where is Uchiha's orphan? This is the son of third Hokage Yuan Fei Hiruzen. Yuan Fei Asuma can say such words here. That Uchiha Suzuki is second place this year. This is another female ninja with long hair. She has a beautiful appearance, a delicate face, and a pair of red pupils. She is Jonin Ui Kurane who is good at illusions in Kanaha village. Kurane Ui explained to Asuma. Asuma said with great interest, in other words, Uchiha lost to a commoner. This is big news. Yuan Fei Hiruzen was a little unhappy and coughed heavily. He took out the class placement results from his desk and handed them to everyone Jonin. This is the result of this year's class placement. In the classroom, Iruka also got the class placement results. Iruka cleared his throat and said, Now we have to divide the classes into groups of three. Advertisement. The result remains the same, Naruto is in class 7. Little Sakura was very excited, but the news was not good for Hineda and Ino, who both wanted to be in the same group as Naruto. But unfortunately, Ino, Shuka, Cho is impossible to separate. Today is a special day for Heitake Kakashi, because today he finally saw his master's son, Uzumaki Naruto, and Uchiha's orphan. Thinking of this, Heitake Kakashi touched his left eye. Obito, I am going to be the teacher of your people. With only the last group left, little Sakura's heart was shattered. Everyone else was chosen, and although he was with two handsome guys, Suzuki was cold to everyone except Naruto. And Naruto had been sleeping on the table, which made little Sakura even more devastated. Heitake Kakashi saw such a scene when he arrived. The three of them seemed to be quite uncomfortable. They are all problem children, Heitake Kakashi thought to himself. On the rooftop of Kanaha, Heitake Kakashi said to the three problem children, I am your instructor. My name is Heitake Kakashi. Do you have any questions? Naruto shook his head and said he had nothing to ask. Suzuki next to him saw Naruto shaking his head and shook his head too. Okay, what about you? Kakashi turned to little Sakura sitting in the middle and said. He shook his head deeply, indicating that it was okay. Heitake Kakashi flashed a hint of embarrassment. Okay then, let's meet at Kanaha training ground number 12 at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Don't be late. Heitake Kakashi used the body flicker technique and disappeared around Naruto and the three others. Naruto nodded to Suzuki and said nothing, but Suzuki seemed to understand what Naruto meant. Advertisement. He nodded slightly to Naruto, indicating that he understood. Then Suzuki left. The little Sakura next to her was confused and couldn't understand it at all. Naruto suddenly said to little Sakura, Sakura-chan, go back and see you tomorrow morning. After saying that, Naruto also ran away. The message Naruto conveyed to Suzuki just now was, wait for me at the training ground. The next morning, Naruto's three-person team came on time, and unlike the rumors, Kakashi was not late this time. Good morning, Mr. Kakashi, little Sakura said hello first. Suzuki and Naruto nodded. Okay, let's start training now. Kakashi saw this and didn't say much nonsense. He took out two bells and placed them on himself. Your mission today is to grab the bells from me. No matter what method you use, you can start now. Kakashi looked at Naruto and Suzuki a little confused. They stood in front of Kakashi with no intention of dodge. Suzuki, you make the first move, and I'll be responsible for finding opportunities to grab you. Suzuki showed the three Tomo Sherinan directly in front of Kakashi. The moment the three Tomo Sherinan was shown to Kakashi, Kakashi knew something was wrong. At only 12 years old, Suzuki already had three Megatama, which was never heard of in these schools. Kakashi didn't have time to think too much because Suzuki rushed over. Suzuki didn't go to grab the bell at all, but went with the mentality of killing Kakashi. Suzuki's attacks are all aimed at vital points, and his attacks are sharp and precise. Don't wait until this continues. I never said Suzuki was so strong. After all, he is a veteran. Jonin has very good adaptability. He seized the gap, picked up the kunao and swiped upwards. Suzuki quickly avoided it, and Kakashi also distanced himself. Heitake Kakashi pushed the forehead protector upward to reveal the same three Tomo Sherinan. Advertisement. 
Kakashi observes Suzuki with the three Tomo Sharinan. Judging from his strength, Suzuki may have gone through rigorous training and has the three Tomo Sharinan, so he cannot easily defeat him. Suzuki didn't look shocked when he looked at the three Megatama Kakashi, because Naruto taught him to collect information before fighting, no matter who he was facing. As long as you do your homework, you can stay calm. Hey take Kakashi's eyes flickered. What is that seal? A huge fireball suddenly appeared in front of Kakashi and rushed towards Kakashi. Kakashi's hands formed a residual image, water-style water barrier. A wall of water rose directly in front of Kakashi, blocking the fireball spit out by Suzuki. Smoke suddenly filled the air, and Kakashi suddenly heard a movement. He turned around and saw Suzuki slashing directly at Kakashi with his sword. Suddenly sparks flew out, Kakashi held the kunao in both hands at the same time and crossed each other. The force was so strong that he directly pushed Kakashi down. Suddenly Kakashi turned into a beam of lightning and rushed towards Suzuki. Suzuki reacted very quickly. The moment he saw the lightning, he immediately abandoned his sword and jumped into the sky. Fire style Hao Yan Long Technique Suzuki spit out several dragon heads made of flames in the air and smashed them directly towards the ground. Suzuki knew in his heart that if it was Thunder Shield Shadow Clone, the main body was nearby and he could directly use the fire style spell with a larger range to cover it. Suzuki had a proud smile on his face, sure enough. Suzuki looked at the embarrassed Kakashi dodging the fireballs and thinking about how to attack next. The moment Suzuki was about to land on the ground, Suzuki hit him with a concentrated uppercut and knocked him away again. What? Suzuki saw in disbelief that Kakashi who was hiding from the powerful flame dragon exploded into smoke with a bang. Shadow Clone, when was that? Suzuki recalled, it should be Thunder Shield Shadow Clone, which split into two clones, one to paralyze and the other to attract attention. The main body uses special means to lurk under my landing point. You will definitely lose to this kind of clone. Advertisement. Chapter 34 Grab the bell? No, he was beaten. Advertisement. It's true that you still lack combat experience, so I'll leave it to you Naruto. It was after receiving the signal from Naruto that Suzuki stopped fighting with Kakashi. Suzuki felt relieved and left the rest of the battle to Naruto. Watching Suzuki fall to the ground, Kakashi finally breathed a sigh of relief. Afraid of Suzuki's counterattack. Kakashi suddenly realized something, if Suzuki was so powerful, then where was Naruto? Kakashi suddenly realized the seriousness of the problem. Suddenly a whip kick came. Kakashi didn't even notice how it appeared. He could only raise his hands to block it. A huge force hit Kakashi's arms. Kakashi was kicked away in just an instant. Kakashi's flying body hit the tree directly, blasting a big hole in the tree. This was Naruto's power. Kakashi raised his mighty and trembling arms, and the severe pain in his hands instantly spread throughout his body. Kakashi understood that his hands were useless and it would be impossible to use them again in a short time. Kakashi gasped for air, looking at the slowly approaching figure with firm eyes, insisting on not falling down. Naruto appeared in front of Kakashi, holding two bells in his hand, which he had taken from Kakashi's waist at the moment of the attack. It seems that we won this trial, Kakashi-sensei. Naruto tossed the two bells in his hand casually, Kakashi-sensei, what you are testing in this competition is teamwork. As long as you know this, if you can pass the test, that's why only two bells are given. Kakashi couldn't help but sit on the ground, and now he finally recovered a little. Although I had consumed a lot of chakra by Suzuki, with Naruto's strength, he could easily defeat me even without consuming it. Your strength is really beyond my expectation. Kakashi was very surprised at Naruto and Suzuki's current abilities. What about Sakura-chan? There are three people working together as a team, Kakashi retorted. As for little Sakura, look over there. Kakashi looked in a direction pointed and saw another Naruto holding little Sakura. Advertisement. It's just that little Sakura seems to have fainted. Seeing the worry in Kakashi's eyes, Naruto hurriedly explained, Little Sakura is fine, but we were afraid that the battle would affect her, so she fainted in advance. So Kakashi-sensei, are we qualified? Hey take Kakashi smiled helplessly, with such strength, it is more than enough to be a jonin. I hereby announce that Team 7 has been established. After Kakashi said that, he went directly to Kanaha Hospital, his arm hurting like crazy. I hope I won't break any bones, Kakashi thought as he ran quickly. Little Sakura rubbed her eyes and stretched, where am I? Before Little Sakura could see her surroundings clearly, she saw Suzuki. A quick shout out to Suzuki, Suzuki. Little Sakura, wake up. The trial is over. You are already a member of Team 7. Little Sakura didn't feel disappointed by Suzuki's cold face. Instead, she shouted happily, I passed the test, how did I pass? Little Sakura recalled carefully, I remember that I was the only one hiding in the grass, and then everything went dark, and I don't remember anything. By the way, where are you now? Only then did Little Sakura notice the situation around her. She was no longer on the training ground. She was lying on a small bed with some sundries piled around her. This is the utility room next to the school. Naruto helped us during the trial. Since you haven't woken up yet, I put you here. Suzuki explained. Advertisement. If Naruto hadn't asked Suzuki to put Little Sakura in a safe place, Little Sakura would probably still be at the training ground. Little Sakura looked at Suzuki affectionately. Suzuki must have sent me here in person just now, and then took care of me by the bedside. Could it be that Suzuki was interested in me? Now in Little Sakura's eyes, Suzuki seemed to be glowing all over, and countless pink bubbles rose in the air. Suzuki stood up and said, Since you're fine, I'll leave first. Remember to meet in front of the Hokage building at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning to pick up the mission. Little Sakura stared at Suzuki's leaving figure, not knowing what she was thinking. Next day, Kakashi-sensei, why are you like this? Sakura said strangely. In front of Heitake Kakashi, one hand was covered with bandages, and the other hand was wrapped so tightly that he couldn't move it. Kakashi accidentally remembered that he went to Kanaha Hospital for treatment yesterday. The doctor asked, how did you get injured? There shouldn't be anyone in Kanaha Village who can use Teijutsu to beat you like this. Could it be Guy? Guy wouldn't be so serious. Kakashi could only smile awkwardly. It couldn't be said that a genin who had just graduated had injured himself. After the doctor bandaged him, he told him, don't move for a week. Be careful. So Kakashi came to the meeting point with a bandage on his head. Come on, let's go pick up some missions. Kakashi explained as he walked, the missions have levels S A B C D, ranging from the lowest D to the highest SD level missions will not involve combat and will not go too far. They are within the scope of Kanaha. Generally, they are given to people just now, prepared by graduated genin. 
Level C can fight but there will be no ninjas. At most, they can fight bandits and protect an ordinary person for a period of time. Level B and above are more threatening, and there will be some wandering ninjas or rebel ninjas. To participate, S level involves the national level. For example, protecting the fire country's famous names belongs to S. Advertisement. Now you all understand, right? Kakashi looked at the three little ones and nodded, feeling pretty good. The first task of the seventh class is to help the old man cut wood and move it down the mountain. The address is in. Little Sakura gestured with her hand on the map and pointed to the villa near Kanaha village. Then let's go. Little Sakura set off happily. This is the first mission of Team 7. After the task is completed. What the hell kind of mission is this? The mountain is too high. Little Sakura's face was twisted. Questioned Mr. Kakashi. This is what Suzuki said. It should be that ordinary people don't have chakra. So going down the mountain is more dangerous. And they can't bring much down the mountain at one time. Little Sakura's face changed immediately when she heard Suzuki speak. Suzuki is so handsome. Naruto was very helpless after hearing this. And it was better to have Hineda as his own. After handing in the task, Kakashi looked at the sky and announced, That's it for today. Disband. Naruto weighed the money bag in his hand. This little money was not enough for a meal. In fact, judging from the average person's appetite, although the money is not a lot, it is definitely enough to eat. But Naruto's appetite was too big. If it wasn't for the constant support, Naruto would have gone hunting. Let's go, Suzuki, little Sakura, let's go to dinner together. Naruto said, Suzuki will definitely follow. If Suzuki goes, then little Sakura will go too. Advertisement. Chapter 35 Fighting Thoughts. Advertisement. Another morning, Suzuki suddenly asked Naruto, Is there any use in doing these low-level tasks? We have already done many tasks, but they are all D-level tasks. In fact, Suzuki has a lot of doubts in his heart. Why did Naruto give up Shadow Clone after graduating from the ninja school and use his body to do these basic tasks of helping others? These D-level tasks are not difficult, considering Naruto's current Shadow Clone chakra. One Shadow Clone is enough. The main body continues to go to the training ground. Isn't the training good? Naruto, who was walking on the street with Suzuki, shook his head lightly and then explained, These tasks seem to be of no help to us at all, but the premise is that we can't meet a good teacher. Teacher. Yes, he is a teacher. Hey, take Kakashi is considered a good teacher in Kanaha. His resume is very exciting, but he is also a very strong person based on his strength alone. Naruto continued, the key is not strength, but the power Heitake Kakashi holds and the abilities he has. This is what we have to learn from him. The D-level mission has just begun. Kakashi has a certain quality that you don't have now. Suzuki heard Naruto's words and thought carefully, what exactly is it that Naruto said I don't have? Now it seems that Suzuki's strength is not worse than Kakashi, but why can't he beat Kakashi? If the previous training was all about laying the foundation, then now is the period of explosive strength, but the speed of strength growth depends on a good teacher. Kakashi's combat experience, attitude towards handling various situations, and combat thinking are the most important things to learn, and you must use your own strength as much as possible. The main thing is to learn Kakashi's combat thinking method, such as intelligence analysis when facing pain, and targeting weaknesses. These things need to be learned. The adult Suzuki stayed with Orochimaru for three years and went through countless battles, but he was still manipulated by Itaki in the duel with Itaki. It can be said that Itaki deceived Suzuki from beginning to end, whether it was Uchiha's genocide or Itaki's own death. Advertisement. Even Obito obeyed Itaki's expectations and left Manjikyo sharing on to Suzuki, stronger than Kagaya, who abused his power, and various Atsutsuki all fell here due to lack of combat experience. It can be seen how important fighting thinking is. Although Suzuki has fighting thinking now, he is still a bit immature compared to Kakashi. The most important thing is to stay with Kakashi, observe and analyze, seize the flaws, and kill with one blow, and it's of little use for others to say it. Suzuki has to understand it himself. Good morning, Naruto, Suzuki little Sakura waved and ran towards them. During this time, little Sakura grew her long pink hair, hoping with joy that Suzuki would notice her. After all, girls love beauty. Good morning, Sakura-chan, Naruto greeted with a smile. Seeing Suzuki's unresponsive look, Naruto couldn't help but poke him with his elbow. The girl is saying hello to you, what are you doing? Suzuki realized it later and reluctantly said hello, good morning, good morning, little Sakura. Little Sakura ran over and looked around. Where's Mr. Kakashi? Hasn't he arrived yet? As soon as Sakura finished speaking, Kakashi suddenly appeared behind Sakura. You're talking about me. Kakashi's figure suddenly came from behind. I was shocked, Mr. Kakashi, when did you come? Sakura said angrily as she patted her chest. Advertisement. Okay, let's go pick up the mission today. Kakashi-sensei, can we change the mission level today? Naruto suddenly spoke, causing Kakashi to stop heading towards the Hokage building. Kakashi touched his chin and considered, based on your strength, let's take on a C-level mission today. Naruto chuckled inwardly, having succeeded. The country of waves, yes, Naruto is going to the country of waves, but he is not going to the country of waves to perform a bullshit bridge building mission, but for the country of waves. Although the country of waves is a small country, the five major countries cannot interfere with the development of the country without specific conditions. As long as they control the daimyo of the country of waves, you said there is no daimyo, just create one, no matter who he is, by controlling Cardo, the economic lifeline of the country's current economy, he can completely rule the country. There are too many benefits to ruling a country. If there is anything inconvenient to do, the country of waves can do it for you. It's Naruto. Yuenfei and Hiruzen took a puff of cigarette while sitting in Hokage's office. Third Hokage-sama, we are here to take on a C-level mission, Kakashi behind him said to Yuenfei Hiruzen. Yuenfei Hiruzen looked at the mission file and picked a mission at random, this is it. Escort a person to the land of waves. Come in. An old man smelling of alcohol walked in. Looking at the temperament of these people, although there was a little girl among them, the team looked very strong. Gather at the main gate of Kanaha in one hour Kakashi gave the order. Advertisement. 
Naruto took out the clothes in the seal scroll. Naruto looked at the clothes in his hand, which were the ones he wore on the night of the genocide. I never thought I would have the chance to wear it again. Naruto's shadow clone and Kakashi are going to turn, and Naruto's body is rushing towards the land of waves. He wanted to control them all before they arrived and deal with Zabuza. Outside Kanaha village, a figure wearing a fox mask and black robe soared into the sky, floating in the air, this is the country of waves. His whole body cut through the air as if it had turned into light, and he rushed toward the land of waves at extremely fast speeds. The air was split open by Naruto, and waves of air spread around. Flying in a straight line is very easy as long as the direction is determined. Most of Naruto's training is training on taking off and turning in the air. Coupled with Naruto's chakra control ability, he rarely makes mistakes and masters flying very skillfully. Flying in the air is not only fast, but also there are no complicated terrains, so you can fly wherever you want. Naruto has now accomplished one of mankind's ultimate dreams, flying freely in the air without contact with foreign objects. Naruto is still using the wind attribute chakra to continuously accelerate. With the protection of the nine tails chakra, coupled with Naruto's powerful body, Naruto's flying speed can reach the land of waves in just one hour. Due to the meeting time and changing clothes, it was almost lunchtime when Naruto arrived in the land of waves. Naruto had already determined the location of Kardo when he saw some small houses surrounded by some small houses in the sky and a very luxurious castle in the center. Advertisement. Chapter 36 Sabuza and Haku. Advertisement. Naruto fell from the sky, and under the acceleration of gravity, he crashed directly into Kardo's luxurious castle. Smoke and dust were everywhere on the ground. The wandering warriors around heard the sound and rushed over with their own swords. After all, if something happened to the boss, who would pay them their wages? The surrounding wandering warriors, as if facing a formidable enemy, aimed their swords at the figure. In front of where their sword tips were pointed, the surroundings suddenly became quiet. They didn't know who they were facing. They only looked at Dao Kong. The sky fell. Their throats rumbled and their faces were filled with sweat. Their bodies desperately tried to alert their brains, and their eyes could see that the surrounding area where they fell was vaguely dyed red. My legs couldn't stop shaking, but my whole body seemed to be frozen and could only keep shaking in place. Just like an animal encountering a natural enemy, it is engraved with genetic instinct of fear. The smoke dispersed, and a slender man wearing a black robe, a fox mask, and short black hair stood here very naturally. When the surrounding warriors clearly saw a person standing there, the bloody aura around that person suddenly spread to the surroundings, swallowing up the hearts of the people around him in an instant. In a room on the castle, Zabuza suddenly raised his sword and rushed towards where Naruto was. He had just sensed a very evil and murderous aura appearing in the castle. The owner of this aura must have killed many people with his own hands. It was much scarier than the aura on his own body. Zabuza-sama, let me go with you. At this time, Byakuya put on the ninja battle uniform and Kiraikage's exclusive mask, preparing to face the enemy with Zabuza. Bye, you stay here. Advertisement. Zabuza-sama. Shiro wanted to say something but was stopped by Zabuza. As a tool, don't be around me when I don't need you. Zabuza spoke fiercely. Then he went to face the enemy alone. The samurai who surrounded Naruto a second ago were frightened and fainted as if they had collectively lost consciousness. The bloody pupils under the fox mask shrank a little, and a malicious smile crossed the corner of his mouth. It seemed that I didn't need to do it myself. Under the mask, Naruto's eyes had turned into red vertical pupils, and his body was covered with blood-red Nine Tails chakra. Just now they saw the malicious emotions of Nine Tails, coupled with the slightly enlarged sense of fear, which directly affected the surrounding people. People fainted from fear. This is one of the benefits of manipulating Nine Tails' evil intentions. Naruto slowly kicked away the wandering warrior who had collapsed on the ground and walked towards Cardo's room. Naruto had sensed Cardo's location. A large knife cut through the air at a sharp angle, and with a whistling sound, it struck directly at Naruto's head. Seeing the beheading sword approaching, Naruto didn't panic at all. He saw the bloody chakra flowing on Naruto's body, and in an instant it condensed into a huge claw and grabbed the beheading sword. The claws collided with the blade, making a loud sound. Without any hesitation, Naruto's claws directly grabbed the decapitating sword in half. The blade whizzed along both sides of Naruto and was inserted into the ground behind Naruto. Advertisement. Water style, Great Falls technique. Seeing that Zabuza couldn't do any harm to the masked man in front of him, he directly formed a seal to convert all the chakra in his body into ninjutsu. Using all the chakra of a jonin to release a ninjutsu is naturally very powerful, not to mention the highest level of rebellious ninja from Mist Shinobi. Mamakai Zabuza, also known as Demon Zabuza, graduated from Kuragakur. The condition for graduation is to kill all the students in the same period. Only one graduates, so it is also called the village of Blood Mist. So those who graduate from anywhere are all combat elites. Later, he failed to assassinate the fourth Mizu cage and became a rebel ninja. But it was his bad luck to meet Naruto as a pervert. The water that could submerge the mountain forest roared in, and the trees in front of Naruto were completely washed away, and because it washed down from the top of the mountain, it swept away the mud and sand in the mountain, like a big yellow mouth, trying to swallow Naruto up. Standing in front of the huge flood, Naruto became a little bit interested. The power of such a large-scale ninjutsu was very impressive. Such a natural disaster is not very powerful for the ninja world. If you master the extraordinary power of chakra and have a strong body, it is very possible to survive. It's a pity, even this kind of ninjutsu is almost useless to me, Naruto thought to himself. The chakra around Naruto condensed into a huge red fox head and wrapped around Naruto's body. Mudslide, who was roaring just now, was stunned when he encountered this fox head. Mudslide was forced to separate his body and rushed towards the foot of the mountain. Fortunately, it is impossible to live with a flat door around Kato's house. This move that Zabuza used after running out of chakra not only failed to hurt Naruto as he expected, but also killed all of Kato's wandering warriors. The warriors who had just fainted were still alive and well, but they were washed away by the mudslide. I guess I'm lucky to be alive. Naruto rushed directly to Zabuza, and with a wave of the huge chakra, he directly grabbed Zabuza into pieces. It doesn't feel right Naruto muttered. Advertisement. A pool of water flowed out from the middle of Naruto's chakra hand, which turned out to be the water body. Zabuza was shocked when he saw the fox head. The huge chakra had materialized. Zabuza understood the difference in strength and forcibly squeezed his body to refine the chakra, creating a water body. At the same time, the main body escaped upwards. Haku was still there and could not be let go. He was caught. 
Suddenly a huge hand grabbed him tightly. Zabuza struggled frantically, but was unable to move at all on the giant hand. Naruto was somewhat interested in the fact that he could knead Zabuza into paste with just a little force, but what interested Naruto more was his little follower. It really means CAO 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 has arrived. Hurry up and let go Zabuza-sama. As the sound came, a man wearing a mask and wearing a mist shinobi assassination force appeared next to Naruto, aiming directly at Naruto, firing multiple senbons across the body. When senbon was about to touch Naruto's body, he suddenly lost power and fell down. Under the white mask, his face was full of disbelief. No one chakra didn't understand, and he didn't see any ninjutsu being used, so he couldn't hit him. Ice shield, magic mirror ice crystal, with Bai's hand seal, the moisture in the air suddenly condensed into ice. The ice formed mirrors, and Bai's figure blended into the mirror. The mirror circled towards Naruto. Naruto was very interested in the ice shield, because Naruto could control the shield technique with five attributes. There was no reason why he couldn't control the ice shield with the fusion of two attributes. Secret technique, thousand killings of water Haku's figure flashed crazily in the mirrors, and all the mirrors pointed out Senbon to Naruto. Advertisement. Chapter 37 Plan Success. Advertisement. Shiro's purpose is very clear, which is to rescue Mr. Zabuza, but there is no good way. He can only attack him and let him let go of Mr. Zabuza, and he will definitely not be able to defeat him with his own strength, so he can only fight for opportunities. Let Zabuza escape by himself, even if it means risking his own life. Naruto saw the Senbons coming from all directions, and gathered several claws on his body. He destroyed all the ice mirrors with one blow and knocked away all the Senbons at the same time. Shiro, who was hidden in the ice mirror, was scratched by Chakra's claws, and his body suddenly shook, vomiting blood directly, and fell heavily to the ground. The mask also fell off the face, revealing a very beautiful face, with bright eyes and white teeth, but the mouth that was vomiting blood somewhat ruined this beauty. Naruto's whole body felt bad when he saw this face. This face is prettier than most girls. You tell me it's a boy. As the chakra claws on his body moved, the two people were directly hung up side by side. When Naruto caught Haku, Zabuza kept his mouth shut. Even when Haku vomited blood, Zabuza didn't say a word. But under Naruto's perception, Zabuza's behavior was clearly visible. If you are secretly condensing chakra, that child will die in the next second. Naruto lifted Haku in front of Zabuza. Zabuza-sama, don't worry about me, he said in vain, and spit out a large mouthful of blood, which stained the ground red. Zabuza Mori looked at Naruto angrily, but still stopped to concentrate the chakra. Why do I feel like a villain? It was obviously you who attacked first and I was just resisting Naruto complained in his mind. Naruto's hands ignited the five characters of metal, wood, water, fire, and earth, and pressed them directly on Zabuza and Haku. Zabuza and Haku immediately fainted. This five element seal is really easy to use. Naruto just used the five element seal. It was originally used to seal some messy things on the body, and it can also interfere with the control of chakra. Advertisement. But now after Naruto's improvement, Naruto sealed part of his chakra inside the bodies of these two people. If you don't listen to me, the two chakras will explode in the body instantly, and something will explode in the body. The result is predictable. If Naruto wants to rule the country of waves, he must have someone to protect this place, otherwise he won't have the strength to guard it. It's not about letting people come when they want and leave when they want. Although these two people are not strong enough, they are more than enough to protect a small island country. At the same time, once the two people are in danger, the seal will automatically activate to help the two people recover from their injuries, which can be regarded as a small benefit of working for Naruto. Naruto raised the two of them in front of them and injected his chakra into them. Zabuza and Haku's injuries healed immediately. Haku's internal organs were injured by Naruto's chakra claws. Zabuza's chakra was exhausted and he was still squeezing his body desperately. Then the five element seal interfered with the chakra. He couldn't breathe and fainted. Looking into my eyes, facing each other, Zabuza and Haku woke up, but their eyes were dull. You just stay here and wait for me to come back. Naruto used Genjutsu to control them and deal with them later. Naruto swaggered into Kardo's room, and the moment he saw Naruto, he fell into Genjutsu forever. Let me see what you did, Naruto looked through Kardo's memories. Huh, it seems that you have done a lot of bad things, smuggling, selling, killing, you really haven't done any good things. Just let you always obey my orders, Naruto's eyes glowed red, and Kardo's eyes also glowed red at the same time. Yes, master. A bad guy with a huge fortune just uses his remaining value. Help, the country of waves develops, help them build bridges, let them live safely, and at the same time, deposit and withdraw the benefits collected, waiting for me to take them. Advertisement. Naruto left a hint in Cardo's mind, asking Cardo to govern the country well. Only when the country is rich can Naruto make a lot of money. Kato's ability to make money has not been lost, he can still make money, he just doesn't use those inhumane methods. As the country of Waves economy develops, if you have some money, the country will also be rich. Naruto also has money and can indirectly rule a country. It's a win-win situation. Well, Naruto wins twice. After Naruto dealt with Kato, he easily unlocked Zabuza and Haku's Genjutsu and also searched out the memories in their minds. He also understood part of Kirigakure's current situation through their memories. It seems that Obito tormented Kirigakure quite a lot. Miss Shinobi's strength is now far inferior to before. Although the graduation requirement is to produce elites, it is not enough to suppress everything. Some people who have not grown up are killed directly. At the same time, the Shuejija family was being chased crazily, and the seven ninja swordsmen were beaten into the three lucky treasures. They died and rebelled. The fault is worse than Kanaha. We're not dead. Zabuza and Biko looked at each other, and they both saw surprise in each other's eyes. Who wants to die while alive? I have planted a seal on you, and I am the only one who wants to kill you. As long as one of you doesn't disobey, the other will be the unlucky one. Zabuza didn't dare to consider that what Naruto said was false. With Naruto's strength, he would have killed him long ago. And more importantly, Zabuza really felt the chakra that was not his own in his body, as well as the seal. Zabuza looked at Naruto with a complicated look in his heart and said tentatively, What do you need us to do? Zabuza stumbled and almost fell to the ground, but luckily Byakugan quickly held him back. Advertisement. Zabuza-sama, are you okay? Shiro looked at Zabuza worriedly. Fine. You have only one purpose, to help build this country. Cardo will obey my orders, you just need to protect him. What does this mean? 
Zabuza was filled with doubts. I was originally protecting Kato for money, but now someone else is protecting Kato. Naruto seemed to notice his doubts but had no intention of explaining. You don't have to worry about these, just protect the country of Waves and Cardo. Naruto also took Cardo's small treasury with him when he left, but the money was enough to hire people to rebuild the country of Waves. On the other side, after Suzuki easily dealt with the Ghost Brothers, he asked Taz about the ninja mission level. After Taz explained the situation, Naruto took the initiative and continued the mission. Suzuki gave Naruto a strange look, but did not refute Naruto's words, and just persuaded little Sakura to continue the mission. This is what the leader of the 7th squad said, the 7th squad continues its mission action. Taz had tears in his eyes and expressed his gratitude very excitedly. Thanks to them for not giving up the mission, the country of waves was saved. Taz made up his mind to build the bridge as soon as possible. Advertisement. Chapter 38, Naruto Bridge. Advertisement. Tell me, where is your body? Suzuki mysteriously pulled Naruto aside and stayed away from them. What? I am my true form. Naruto looked at Suzuki with an innocent face. His innocent look was very convincing, and he touched Suzuki's forehead and said, Did you have a fever in your head and fell into fantasy? Seeing Naruto's playful smile, Suzuki knocked Naruto's outstretched hand away. Don't come here, Naruto. I don't know you yet. You must be a clone now. We have been together for so long, and I still don't know whether you are a clone or your true body. Looking at the affirmation in Suzuki's tone, Naruto was thinking about whether to do it or not. Tell him. Okay, let me tell you. Naruto had no choice but to spread his hands. Seeing Suzuki's insistence, Naruto could only explain some of the situation clearly, but what he told Suzuki was all, and only part of it. Only Naruto himself knew. Why is this mission so serious? Suzuki said in a low voice. According to the information from Naruto, the inside story of this mission is that the mission level has reached the A-level level. The enemy behind it is not only Cardo, but also Demon Zabuza, and one who can use Ice Shield. The blood successor Limited Ninja. And from there, Naruto learned that Zabuza Zabuza can be evenly matched with Kakashi, and Kakashi's strength is relatively clear to Suzuki, who is definitely stronger than him now. So even if it's Kaijin Zabuza, Suzuki is confident that he can win. Hearing Suzuki's words, Naruto also lowered his voice and said, according to the speed of the main body, he should be back soon, so don't worry. Suzuki looked in disbelief after hearing this. It was solved so quickly, it was promised to be very strong. Advertisement. Don't you know my strength yet, Suzuki? When Naruto said these words, his cold eyes narrowed slightly, and he exuded a very dangerous aura. Naruto seemed to turn into a dangerous beast, and Suzuki suddenly shuddered. The hair on his body stood up, and the terror of the ultimate made his body subconsciously turn on the Sherinan, and jerked away from Naruto in an instant. If he hadn't faced Naruto, Suzuki would have attacked directly out of fear. Sherinan also saw that Naruto's figure was replaced by a huge red fox, that evil chakra, even more violent than Sherinan. Suzuki, are there any enemies? Seeing Suzuki leave and take a defensive posture, everyone was instantly frightened and drew their weapons in defense. After hearing Kakashi's words, Suzuki came back to his senses and said, It's okay, maybe it's an illusion. Kakashi felt it carefully and found no problem, so he asked everyone to put down their weapons. It's okay, it's just an illusion. After hearing what teacher Kakashi said, little Sakura felt relieved. He glanced at Suzuki resentfully and thought to himself, What? I was shocked. But if it's Suzuki, please forgive him. After comforting herself, little Sakura returned to her usual happiness. But Kaka couldn't help but be a little wary looking at Suzuki's frightened look. What on earth did Suzuki see that scared him like this? What was that thing that looked like a fox, and why did he see it from Naruto? Suzuki still has lingering fears when he thinks about it, such a powerful chakra. It's okay, Suzuki Naruto came over to comfort him as if nothing happened. In Suzuki's current perception, Naruto from chakra is still so warm and bright, as if the violence he just saw was fake. Suzuki shook his head, suppressing the fear in his heart, and the group continued walking towards the land of waves. Dejina led the seventh team, taking boats, and taking transportation all the way. After a week, they finally arrived at the country of Awa. Advertisement. During this period, Naruto's body was also exchanged with his clone, and he condemned the clone's deliberate use of Nine Tails Chakra to scare Suzuki. Afterwards, he explained it well, saying that it was a special ability developed by himself, and it was no big deal. Although Suzuki didn't believe it, but Naruto had said so, so what else could he do? No one can force Naruto to do what he doesn't want to do. What happened? Dasna looked at this scene, as if his whole body was petrified, and pointed at the completed bridge. This, this, this. Dejina's hands couldn't stop shaking. Then he fell to the ground, as if his whole body had lost all bones, and collapsed to the ground. What's going on? Didn't it mean that Cardo has been blocking the construction of the bridge? Little Sakura looked at the completed bridge in front of her and was confused. Dasna burst into tears, tears kept forming in her eyes, and big tears kept flowing from her eyes. The bridge of the Land of Waves has been built. Dejina kept kneeling down and worshipping the bridge, and kept kissing the ground of the bridge. No one knows better the value and implications of this bridge. Naruto just gave a small smile. It seemed that they did a good job, and Naruto was very happy, finally getting on the right track. Tatsuna suddenly remembered something and ran frantically towards his home. Naruto and the others quickly followed. At this time, a beautiful young woman with long black hair wearing an apron was washing dishes at home. It was Tsunami. Tsunami was Tajuna's daughter and now the mother of a child. Tsunami suddenly noticed something. After opening the door, Tsunami saw Tajuna running over quickly as soon as she walked out of the door. Dad, you are finally back. Tsunami hugged Tajuna in surprise. Advertisement. Tell me what happened here and why the bridge was suddenly built. Tatsuna grabbed Tsunami's shoulders excitedly. Tsunami hesitated for a while and said slowly, It's Cardo. The convener of Cardo suddenly announced that he would build a bridge and name it Naruto Bridge. When Suzuki heard the word Naruto, he immediately understood that this bridge must have something to do with Naruto. Why is Cardo so kind? Sakura asked curiously. Dejina slapped his head in regret. These few people behind me are ninjas from Kanaha village. If it weren't for them, I would be dead. Come in quickly. Tsunami quickly asked a few people to sit down. 
Team 7 and the Tajuna family were sitting on the tatami in the room, listening to the recent events of Tsunami Show. Just a week ago, Kato suddenly summoned a large group of people and suddenly announced that he would build a Naruto bridge, and then asked him to pull all the poor people over. They were all afraid of Kato and could only follow him obediently, but Kato first, they provided a lot of food to seduce the poor people who had nothing to eat. Then, they proposed that there would be wages and the money for food would be deducted from their wages. At first, they did not believe it and thought it was another Cardo conspiracy, but until they actually gave him food should be eaten first before working. Everyone rushed to get there. In just a few days, the bridge that was almost completed was repaired directly. Kato also really paid wages, and what Kato will build in the future, hospitals, and housing. So now they follow Kato to build houses. So now it's like this. So where is Kardo himself now? Suzuki asked Tsunami. Kato was often seen in the beginning, but after the bridge was built, it was not seen so much. The current abbot is building it for a man named Taude. Machi, Kakashi's eyes narrowed, and he thought of Mamakai Zabuza, who is also a member of Mist Shinobi, and the ghost brother is also a member of Mist Shinobi. Advertisement. Chapter 39 After Returning to the Village. Advertisement. Tsunami continued, Kato now plans to build a few more bridges and is recruiting bridge builders, who will be paid a lot of money. How many bridges will be built in Kardo? A question mark slowly appeared on Dazna's head. Tsunami, how did you know about this? Didn't you read the notice when you came here? Cardo sent his men to build a huge wooden board with information on Cardo's recruitment. It seems that this country is getting better, Kakashi said with a smile. Then our mission is accomplished, Sakura whispered from the side. Sakura-chan Suzuki called. The reason for Cardo's change is not simple. Suzuki looked at Kakashi, waiting for Kakashi's opinion. He looked at Naruto again, but Naruto was still smiling, making it hard to tell what he was thinking. Kakashi hesitated for a while and said to the members of Team 7, Our mission has been completed and we have successfully sent Tatsuna to the country of waves. We will return to Kanaha tomorrow. Kakashi paused and continued. However, regarding the situation in the country of waves, I will truthfully report to Lord Hokage, and the level of this mission will also be changed. After saying that, Kakashi walked to the door and performed the body flicker technique and left. Dejina looked frustrated and put the hat on his head weakly on the table. He was obviously so excited when he saw the bridge, but now he is a little lost. He doesn't understand why he went to Kanaha village to submit the mission request, and why Kardo suddenly it's gotten better, so isn't everything meaningless now? Little Sakura looked at Tajuna's depressed look and didn't know how to comfort her. She could only sit here and watch. Naruto patted Sakura on the shoulder let him come down, let's go Suzuki. Now Naruto is not good at comforting people, he can only calm himself down. Advertisement. Then let's go. Team 7 packed up their things and the Dejuna family came to say goodbye. Please be careful along the way. Tsunami bowed deeply to the backs of Naruto and others. She understood that it was they who protected her father so that he could come back safely. Why do you think Kardo has changed for the better? Do you know, Naruto? Little Sakura sneaked up next to Naruto and whispered into Naruto's ear. Maybe Kardo suddenly realized his conscience. There may be many. Naruto said nonchalantly. Let's just leave. The Dejuna family won't be in danger, right? No, Kardo is going to build a bridge now. Tatsuna is very experienced in building bridges, so there won't be any danger. Naruto's words made little Sakura feel less uneasy. After three days of running, Naruto and his team had arrived at the gate of Kanaha village. It was a long and dusty journey and I didn't even get a good rest. My clothes were extremely dirty. Little Sakura looked at the clothes she was wearing and couldn't wait to go home and take a shower. Little Sakura said dissatisfied. You have worked hard these past few days. I will go to the Hokage building to report the situation first. You can go and rest first. Let's take a day off tomorrow. Okay. Little Sakura's eyes curled up with crescent moons very happily. Then let's go first. Kakashi Sensei Suzuki bowed slightly and left with Naruto. The first time Naruto left was to look for Hineda. Naruto's perception can easily locate the location of everyone in Kanaha village. Kanaha training ground, class 8. Teeth passed through the teeth, and Akamaro turned into teeth. The two of them rotated each other, forming two whirlwinds that swept the surrounding air, hovering in the air, like two huge teeth, rushing towards Kanaha's training target. Kanaha the training target was torn into pieces by two whirlwinds in an instant, with sawdust flying everywhere. The whirlwind continued to move forward, breaking the rotation speed of several large trees before slowing down. Advertisement. The trees were cut short by the cyclone, the trunks fell straight to the side, and the leaves on the trees fell to the ground. There was a puff of smoke and Akamaro turned into a dog again. Ya's eyes were full of excitement and he raised Akamaro high. Akamaro, we succeeded. We successfully became Ya Tong Ya. Akamaro was also very happy, wagging his tail excitedly and barking non-stop. The power is pretty good, yeah. Kiba took a closer look, Naruto. Naruto, you are back from your mission. How was your mission? The mission was okay. There were two ninjas who attacked us midway, but it was relatively easy. Ninja, aren't you on a sea level mission? How could there be ninjas? Ya looked at Naruto. I encountered it during the mission. Now the mission has become B level, Naruto said with a shrug. I'll go. You guys are lucky. I also want to ask Teacher Hong to apply for a B level mission. Ya shouted loudly. Akamaru on his head also shouted in agreement. Okay, I'm here to see Hineda. I'm leaving first. Naruto sped up and rushed towards Hineda. Hey, why don't you tell me the details of the mission? Ya shouted as he looked at Naruto's leaving figure. Advertisement. Next time. Naruto's figure had disappeared, but Ya heard his answer. Hineda Naruto called to the girl who was training hard. Naruto-kun Hineda heard Naruto's voice and turned her beautiful eyes in Naruto's direction. Seeing the figure she thought about day and night, Hineda ran up to him regardless. Naruto also opened his arms, hugged Hineda in his arms, and whispered, I'm back Hineda. Hineda lay in Naruto's arms, her delicate little face turned red instantly, but she still hugged Naruto tightly and answered Naruto in a small voice. Hineda and Naruto were sitting on top of the Hokage rock wall, watching the setting sun and recounting recent events. They didn't feel bored and were very happy. The setting sun fell on the two embracing figures, covering them with a golden coat, as if blessing them. As the sun set, Hineda felt a little crazy listening to Naruto's strong heartbeat. Naruto has always been Hineda's hero in her heart, nothing can compare to Naruto. When I was in ninja school, Iruka sensei had to write on a piece of paper who you would want to be with if the world ended tomorrow. At that time, Hineda thought for a while and did not fill in his parents or his sister Hanabi, but his hero, Uzumaki Naruto. 
Until death can separate us, this is what Hinata really thinks. The words Hinata wrote when she was young will eventually be realized by her future self. The love between Naruto and Hinata is very pure and has no impurities. In the end, Hinata will definitely realize her dream and marry the hero in her heart. This is also a beautiful wish for everyone who has known their love. Naruto stroked Hinata's soft and delicate hair, feeling that if no matter what happens, there is someone waiting for you, then this life will be very successful. Advertisement. Chapter 40 Chin An Examination. Advertisement. After returning from the country of waves, Team 7 started performing missions again. However, due to the mistake in the last mission, they were punished to do a D-level mission for a period of time. The reward for the last mission in the country of waves was based on the B-level mission. Given, the missing part will be made up by the village. The gain this time is not money, but the country of wave. Kakashi sensei, how long do we have to do the D-class mission? Sakura finally couldn't help but ask. Little Sakura showed her hands to Kakashi, my hands have become very rough. When will it end? Little Sakura seemed to have lost all color and squatted on the ground lonely. Kakashi could only say with great embarrassment, quickly, just make a few more. We still have to do it. Little Sakura was really on the verge of tears. Suddenly a bird chirped from the sky. Kakashi looked at the birds in the sky and thought to himself, it's the time this year too. Naruto, Suzuki, and Sakura will be dismissed today. The gathering time will be notified later. Then Kaka quickly rushed to the Hokage building. Naruto, I'm leaving first, Suzuki said to Naruto and left directly to care for himself. Suzuki, this guy is so rude. Naruto complained. He's always been like this. Little Sakura felt like she was being ignored by Suzuki and was about to cry. The signal just now was the Hokage summon signal. All Jonin must go to the Hokage building to gather. The Jonin summoned at this time is about the annual Jinin exam. The Jinin exam is jointly organized by the five major ninja villages. The purpose is to promote Jinin who have reached a certain level to Jinin. During the exam, the exam is conducted together with Jinin from other ninja villages. It is said that the exam is actually to show one's tolerance to other ninja villages. The strength of the village is similar to showing strength and shocking surrounding countries. Advertisement. The venue for the Jinin exam was held in turn among the five major ninja villages, and this time it was Konoha village's turn. Why are there so many people from other villages around? Little Sakura looked at the people wearing different forehead protectors. There may be some event going on in Konoha, and Mr. Kakashi must have been there for this just now. Naruto answered Sakura's question casually. Naruto's eyes lit up, as if he saw something interesting, and Naruto walked straight to a shop in Konoha. Boss, how do you sell this? Naruto is holding a very beautiful crystal necklace. 7,000 yen, okay, Naruto gave the money readily. Naruto, who are you buying this for? Little Sakura looked curiously at the crystal necklace in Naruto's hand. Of course it's for Hineda, who else could it be given to? Naruto glanced at Little Sakura inexplicably. Hey he, that's what I said. Little Sakura could only smile awkwardly. Damn Naruto, don't think I won't hit you because you are handsome. There seems to be another person roaring very angry in Little Sakura's mind. The above comes from another personality in Little Sakura's heart. It's not that simple for Naruto to buy this crystal necklace. Naruto wants to transform this crystal necklace and inject his own highly concentrated chakra into it. Giving it to Hineda so that Naruto can protect her even if Naruto is no longer around her is like the necklace Senju Hashirama gave to Tsunade, which is made of high concentration chakra crystals. And if worn for a long time, it can slowly improve the wearer's physical condition and heal wounds faster. Naruto calls it a portable spring, Naruto himself calls it a mobile spring, and Naruto chakra has the effect of restoring injuries. Advertisement. Leave an insurance policy for Hineda to protect her safety. No one is more important than her safety. Naruto, pay attention to the chakra over there. Nine tails in the body suddenly pointed in a direction. Naruto looked in the direction nine tails finger pointed. It was a red-haired child with a gourd on his back. The most obvious feature was the word love on his forehead. I asked who it was, and it turned out to be one tail Jinchuriki. Sand Falls Gara seemed to notice Naruto's gaze and looked over. But the moment she saw Naruto, the one tail in Gara's body seemed to notice something and began to struggle crazily. Gara gradually became ferocious, her teeth began to grow, her eyes were full of murderous intent, as if she was about to rush towards Naruto in the next second, her angry face had become distorted and gradually began to transform into a beast, and her eyes were slowly dyed yellow. Shikaka's eyes. Kill you, kill you. Gara's eyes made people's hair stand on end, a sinister smile flashed on his face, as if he turned into a wild beast, licked his teeth that had become sharp, and pounced directly on Naruto. Gara, is one tail going to go berserk now? Kankuro next to him was so frightened that he trembled like a quail, unable to stop being scared. Tamari's situation is a little better, but he is still worried about Gara. After all, he is his younger brother. At the same time, he also knows why Gara went berserk. There are nine-tailed beasts in this world, and these nine-tailed beasts are all moving natural disasters. One of them is sealed within Gara's body, Shikaku, whose body is made of yellow sand. Advertisement. Shikaku is gifted with the ability to control powerful sand and the power of wind, allowing him to create quicksand storms that sweep across Sunagakur. Sunagakur's ancestors tried their best to seal it, and it is now sealed in Gara's body. The moment Gara pounced towards him, Naruto anticipated Gara's attack direction and dodged lightly. Naruto condensed chakra in his hand and punched Gara hard on Gara's twisted face. Gara had a handful of sand next to her, blocking Naruto's fist, but was directly punched through by Naruto's punch. After receiving the punch, Gara flew back faster. The sand around Gara couldn't keep up with the speed at which Gara was knocked away. With a bang, Gara was hit directly against the wall and couldn't even buckle it down. The gourd behind him was also blown into pieces by the powerful impact, turning into sand and slowly flowing on the ground. Cracks slowly appeared on Gara's face, and at the same time, it turned into sand and flowed down. That heavy punch not only shattered Gara's sand protection, but also the sand armor. Even Shikako was knocked offline by this punch and did not dare to show up again. Kankuro never expected that Gara, who had been shouting to kill just now, would be punched so hard by an ordinary ninja from Konoha in the blink of an eye that he couldn't even take the buckle. This made Kankuro feel less afraid of Gara. Although every time Gara kills someone, he will trap the enemy in the sand and crush it like an ant. But for Konoha's god tier, Gara's appearance doesn't seem so scary anymore. Gara, Gara, are you okay? Tamari was worried and quickly pushed Gara down against the wall, but Gara passed out immediately. No matter how Tamari shouted, there was no response. 
Fortunately, Gara was still alive, otherwise I really don't know what to do. Back to Sunagakur. Advertisement. Chapter 41 Gara. Advertisement. What did you say? Naruto sent San Shinobi's Jinchuriki to the hospital. The third Hokage stopped smoking. Umbu knelt on the ground and reported the situation to third Hokage Yuan Fei Hiruzen. Yes, but many people saw it, and it was San Shinobi's Jinchuriki who did it first. Where's Naruto? Is Naruto okay? The third Hokage changed his mind and asked about Naruto's situation. Naruto was not injured. The fight was very short. Naruto only used one blow to knock San Shinobi Jinchuriki into the hospital. Ha 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 Yuan Fei Hiruzen has not been so happy for a long time. Naruto is really strong now. Although Kakashi has reported it once before, but has never had time to understand it carefully, but judging from this incident, Naruto is very strong and deserves to be the son of the fourth Hokage. How about San Shinobi's Jinchuriki? Yuan Fei Hiruzen asked. The medical ninja checked and said that he was just unconscious due to a heavy blow. He didn't suffer any injuries. He will wake up after a while. You go down, Yuan Fei Hiruzen said. Umbu bowed and left. Let Naruto be promoted to Jinin after this Jinin exam. With Naruto's strength, he shouldn't continue to stay in Jinin. Advertisement. Looking at the photo on Naruto's profile, third Hokage side, Naruto has grown up to, Minato. Yuan Fei Hiruzen was old and sentimental when he thought about the time when he passed on the Hokage to Minato. The appointment letter written by the third Hokage was kept in a drawer and Naruto would be promoted as soon as the Jinin exam was passed. Kanaha Hospital, the Kankuro siblings are waiting in the ward for Gara to wake up. Tamari looked at Gara, whose head was wrapped with gauze, and a trace of worry flashed across Tamari's beautiful face. But looking at the calm Gara on the hospital bed, I couldn't help but think that Gara was quite cute when she was quiet. Gara slowly opened his eyes and looked at Tamari and Kankuro who had been guarding him. He was not as ferocious as before, and there was no murderous intent in his eyes. At this time, Gara's eyes were as calm as a pool of water without waves. Gara, you're awake. Tamari saw that he was awake and wanted to go over and hug him, but when she thought of his murderous look before, Tamari had to suppress the urge to hug him. Seeing Tamari's hesitant look, Gara spoke. Tamari, Kankuro, you go and have a rest. Gara's tone was so relaxed that he didn't realize it. Kankuro couldn't help but exclaimed. Just now, Gara actually told them to go to rest, without telling them to get out or staring with murderous eyes. Watching them, Tamari pulled Kankuro and said to Gara, you should rest first, let's leave first. Tamari forced Kankuro out and gently closed the door of the room. Tamari grabbed Kankuro's neck fiercely and said to him, are you trying to make Gara angry again? Kankuro waved his hands nervously and shouted quickly, no, 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 then let's go, don't disturb Gara's rest. Tamari let go of Kankuro and left Kanaha Hospital. Advertisement. Gara had a dream while in coma in the hospital. Dreaming is a very common thing for ordinary people. As long as you sleep, you can experience various dreams, but Gara is different. He is Jinchuriki of San Shinobi. San Shinobi Jinchuriki is a very painful existence. San Shinobi's sealing technique is not perfect, which means that even though Shikako is forced into Jinchuriki's body, Jinchuriki cannot sleep. Once Jinchuriki falls asleep, Shikako will take the opportunity to invade Jinchuriki, and Shikako will break the seal and die. It caused huge damage to Sunagakur, and many people died every time. Fourth Kaze Cage wanted to kill Gara many times, so as to change the container. You know, Gara's father is Fourth Kaze Cage Luasha, which can be regarded as a father's kindness and a son's filial piety. In contrast, the Fourth Hokage inherited most of the sealing techniques of the Uzumaki clan, and Naruto is a member of the Uzumaki clan, so the chance of Nine Tails breaking the seal is very slim, and as time goes by, Naruto can in turn master Nine Tails. The power of Tails, this is why Fourth Hokage Namikaze Minato sealed Nine Tails into Naruto's body, because Nine Tails contains huge power. Minato wants his son to get the power of Nine Tails, and believes that his son will be able to success. Therefore, when Naruto was a boy, Nine Tails never came out once. At most, Chakra came out and breathed out, and his consciousness was always in Naruto's body. The seal of San Shinobi Village, as long as Jinchuriki's spirit is slightly stimulated, Shikaku's consciousness will come out to grab the body, stimulating Jinchuriki's negative emotions until it completely takes over the body. Over the years, Gara has been unable to sleep, unable to rest mentally, and being a Jinchuriki, he often receives discrimination from others in San Shinobi Village. Shikaku keeps going berserk, and fourth Kaze Cage can't do anything about it. A ninjutsu was also developed from this, called the ninjutsu technique, which is a technique to make oneself sleep. Let Shikaku come out and fight for you, but once the technique cannot be ended by itself, it must be awakened by external force. Therefore, if there is no interference from external forces, the Shikaku Chakra will be completely leaked over time, and Jinchuriki will be dead at that time, and the Tailed Beast will completely unlock the seal. This is completely a life-threatening technique. Gara saw her mother in her dream. Although she didn't know that Gara had never seen her, her chakra was so warm, full of tolerance and love. Gara's long-stressed spirit suddenly relaxed. I felt like I talked to my mother a lot, but I couldn't remember it after I woke up. I just took a good rest in my mother's arms, and Shikaku didn't come out to disturb her during this period. Gara's heart was instantly filled with love. Once Jinchuriki experiences love, he can resist the tailed beast's negative taste, thereby reducing the chance of going berserk. It may be a coincidence that Gara dreamed of her mother. Naruto punched Gara through the sand and felt a chakra full of warmth. That chakra was full of the flavor of protection, but now Shikaku's chakra only smells of destruction, so it couldn't be Shikaku's power. Advertisement. Naruto just knocked Shikaku down with one punch, causing Shikaku to temporarily lose the ability to cause trouble. Maybe at that time, he also punched another chakra on Gara into the consciousness space. So it's just a coincidence. Underscore 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 Naruto was compressing chakra crazily in the consciousness space, trying to put the chakra into the crystal necklace, but he was always missing the last step. Nine Tails looked at Naruto's hard compression, and not only reminded, Compress chakra, your current amount of chakra the concentration of chakra is enough, but the last bit is still missing. Karema, don't be pretentious, just say it. Naruto had been trying for hours and always got stuck on the last step. 
Remember the way you condensed the tailed beast bomb for the first time. Nine Tails did not directly tell Naruto the answer because of his eagerness but brought up a related topic. Naruto said angrily, of course you remember, the yin and yang attributes will be mixed in proportion soon. Wait a minute Naruto suddenly had a flash of inspiration and he already knew what to do. It's the proportion. The proportion of chakra is wrong, so it has been unable to condense. Naruto figured it out. No matter how it was aggregated, it could not form a solid. This is the same principle as the tailed beast bomb. If a certain yin attribute chakra or yang attribute chakra passes otherwise, the tailed beast bomb will explode before being launched or may not explode at all. Naruto is now making a tailed beast bomb that won't explode, but it's not a prototype. Naruto, who understood the trick, quickly completed the crystal necklace. Place it safely in a gift box, ready to be given to Hineda tomorrow. Advertisement. Chapter 42 The exam begins. Advertisement. The sun was rising over Kanaha, and the golden crow was slowly rising from the horizon. Naruto got up early as usual. Yesterday, Mr. Kakashi informed us that we would gather today. Naruto knew that it was about the Chinin exam, but Naruto's focus was not on that at all. Just take the Chinin exam casually. Now I want to give Hineda the necklace that just came out yesterday. Naruto-kun, this is Hineda looked at the necklace Naruto gave. Hineda felt very shy after a long absence, and her voice was much softer. If Naruto hadn't listened carefully, Hineda's voice would not have been heard at all. Come and let me put it on for you. Naruto put the crystal necklace on Hineda's small and white neck. The crystal sparkled in the sunlight. Hineda leaned gently into Naruto's arms, enjoying the tranquility of this moment. Remember, no matter what danger you encounter in the future, don't take off the necklace. Naruto's voice was a little tough, but Hineda felt Naruto's heart more. Hineda buried her head firmly in Naruto's chest, and hugged Naruto with both hands slightly. Hineda's heart was pounding, and the little deer's face was covered with blush, but Hineda had no choice but to get more and more excited. Pushing harder and harder, this is the first time Hineda has expressed so boldly that she wants to hug each other forever. Advertisement. Suddenly, Hineda realized something, jumped out of Naruto's arms, and bowed slightly, with a faint blush on her face, looking gorgeous and incomparable. Thank you Naruto for the gift. I like it very much. Naruto also knew that Hineda was very nervous about this gift and had been holding on to the necklace since it left Naruto's arms. Teacher Kurane said we need to gather together, Naruto-kun, I'm leaving first. Hineda has been very polite to other people since Naruto met her. Apart from being shy around Naruto, Hineda rarely loses her politeness. I'm going to be late. I hope Teacher Hong won't blame me. Hineda was running quickly to the gathering place. The crystal necklace was glowing slightly in Hineda's arms. A warm current slowly flowed from Hineda's chest to her limbs. Hineda's the chakra and body are being nourished, and Hineda's white eyes also shine with a golden light, but this light is very weak, and the people around Kanaha don't notice it at all. Sakura-chan, Suzuki Naruto was greeting them with a cheerful look on his face. Naruto, where have you been? Little Sakura shouted at Naruto with her arms crossed and a dissatisfied look on her face. Something happened at the last minute. Naruto scratched his head in embarrassment. Anyway, Naruto was in a good mood now, so it didn't matter. Kakashi-sensei isn't here yet. Naruto looked at the two of them. Little Sakura's expression softened a lot after hearing Naruto's apology. Kakashi-sensei was here just now. I just saw you didn't come, Naruto, so I wanted to wait for you, but now I don't know where I went. After hearing Little Sakura's explanation, Naruto realized that they had been waiting for him, and they were just with him. Hineda stayed for a while and time passed so quickly. Hey, take Kakashi suddenly appeared in front of Naruto's three little ones, holding three application forms in his hand. He handed them to them and said, This is the Chinin exam application form. After you fill it out, give it to me. It is voluntary. Suzuki, are you joining? Sakura looked at Suzuki expectantly, with a little yearning in her eyes. Advertisement. When looking at Naruto, Naruto just nodded slightly, and Suzuki responded and said, Participate. Then all members of class 7 agree to take this Chinin exam. After this period of observation, Hey Take Kakashi has learned that the leader of this team is Naruto. Suzuki seems aloof and talks little, but every time he makes a decision, he first seeks Naruto's opinion, while little Sakura I always followed Suzuki's advice. Therefore, Team 7 has always decided their actions based on Naruto's will. This makes teamwork very easy, but compared to the strength of Naruto and Suzuki little Sakura is not needed. The two of them can solve problems. Little Sakura's strength is only that of an ordinary genin, and she is also a girl. This makes little Sakura dispensable in class 7, which is not a good thing. For team 7, little Sakura is just a vase at most, with no effect at all. If this continues, this team will easily abandon little Sakura. When Kakashi reported to third generation, he had already made it clear that Naruto would be promoted, and then team 7 would disband immediately. The first session of the Chinin exam begins now. Following the examiner's order, the Chinin examination room suddenly became lively. Although there was a little hiccup when entering the examination room, Suzuki had no intention of fighting with Xiaoli at this time, and Guy's arrival stopped Xiaoli's challenge in time. But Naruto really admires Yakushi Kabuto's acting skills. If he were asked to act, he would definitely not be able to perform it. For the first Shinin exam, there were many over-the-top questions. For Kanaha Jenin, who had average grades, he could only rely on cheating, but for Naruto, who exercised every day and used Shadow Clone to go to class and even go to the library, these questions it's very simple. Suzuki also learned it under Naruto's influence, learning. So it's trivial. The examiner above had a dark look on his face, because the questions asked this time were all beyond the syllabus, mainly to test the ninja's intelligence collection, because there must be questions that he knew how to do in so many exams, and he just copied the questions that others had done and combined them. For a while, it mainly tested the accuracy of intelligence collection and analysis, but he saw that everyone in this team could write and they were all correct. Wasn't this examination in vain? The Kanaha examiner knows the list of assigned members of the team. Advertisement. This team is class 7, so I'll remember it and I'll deal with you later. Naruto was already bored and wanted to sleep, so he could just hand in a blank paper. Naruto went to chat with Nine Tails, and Naruto just lay down on the table. Hineda, who was busy writing, saw that Naruto had fallen asleep, and couldn't help but wonder, Naruto-kun, are you so tired? Hope Naruto can rest well. The second forest of death. Collect all the earth-coiling axes in the sky and reach the tower within five days. 
If you pass, the others will be eliminated. The moment he walked into the forest of death, Naruto looked at the ninja in the corner of his eye. The ninja's chakra was as cold as a snake and had a slippery feel, full of poison. A person's chakra is the embodiment of will, which can more or less reflect a person's inner personality. Orokimura, Naruto thought to himself. Look, I have a surprise for you, but I can't beat you to death. Then put something in your body, let you feel what it feels like to be controlled when fighting. Orokimaru also has the information I need in his hands, as well as laboratories in various places and the sealing techniques of the Uzumaki clan. The most important thing is the solution to the ghoul seal. Naruto has been coveting nine tails for a long time, but he has never been able to find the Uzumaki clan's ancestral hall, and he can't tell which mask it is, so he came up with a plan to empty out all Orokimaru's things at once. Advertisement. Chapter 42 The exam begins. Advertisement. The sun was rising over Kanaha, and the golden crow was slowly rising from the horizon. Naruto got up early as usual. Yesterday, Mr. Kakashi informed us that we would gather today. Naruto knew that it was about the Chinin exam, but Naruto's focus was not on that at all. Just take the Chinin exam casually. Now I want to give Hinata the necklace that just came out yesterday. Naruto-kun, this is Hinata looked at the necklace Naruto gave. Hinata felt very shy after a long absence, and her voice was much softer. If Naruto hadn't listened carefully, Hinata's voice would not have been heard at all. Come and let me put it on for you. Naruto put the crystal necklace on Hinata's small and white neck. The crystal sparkled in the sunlight. Hinata leaned gently into Naruto's arms, enjoying the tranquility of this moment. Remember, no matter what danger you encounter in the future, don't take off the necklace. Naruto's voice was a little tough, but Hinata felt Naruto's heart more. Hinata buried her head firmly in Naruto's chest, and hugged Naruto with both hands slightly. Hinata's heart was pounding, and the little deer's face was covered with blush, but Hinata had no choice but to get more and more excited. Pushing harder and harder, this is the first time Hinata has expressed so boldly that she wants to hug each other forever. Advertisement. Suddenly, Hinata realized something, jumped out of Naruto's arms, and bowed slightly, with a faint blush on her face, looking gorgeous and incomparable. Thank you Naruto for the gift. I like it very much. Naruto also knew that Hinata was very nervous about this gift and had been holding on to the necklace since it left Naruto's arms. Teacher Kurane said we need to gather together, Naruto-kun, I'm leaving first. Hinata has been very polite to other people since Naruto met her. Apart from being shy around Naruto, Hinata rarely loses her politeness. I'm going to be late. I hope Teacher Hong won't blame me. Hinata was running quickly to the gathering place. The crystal necklace was glowing slightly in Hinata's arms. A warm current slowly flowed from Hinata's chest to her limbs. Hinata's the chakra and body are being nourished, and Hinata's white eyes also shine with a golden light, but this light is very weak, and the people around Kanaha don't notice it at all. Sakura-chan, Suzuki Naruto was greeting them with a cheerful look on his face. Naruto, where have you been? Little Sakura shouted at Naruto with her arms crossed and a dissatisfied look on her face. Something happened at the last minute. Naruto scratched his head in embarrassment. Anyway, Naruto was in a good mood now, so it didn't matter. Kakashi-sensei isn't here yet. Naruto looked at the two of them. Little Sakura's expression softened a lot after hearing Naruto's apology. Kakashi-sensei was here just now. I just saw you didn't come, Naruto, so I wanted to wait for you, but now I don't know where I went. After hearing Little Sakura's explanation, Naruto realized that they had been waiting for him, and they were just with him. Hinata stayed for a while and time passed so quickly. Hey, take Kakashi suddenly appeared in front of Naruto's three little ones, holding three application forms in his hand. He handed them to them and said, This is the Chinin exam application form. After you fill it out, give it to me. It is voluntary. Suzuki, are you joining? Sakura looked at Suzuki expectantly, with a little yearning in her eyes. Advertisement. When looking at Naruto, Naruto just nodded slightly, and Suzuki responded and said, Participate. Then all members of class 7 agree to take this Chinin exam. After this period of observation, Heitei Kakashi has learned that the leader of this team is Naruto. Suzuki seems aloof and talks little, but every time he makes a decision, he first seeks Naruto's opinion, while little Sakura I always followed Suzuki's advice. Therefore, Team 7 has always decided their actions based on Naruto's will. This makes teamwork very easy, but compared to the strength of Naruto and Suzuki little Sakura is not needed. The two of them can solve problems. Little Sakura's strength is only that of an ordinary genin, and she is also a girl. This makes little Sakura dispensable in class 7, which is not a good thing. For team 7, little Sakura is just a base at most, with no effect at all. If this continues, this team will easily abandon little Sakura. When Kakashi reported to third generation, he had already made it clear that Naruto would be promoted, and then team 7 would disband immediately. The first session of the Jinin exam begins now. Following the examiner's order, the Jinin examination room suddenly became lively. Although there was a little hiccup when entering the examination room, Suzuki had no intention of fighting with Xiaoli at this time, and Guy's arrival stopped Xiaoli's challenge in time. But Naruto really admires Yakushi Kabuto's acting skills. If he were asked to act, he would definitely not be able to perform it. For the first Shinin exam, there were many over-the-top questions. For Kanaha Jenin, who had average grades, he could only rely on cheating, but for Naruto, who exercised every day and used Shadow Clone to go to class and even go to the library, these questions it's very simple. Suzuki also learned it under Naruto's influence, learning, so it's trivial. The examiner above had a dark look on his face, because the questions asked this time were all beyond the syllabus, mainly to test the ninja's intelligence collection, because there must be questions that he knew how to do in so many exams, and he just copied the questions that others had done and combined them. For a while, it mainly tested the accuracy of intelligence collection and analysis, but he saw that everyone in this team could write and they were all correct. Wasn't this examination in vain? The Kanaha examiner knows the list of assigned members of the team. Advertisement. This team is class 7, so I'll remember it and I'll deal with you later. Naruto was already bored and wanted to sleep, so he could just hand in a blank paper. Naruto went to chat with Nine Tails, and Naruto just lay down on the table. Hinata, who was busy writing, saw that Naruto had fallen asleep, and couldn't help but wonder, Naruto-kun, are you so tired? Hope Naruto can rest well. The second forest of death. 
Collect all the earth coiling axes in the sky and reach the tower within five days. If you pass, the others will be eliminated. The moment he walked into the forest of death, Naruto looked at the ninja in the corner of his eye. The ninja's chakra was as cold as a snake and had a slippery feel, full of poison. A person's chakra is the embodiment of will, which can more or less reflect a person's inner personality. Orokimura, Naruto thought to himself. Look, I have a surprise for you, but I can't beat you to death. Then put something in your body. Let you feel what it feels like to be controlled when fighting. Orokimaru also has the information I need in his hands, as well as laboratories in various places and the sealing techniques of the Uzumaki clan. The most important thing is the solution to the ghoul seal. Naruto has been coveting nine tails for a long time, but he has never been able to find the Uzumaki clan's ancestral hall, and he can't tell which mask it is, so he came up with a plan to empty out all Orokimaru's things at once. Advertisement. In the forest of death, Team 7 was moving forward rapidly, as if someone was chasing them from behind. On the other side, the Gara team was being attacked by Rain Shinobi. A Rain Shinobi holding an umbrella said arrogantly, You kid from San Shinobi village, hand over your scroll. That Rain Shinobi relies on his own strength and is arrogant and domineering. He often uses his companions to consume the enemy's chakra, and he is taking action himself. But he didn't know that he would get into trouble with the top performers in this Jinin exam from the very beginning. Gara did not speak, but just watched the clown from Rain Shinobi village shouting. Although Gara was in a good mood these days, her relationship with Kankuro and Tamari had only gotten better. As for the enemy, the first lesson of a ninja is to kill the enemy. Rain Shinobi then jumped directly into the air. He wanted to release his secret technique. Using the secret technique, he killed many civilians just to take away their belongings. The ninja technique Sen Umbrella Senbon, the black umbrella he held in his hand suddenly opened it, and then, under the infusion of chakra, launch black Senbon in all directions. The Senbon is coated with poison. If you are not a ninja, it can be said that anyone who sees it will die. Seeing that Gara hadn't made any move yet, a cruel smile appeared on Rain Shinobi's lips. He had already seen the death of the San Shinobi team. The moment the black Senbon struck, countless sand suddenly poured out around Gara, forming a protective shield made of sand. All the Senbon were trapped in the sand and unable to move. The sand continued to flow, and countless gravels formed a huge hand, grabbing the Rain Shinobi. The Rain Shinobi wanted to beg for mercy, but before he could say anything, his body was attacked from all directions. The force directly crushed him to death, and his crushed body was buried in the ground along with the sand. Advertisement. Scroll of Earth, you're pretty lucky. Gara took the scroll held by Rain Shinobi and said it was a pair with his own, and he could clear the level. Class 7 was also moving forward and had already walked halfway through the journey. Little Sakura was out of breath from running and was starting to lose strength. Naruto, why did we keep running instead of grabbing the scroll? Little Sakura also asked, Suzuki's question. Looks like it's coming Naruto looked ahead, always paying attention to Suzuki, Naruto looked in the direction. With a bang, a huge cloud of smoke swept in, accompanied by several giant pythons. The giant python spat out the message and headbutted the three of them. Naruto hugged Little Sakura and jumped up. The moment Suzuki jumped up, he immediately cast the great fireball. The huge fireball swept the python, directly roasting the python into charcoal. Orokimura, who was hidden in the tree trunk, saw the scene, stretched out his tongue in excitement, and licked his lips. Orokimura saw that Suzuki's strong body, excellent chakra control, and instantaneous release of the great fireball all showed that Suzuki was his best vessel. Orokimura suddenly pounced on Suzuki like a snake. At the same time, Orokimura opened his mouth and spit out a snake. At the same time, a sword came out of the snake's mouth and stabbed Suzuki who was still in the air. Suzuki turned around in the air, took out a kunao and hit him hard, sparks flying. Although Orokimura's Kusanagi sword is a magical weapon, if it is not strong enough, it will still chop down the kunao. Is this Orokimura, one of the legendary sunin? Suzuki thought as he looked at the man who sneaked up on him. While he was on his way, Naruto suddenly passed the chakra to Suzuki. It was not to help Suzuki recover his strength. There was a piece of information hidden in Naruto's chakra. Advertisement. Then Suzuki opened the Sherinan and looked at Naruto. Naruto and Suzuki were talking directly in the illusion space. Naruto also said straight to the point, There is someone following us, and this person is stronger, much stronger than Kakashi. Stronger than Kakashi, who is that? Orokimura, one of the sunin, is behind us now. He is here for your Sherinan. At the same time, there is something about Orokimura that can instantly increase your power. Naruto then told Suzuki about the advantages and disadvantages of the curse seal. Although the time in the illusion space is very long, in reality it is only a short moment. Suzuki decides to accept Orokimura's power. Naruto is also planning how to obtain Orokimura's knowledge, and uses Orokimura's desire for Suzuki's body to bring Suzuki with him when he is reincarnated. Entering the reincarnation space with Naruto's chakra crystal, just like how eight tails helped Naruto and nine tails compete for power in the original work. Naruto can materialize there, and most of Orokimura's soul is there. As long as Orokimura's soul is in hand, his knowledge can also be used by Naruto. Although the plan is simple and not too difficult, the benefits are astonishingly large. Even if Suzuki didn't want to accept the curse seal just now, Naruto would have tried to persuade him. After all, the power was given away in vain. The only one who suffered a loss was Orokimaru. At the same time, Suzuki had to defect again, but this time the defection was a false betrayal, just for Orokimaru's resources. At this time, Suzuki was confronting Orokimaru. Orokimaru looked at the three Megatama in Suzuki's eyes greedily. I can't help but admire in my eyes that there are three Megatama at such a young age. Almost comparable to Uchiha Itaki. Orokimaru used Teijutsu to fight Suzuki for the first time in a long time, but Suzuki's situation was not so good. Because of Orokimaru's software modification, many ergonomic movements could be easily performed. In addition, Suzuki had no experience, so he was still a little disappointed, but Suzuki quickly adapted to this style of play, but the kunao was a bit short and didn't have enough attack range. The two sides fought for a while, but Suzuki never gained any advantage. He directly distanced himself, shot out wires with both hands, and breathed fire directly from his mouth. 
Advertisement. Orikimura was captured in an instant, but Suzuki's Sherinan could clearly see that at the moment of being tied up, Orikimura's body became extremely smooth and the steel wire slid directly over, rushing directly into the fireball, shedding its skin like a snake and rushing towards Suzuki. Suzuki used a kunao to directly he stabbed Orikimura in the body, but his neck was also bitten by Orikimura at the same time. At this time, Suzuki felt a burning sensation spread from his neck throughout his body, and black lines instantly covered Suzuki's body. Naruto didn't say that the curse mark was so painful. Suzuki couldn't help but wailed. It seemed that I was going to appear on the stage. Naruto saw that the plan was successful and Shishiren came out. Naruto teleported and punched Orikimura directly in the chest and smashed it to the ground. A huge collision sound was heard, and the ground shook faintly. Orikimura's blood spurted out from his mouth, and the sound of cracking bones could be heard all over his body, as if his whole body was shattered by this force slash. The ground seemed to have been bombarded by a cannon. A ten meter large crater was opened directly by this punch. Cracks appeared on the surface of Orikimura's body. You must know that Orikimura has been transformed by software and is not afraid of attacks such as blunt objects. Orikimura directly used all the chakra in his body to shed his skin, and at the same time, he desperately drilled into the ground. After molting three or four times in a row, he could barely regain his ability to move. The lifespan of Orikimura's body was also shortened by squeezing the chakra so hard just now. Was shortened. Orikimura will have to be reincarnated soon, otherwise the soul rejection will make Orikimura weaker day by day until he dies. Orikimura also knows this situation, but Suzuki has just carved the curse seal at this time, and reincarnating into Suzuki at this time is undoubtedly asking for death. We can only wait until the next reincarnation of Suzuki, Orikimaru thought. Advertisement. Chapter 44 The Power of the Curse Seal. Advertisement. After the war, Naruto placed Suzuki in a tree hole. Black runes kept appearing on Suzuki's body, but Suzuki's chakra suppressed them. In fact, the reason for the high mortality rate of curse seals is that the amount of chakra they bear is not enough, resulting in being swallowed up by the power of the curse seal, and finally exhausting the chakra and dying. However, if the body is strong, people with huge chakra will lose their health after receiving the curse seal. It will become easier. The curse seal essentially uses natural abilities. It is a degraded sage mode. The source is Ryukai Cave, so it needs chakra to suppress it. But Naruto, who has a natural mode, very clearly sensed that the natural energy around Suzuki had come down, and the runes on Suzuki's body began to slowly fade away, returning to his neck. Suzuki was about to wake up. Suzuki adapted to the curse seal very quickly. Not only did he now have the three Tomo Sherinan activated, he was also physically stronger, making it easier to deal with the curse seal. Is this the power you are talking about? Naruto the first thing Suzuki did when he woke up was to notice the power contained in his body. Suzuki felt that as long as he had enough chakra, he could use the curse seal continuously, and he could also switch it on and off freely. Looking at the black chakra flowing around Suzuki, Naruto nodded and said, Yes, this is the power of the curse seal. It can increase the power of your ability. If you want to try it out, there are two ninjas from the grass ninja village not far from here. They ran over because of the noise of the battle just now. You can practice with them. Suzuki smiled evilly, and the Sherinan opened involuntarily, exuding an evil aura. The curse seal opened immediately, and black stripes covered the whole body. I feel good now Suzuki shot up into the sky like a cannonball and rushed towards the two grass ninjas that Naruto said did not know whether to live or die. That chakra called Xiangling is so delicious. It can not only heal injuries on its own, but also restore physical strength, said a Kusanagi ninja. Advertisement. The most important thing is that she is from another village. I can absorb her chakra anytime and anywhere. It's really great. Xiangling is a member of the Uzumaki clan and Uzumaki Naruto comes from the same clan. The Uzumaki clan is related to the Senju clan and also inherited the sage body of Sage of Six Paths. The symbol of the Uzumaki clan is red hair, huge chakra, and vitality. The Uzumaki clan established the country of Whirlpool and also has its own ninja village. The Uzumaki clan is good at all kinds of sealing techniques, but due to the opening of the Jinchuriki system, the ninja villages of the five major countries were jointly robbed of information by several major ninja villages because of the imperfect sealing techniques and the Uzumaki clan's natural suitability for Jinchuriki. They obtained various sealing techniques from the Uzumaki clan, and the orphans of the Uzumaki clan flowed to all directions. Xiang Ling's mother was exiled to Kusanagi village. Because she awakened the talent of the Uzumaki clan, others could absorb her chakra and quickly recover from injuries. Therefore, Xiang Ling's mother was injured in Kusunin village and continued to absorb chakra day and night, causing Xiang Ling's mother chakra to run out of chakra and die, and at the same time her bright red hair turned snow white. When he died, his body was covered with teeth marks, and he died in a very painful way. Xiang Ling has also been sucked for several years, and it can make an Uzumaki clan member who has awakened the sage body consume chakra and die, which is enough to show how inhumane the Kusanagi village is. Although there are many excessive things in the ninja world, Naruto's mother is from the Uzumaki clan. Of course, Naruto is very angry that his own clan is treated in this way. It just so happened that Suzuki needed someone to vent to, so Naruto took advantage of it. Anyway, for the way the grass ninja village treated Uzumaki's orphans, Naruto would make them pay the price sooner or later. How many chakras were used for recovery? How many people in the grass ninja village would die? Advertisement. Suzuki finally saw the opponent Naruto had arranged for him, and he couldn't help but get excited, and his laughter slowly turned villainous. Suzuki's aura became terrifying, and the cold chakra slowly emitted from Suzuki, infecting everything around him. You two are from the grass ninja village, right? Suzuki said with a grin. Their faces instantly became as bright as white paper, and there was no blood in their bodies. They said with trembling fear, yes, we are from the grass ninja village. What's the matter? There is nothing for you to try this power. Suzuki said with red eyes. Suzuki came in front of them in an instant, and punched one of them directly on the Adam's apple with a fist wrapped in black chakra. His neck was directly broken, and his head was blown away by Suzuki's punch. The blood spurted out stained Suzuki's whole body red. But Suzuki made no move to dodge, and instead enjoyed the feeling of being covered in blood all over his body. Another person in the grass ninja village was also sprayed with blood. 
He was so frightened that he sat on the ground and peed, and kept saying let me go, let me go. Suzuki just snorted, kicked him away in disgust, and then shot him through the head with a kanao. With the blessing of the curse seal, Suzuki's speed and strength are several times stronger than before. As Suzuki closed the curse seal, a feeling of weakness spread throughout his body. After exiting the curse seal mode, Suzuki regained his previous calmness. Looking at the messy murder scene around him, Suzuki vomited directly. It took him a while to recover. He couldn't believe that he had done it and watched the smell of blood on his body made Suzuki feel like he was going to vomit again. Suzuki quickly took away the scroll they kept and jumped into the river to wash away the smell of blood. Advertisement. Naruto saw Suzuki's murder scene and sighed. It seems that the curse seal has completely brought out his negative emotions, but it's okay to let him vent, but only on Xiangling's side. Seeing a bear chasing Xiangling all over the forest, Naruto said in surprise, there are so many chakras and no one teaches her how to use them. This is too weak and is far different from the Xiangling in the four stations period. Naruto separated a shadow clone to rescue Xiangling. Suzuki was originally the one to save Xiangling, but Suzuki was taking a bath now, so Naruto had no choice but to go there himself. At this time, little Sakura woke up and said with sleepy eyes, Naruto, where are we at this time, where is Suzuki? The moment the snake rushed over, Naruto hugged little Sakura and cast an illusion that made people sleep, keeping little Sakura in a coma and not letting little Sakura disturb him. After everything settled, little Sakura woke up. It's nothing. Suzuki went to do some reconnaissance. The snake was killed just now. You accidentally passed out. Do you remember? Naruto explained patiently. Well, I remember a big python rushed towards me, and then I was held by Naruto and escaped. But little Sakura still feels groggy, as if her brain is still sleeping. Naruto sensed that Suzuki was moving here, and it seemed that he had taken care of it. Advertisement. Chapter 45 Uzumaki Clan. Advertisement. Look Suzuki is back Naruto pointed forward with his finger, and the next second, Suzuki suddenly jumped down from the direction of Naruto's finger. Suzuki had changed his clothes and returned to his fresh look. The horrible look just now that was stained with blood all over his body was completely gone. Suzuki was hesitant to speak when he saw that little Sakura had woken up. He originally wanted to talk to Naruto about the curse seal, but for some unknown reason he didn't want little Sakura to know about it. There were two very weak enemies just now. They happened to have the missing zero scroll that we were missing. Suzuki took the scrolls found from the two grass ninjas and handed them to Naruto. Naruto compared them and determined that they were missing. Another. Naruto smiled and said to Suzuki, Thank you for your hard work, Suzuki, take a good rest. Little Sakura said worriedly, Suzuki is not hurt. Seeing little Sakura's slightly worried look, Suzuki just casually said it was okay and went into rest. Naruto looked at little Sakura and made a move with little Sakura, little Sakura, there is a very simple way to make Suzuki like you. Hearing this, little Sakura's disappointed expression suddenly changed, and she said with a slightly excited tone, what can I do? Suzuki was also quietly pricking up his ears in the tree hole, wanting to hear what Naruto had to say. Advertisement. Naruto spread his hands and said, it's very simple, just become stronger. Suzuki will never regard people who are weaker than him as teammates. As long as you are strong enough to help him, then stay with him as time goes by. Hey, hey, hey Naruto smiled like his aunt. As if he was very interested in these, Suzuki snorted when he heard what Naruto said. Oh, it seems that I was heard, but Sakura-chan, this method is very acceptable. Naruto, asterisk. Little Sakura blushed, not sure whether it was because of Naruto's words or because Suzuki heard that she was asking Naruto for advice on how to chase him. Damn Naruto heavy multiplication x2 the second personality in Little Sakura was not so shy, it was just angry that Naruto's words were heard by Suzuki. Suzuki looked angry. If Naruto didn't know Suzuki best, if Little Sakura was really no longer a vase and helped Suzuki all the time, then Suzuki might really accept Little Sakura over time. Okay, the joke is over, Suzuki, you don't have to get up. Suzuki was about to get up when Naruto interrupted him. We now have the conditions to clear the level, and we have plenty of time. We are afraid of long nights and many dreams. After Suzuki has rested, we can move forward. If we encounter enemies, don't worry about them, just leave them to us. Naruto said to little Sakura. At the same time, Naruto planned to leave a clone to follow Hineda and bring Xiangling out. I didn't expect that you were the first to arrive at the central tower. The teacher stationed on guard said, looking at class 7. There is no problem with the scroll. Congratulations on passing the test. He simply announced the result. Suzuki couldn't help but touch the mark on his neck. Advertisement. There are still three days left at your disposal. Naruto's body arrived, and Xiangling had been immersed in Naruto's chakra. After Naruto rescued Xiangling, he took her directly out of the death forest and took her directly to the secret base. Xiangling sensed Naruto's huge and warm chakra like the sun, and collapsed directly into Naruto's arms, greedily absorbing the scent of Naruto. This chakra is so comfortable, Xiangling sighed. Okay, we're here, get off me quickly. Naruto was speechless to this woman. She looked scared just now, but now she was leaning directly on him. No, no, please let me hold you for a while, just for a while. Naruto directly lifted Xiangling and placed it on the ground. Naruto adjusted his clothes and introduced himself to Xiangling who was about to pounce at any moment. My name is Azumaki Naruto, and I am an Azumaki tribesman like you. Xiangling suddenly became quiet when she heard the word Azumaki and remained motionless. Naruto continued, like you, my mother is an orphan of the Azumaki clan. You should also know that the symbol of the Uzumaki clan is red hair, but I did not inherit my mother's red hair, but I did follow my mother's red hair. Surname, I saw your red hair and your physique, and I am sure that you are from Uzumaki like me. So Naruto did not finish speaking, but just let Xiangling calm down for a while. In fact, Naruto can only have a surname of Uzumaki, because Naruto's father, Namikaze Minato, has no surname at all. Namikaze Minato is his first name. He was born as an orphan. No one knows who his parents are. Even his first name is given, let alone his surname. No, Naruto is the son of the fourth Hokage and the disciple of the third Hokage. He has a name inheritance, so he inherited his mother's surname Uzumaki. Advertisement. Xiangling is also from the Uzumaki clan, but he was not able to inherit the name Uzumaki. It may be to hide his identity. After the Uzumaki kingdom was destroyed, many Uzumaki clan members gave up their surnames to avoid being hunted down. 
The same goes for Nagato. Situation, but Naruto's mother was brought to the village according to Nine Tails Jinchuriki, so she did not give up the surname Uzumaki. The reason why Xiangling knew about Uzumaki was because her mother had accidentally revealed it before her death. Because she had been wandering, her mother said that we used to live in the country of Uzumaki. After her mother died, Xiangling learned about the history of the country of Uzumaki. After hearing this, Xiangling suddenly hugged Naruto tightly, her tears couldn't stop flowing down, and she wailed, Why did you come here? Do you know how much we have suffered? Although Xiangling was complaining, but his hands had no intention of letting go, and Minja just slowly hugged Xiangling. Naruto gently patted Xiang Ling's back to comfort her and said, It's okay, it's okay, I'm protecting you now. No one is forcing you to take chakra unless you volunteer. After saying that, Naruto injected his chakra into Xiang Ling's body. Fortunately, the situation was not too serious, it was just a depletion of the body. A good rest and good nutrition would improve it. At the same time, Naruto's chakra blended seamlessly with Xiang Ling's chakra. Xiang Ling suddenly felt connected to a source of life, more vibrant than her own chakra. The hidden wounds on Xiang Ling's body and the bite marks on her limbs that never fade away are slowly recovering. At the same time, Xiang Ling's dry red hair was slowly regaining its luster. As the chakra between Naruto and Xiang Ling flows, suddenly chains appear on Xiang Ling's body and pierce into Naruto's body. Chains also appear on Naruto's body and pierce into Xiang Ling's body. Adamantine sealing chains is a super powerful sealing technique that can only be used by the Uzumaki clan. Its power can directly seal chakra creatures such as tailed beasts. The stronger the chakra, the more powerful the seal is and can also be used as a means of attack. The small wooden golem jutsu that no one could defeat in the four stages was broken by Xiang Ling who had awakened adamantine sealing chains. Now Naruto combines with Xiang Ling's chakra to guide out the power deep in the bloodline. Naruto has returned to his ancestors. In fact, he could have awakened a long time ago, but he just didn't realize it, and took advantage of this opportunity to show it. Advertisement. Chapter 46 Hineda vs Niji. Advertisement. Three days later, the candidates came out of the death forest one after another, and Naruto also left after settling Xiang Ling. At this moment, all those who have passed the exam will participate in the playoffs under their own names, regardless of team. Everyone draws lots and plays against each other, and the winner advances. The draw results came out and Naruto got a bye. There is nothing interesting about this kind of match, Suzuki easily eliminated his opponent. Next game, Hayaga Hineda vs. Hayaganiji. Hineda cheered up and faced Hayaganiji head on, because Hineda was also undergoing rigorous training and had not met Niji many times, but Niji had a dissatisfaction with Hineda, and the dissatisfaction with the clan extended to Hineda. Come on, both of them set up the starting position of 8 trigrams palms at the same time. Hineda is now different from what she used to be. She has become stronger mentally and is extremely proficient in every move. Hineda and Niji continue to show the essence of the Hayaga family's Teijetsu. Although there is no tough fight like Kukin, every move of gentle fist caused great damage to the internal body of the human body with the blessing of Bikukin. Niji was extremely surprised by Hineda's strength. He didn't expect that the rumored weak eldest daughter of the clan would be so strong, but he believed he could win. Niji was not careful, and two or three acupuncture points on his arm were sealed, and his chakra could not open them. The sparring time was extended, and Hineda slowly began to hit other acupuncture points on Niji's body. Although she was also hit by Niji's gentle fist, the number was smaller. Hineda's chakra was also gradually breaking through these blocked acupoints. Niji was already a little anxious, and his forehead was covered with sweat. He saw that the place where he hit Hineda had been washed away, but his own chakra operation had become obscured. Advertisement. If he continues to fight, his chakra will be completely blocked. Hineda also saw the situation in Niji's body, and began to seek stability, slowly blocking it, from his hands to his chest. During the battle, both sides kept colliding with their own battle modes, and the battle became very long. At this moment, Niji finally decided to give it a try and use that move. The chakra in Niji's body began to condense rapidly. Hineda's Byakugan also noticed it. Seeing the familiar method, Hineda suddenly thought of a trick. It was taught to her by Hayaga Hayashi himself. No wonder brother Niji could do it too. Then Hineda also gathered chakra and used the same move. Niji and Hineda shouted at the same time, revolving heaven. On the field, Niji and Hineda's figures began to spin almost at the same time. Smoke and dust suddenly filled the field, and only two semicircles were seen colliding with each other. The harsh sound made the audience outside the field couldn't help but cover their ears. After a while, one of the blue semicircles suddenly changed. The surface continued to expand, and the scope involved also increased. One of the people's revolving heaven was devoured. A blue tornado was formed on the field, the center point of which was Hineda. A large amount of chakra was released directly from the acupuncture points all over her body, making the tornado grow bigger and bigger. There was a bang. A figure was thrown out by the tornado and fell heavily against the wall. Niji fainted directly, his clothes became tattered, and his body was covered with small scars scratched by the tornado. Hayaga Hineda vs. Hayaga Niji, Hayaga Hineda wins. The referee announced the result. Naruto looked at the result with a smile, very satisfied with Hineda's battle. Advertisement. The medical ninja then sent Hayaga Niji to the hospital. Next game. The surrounding audience also affirmed Hineda's extraordinary strength. Hineda, how did you become so powerful? Even the previous chief was no match for you. Little Sakura and Ino looked at Hineda with envy. Listening to the compliments from her surroundings and good friends, Hineda slowly became shy, and quickly waved her hands, No, I just practiced hard, and I'm not strong enough now. Hineda added in her heart, I want to follow following in Naruto's footsteps, he is not strong enough yet. Ino and Little Sakura fell to the ground at the same time and were eliminated. Xiaoli was eliminated by Gara, but this time Gara did not crush Xiaoli's bones, but was carried down because of the side effects of the 8-gate shield. In the end, Kanaha and San Shinobi entered the finals, and the other small shinobi villages were eliminated. Hokage Office. Have you determined Orikimura's whereabouts? Yuan Fei Hiruzen asked with a serious look. It's confirmed, it's Orikimura's technique, and my curse seal also reacts. The person who answered Hokage's question was Orikimura's favorite disciple, Anko. Jiraiya, what do you think? 
Third Hokage looked at the other human around him. Orokimaru's purpose is not clear, but it must be related to the Kanaha Chinin exam. Based on my understanding of him, he may do something on the day of the exam. The person who said these words was another Sunin, a tall middle-aged man wearing a forehead protector with the word oil on his head, a red coat, and two red marks on his face. Yuan Fei Hiruzen took a deep breath of cigarette, notify Umbu to increase vigilance and make sure the Chinin exam goes smoothly. Advertisement. Anko leaves to prepare for Orokimaru's invasion. After returning to the village, have you visited Naruto? Yuan Fei Hiruzen said slowly. No, I have been compiling information since I came back. Jiraiya shook his head. Yuan Fei Hiruzen handed Naruto's information to Jiraiya. Naruto is now very strong, and he also has a very important person, and he has a bond with the village. Jiraiya looked through Naruto's information and looked at the appearance that was similar to Minato, as if he saw Minato reborn in front of him. Yeah, I'll go visit Naruto. In the blink of an eye, Jiraiya had disappeared into Hokage's office. It's really been a long time since I've been back. Kanaha has changed so much. Jiraiya was still very emotional when he saw the change in Kanaha. Jiraiya suddenly laughed obscenely, wondering if the warmth of Kanaha had changed. Jiraiya became excited all over, thinking about the largest hot spring in Kanaha. If we were talking about someone who knew Kanaha hot springs, Jiraiya would be the first and no one would be the second. There are several hot springs in Kanaha. Jiraiya knows where they are located and how many people there are every day. Now he is going to the hot springs to take a good look at them so that he can use them as material for his book. Who is it this time? Naruto suddenly felt that the powerful chakra broke into his perception range. Although Naruto did not activate super large perception in daily life, he only relied on his instinctive passive perception. Jiraiya has visited most of Kanaha's hot springs, and now he is laughing very obscenely on the roof, laughing non-stop. When Naruto arrived, he understood who it was. Everything that happened at this point in time was happening step by step. Advertisement. Chapter 47 Summoning Technique. Advertisement. Naruto knew Jiraiya, he was known as one of the Sunin, he was very reliable and loved the village, was kind to his companions, had amazing willpower, and the spirit of never giving up. But this is his core. If you don't know him well, you will just think that he is a perverted old man. But when Naruto actually saw Jiraiya peeping, he couldn't help but feel a little angry in his heart. This horny guy, Naruto wanted Jiraiya to know that there were some things he shouldn't do. At this time, Jiraiya was staring at the bathhouse lustfully, with a very lewd expression. Naruto immediately jumped behind Jiraiya and punched him down. However, Naruto would not treat him like an enemy, but he would not show too much mercy. Jiraiya also reacted very quickly. He felt the wind from behind and crossed his hands to resist. Naruto punched directly, and the person and the roof were thrown into the middle of the bathhouse, making a big hole in the ground. Ah, there is a pervert. Harsh sounds came from all directions in the bathhouse, and the girl directly covered her body with something nearby. At the same time, Naruto lifted Jiraiya up from the ground and said to the guests in the bathhouse, Please ask Mr. Third Hokage for today's compensation. I have taken this suspect away. The next moment, Naruto jumped out of the bathhouse and left this place at lightning speed. If Naruto stayed there, he might be overwhelmed by things. With a bang, Naruto slammed Jiraiya to the ground. Feeling that he was about to be in close contact with the ground again, Jiraiya quickly opened his eyes and supported the ground with his hands. Oh, when Naruto was about to attack again, Jiraiya begged for mercy. No, 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 I admit my mistake. Why are kids so cruel these days? Jiraiya breathed a sigh of relief when Naruto showed no intention of continuing to attack. Boy, do you know who I am? I am Jiraiya, one of the famous sunin, known as Toad Sage. Immediately, Jiraiya jumped onto the stone table nearby and made a strange movement, waving his long white hair left and right. If you are really Jiraiya-sama, one of the sunin, why would you go spying on the women's bathhouse? Naruto crossed his arms, making it clear that he didn't believe him. Advertisement. Let me think about it. Jiraiya shook his head and thought of a solution. Summoning technique I saw Jiraiya shouting, biting his thumb, and forming seals on his hands on the ground. Rows of black runes appeared on the ground. With a burst of smoke, Jiraiya stood on a big toad and showed off. Boy, look, I'm Toad Sage. But that doesn't explain the fact that you peeked. Naruto's words seemed to stab Jiraiya in the heart. Nibbling, gnawing, with a coughing sound, Jiraiya got off the toad in embarrassment. That's a collection, do you understand? Jiraiya said angrily to Naruto. Boy, what's your name? Jiraiya said seriously. Naruto, Uzumaki Naruto. Okay Naruto, to express my apology, I will pass on a ninjutsu to you, okay. What ninjutsu? I won't learn any ninjutsu that is too low level. Jiraiya took the scroll off his back and unfolded it to reveal the name written on it. Naruto, write your name completely on it with your own blood. Naruto obeyed and did so because he understood that this is the summoning scroll of Mount Mayaboko, and one of Naruto's purposes is senjutsu. Remember, this summoning technique can summon animals or objects that have signed a contract with you. Summoning technique, with the summoning technique completed, Naruto seemed to sense that using different components of chakra, the corresponding animal could be summoned. Bang, there was smoke, and the toad with a cigarette in his mouth and a big knife on his waist was none other than Toad Bunta. Jiraiya, why did you summon me? The giant toad looked at Jiraiya with his eyes. Advertisement. Actually, it's not me. Jiraiya pointed upward, Naruto was standing on top of Gamabunta's head. Kid, what qualifications do you have to stand on top of me? Then Gamabunta was about to throw Naruto down with a jump. Bang, there was a sound like an explosion, and a suffocating breath came from the air. Gamabunta, who was in midair, suddenly felt a huge energy wave coming from the top of his head, suppressing him tightly, and there was also a wave of energy on the ground. There were bursts of cracks, and Gamabunta was penetrated by terrifying energy. Looking at the cracks on the ground and Gamabunta being pushed down, Jiraiya's expression became very serious. Just the burst of chakra caused such destructive power that it directly shattered the ground through Gamabunta. This is such a terrifying chakra. Gamabunta seemed to be pressed down by something heavy, and he didn't even have the strength to raise his hands. Now, I seem to be qualified to stand on your head, but you shouldn't be able to move now. Naruto looked at Gamabunta at his feet as if there was no one around. Naruto, you Jiraiya was at a loss for words. He only thought of one possibility. Naruto could use the power of nine tails freely. Otherwise, it would be impossible to have such a large chakra, not even the Uzumaki clan. But the seal is still in good condition, and the key is in his hand. 
How did Naruto do it? Gamabunta wanted to get up, but then Naruto kicked him down and he could only lie down again. Damn brat, when I get up, I will definitely chop you down. Naruto kicked him again after hearing this, and there was a roar from the ground. Naruto, for my sake, let Bunta go. He means no harm. Jiraiya said with a smile. Okay, but he has to promise me that he will listen to me next time I summon him, do you understand? Naruto asked. Jiraiya could only look at Bunta helplessly, hoping that it would agree. Advertisement. Okay, I promise, Uzumaki Naruto, you are very strong, and you have my approval. From today on, you will sign a contract with Mount Mayaboku. My name is Gamabunta, remember. Seeing that Gamabunta was subdued, Naruto immediately let it go. Naruto just stopped suppressing it when he saw Gamabunta return to Mount Mayaboko with a bang. Running so fast, I still have something to ask. Naruto sighed. Um, Naruto. Jiraiya rubbed his hands with a flattering smile on his face. Can you tell me if you saw a red fox? Naruto chuckled to himself, finally unable to bear it any longer. You mean Karema, I've seen him before. Karema, Jiraiya realized that Nine Tails was called Karema. Sure enough, Naruto and Nine Tails became friends, and Nine Tails lent his power to Naruto. Thinking of this, Jiraiya had a smile on his face. Okay, it's time for me to go. Goodbye, little Naruto. Goodbye, Pervy Sage. Jiraiya suddenly stumbled upon hearing Naruto's words and almost fell down. It's Toad Sage. Okay, Pervy Sage. Okay, I'm leaving. Jiraiya waved his hand and left with no regrets, but he was very happy in his heart. Naruto is very strong now. Advertisement. Chapter 48 Sage Mode. Advertisement. Three days ago, Umbu sent by Yuan Fei Hiruzen finally determined Jiraiya's whereabouts and learned that Jiraiya was in Dewa Street in the southwest of the Land of Fire. It happened to be the Chinin exam, so he asked Umbu to send a message to recall Jiraiya. Another point is that Naruto is now powerful, but does not have a good leader. For Jiraiya, who taught fourth Hokage Namikaze Minato, it is perfect to serve as Naruto's teacher. Now that Jiraiya has returned to the village and Naruto is handed over to him, Yuan Fei and Hiruzen are relieved. When he heard that Orikimaru returned to Konoha, he always had an ominous premonition in his heart. Orikimaru's goal is not just as simple as Konoha, so he entrusts Naruto to Jiraiya and concentrates on dealing with Orikimaru. After seeing Naruto, Jiraiya did not go out. Instead, he was sorting out information alone. After returning to Konoha, he only sorted out part of it. The time was too short. He felt relieved after seeing Naruto. After years of accumulation, Jiraiya has collected enough information. He has traveled all over the country, met many different ninja clans, and encountered battles of all sizes. But what made Jiraiya most happy was that he found traces of Tsunade. He hadn't seen Tsunade for many years since he left Konoha. He didn't know how Tsunade was doing. While chasing along the intelligence, Jiraiya kept pursuing Tsunade's traces across multiple countries, and it wasn't until he returned to the Land of Fire that he finally confirmed it. But at this time, he received a message from Yuan Fei Hiruzen, which said something about Naruto and invited him to return to the village. Another reason is that a mysterious organization wants to collect information about tailed beasts, which is also the key for Jiraiya to return to Kanaha village, because Jiraiya suspects that it is possible to target the Nine Tails in Naruto's body. Advertisement. After returning to Kanaha village, I also learned that Orikimaru was back. Although I was happy to see Orikimaru again, I must stop him, no matter what he came to Kanaha village for. Summoning technique, Naruto is trying to enter Mount Mayaboku, and signed a contract with Mount Mayaboku. He should be able to enter through the reverse summoning technique, but to be on the safe side, summon the toad first, and then let them use reverse summoning. Familiar runes sounded from the ground, but at this time Naruto used a little more chakra. There was a huge puff of smoke, but Naruto didn't see the big toad coming. Strange, the summoning should have been successful. Where are you looking? A toad about the size of Naruto's hand stood in the middle of the summoning circle. The toad had a green body and was wearing a robe. It had snow white eyebrows and hair. It looked very old. My name is Fukazaku, you can also call me Fukazaku Sage. You are Uzumaki Naruto who just signed a contract with us for Mount Mayaboku. Fukazaku looked at him suspiciously. He heard from Gamabunta that the new contractor was very powerful. But this is just a child. Now Naruto is taller, but his face is still a little childish. For Fukazaku, who has lived for 800 years, although he is a child, teenagers are different from those in decades. Thinking in his mind, Fukazaku Senen's pupils widened at this moment. He not only sensed Naruto's huge chakra, but also sensed the natural flavor from Naruto, as if Naruto was merging with nature anytime and anywhere. A born child of nature, a seedling born to practice magic. Before Naruto could speak, Fukazaku Senen said first, Are you willing to inherit Mount Mayaboku's Senjutsu? Advertisement. She looked at Naruto expectantly, waiting for his answer. Okay, I agree. Naruto signed Mount Mayaboku. He came here just for the Senjutsu. Although he didn't know what Fukazaku sensed from me just now, as long as the purpose was achieved. Alright, Naruto, I'm going to use reverse summoning to enter Mount Mayaboku. I saw Fukazaku's two short green hands clasped together. Naruto felt that he was traveling through a space passage. As soon as the scene turned, he came to a world surrounded by green, the air was extremely fresh, and there were tall lotus leaves all around the path. There are dozens of large and small lakes around, not only toads, but also other animals. I could vaguely see several giant toads jumping around, creating a dreamy and strange scenery. Since entering Mount Mayaboka, Naruto felt that the pores on his body had opened, and all the cells in his body were sending the same message to Naruto's brain. They wanted to absorb the energy here. Naruto suppressed this feeling because he knew the side effects of rashly absorbing Senjutsu energy, but his body's instinct would not harm him, but he would need to wait until he mastered Senjutsu. Fukazaku Senin, when will we arrive? Naruto asked impatiently. It's like a very hungry person feels itchy when he sees a big meal but it's not time to start eating. Now, at this time, toad oil can help people who are practicing for the first time feel the natural energy. Immortal magic first needs to be integrated with nature. After absorbing it, it absorbs and controls the proportion at the same time to reform the fairy art chakra. The magic can be doubled. Enhance all energies. Hey, Naruto, are you listening? Naruto's eyes were glowing green and he was staring at it. His throat was squirming, looking at the toad oil flowing out. He wanted to jump on it and suck it up immediately. Toad oil is liquefied natural energy, and Naruto's body wanted natural energy. Advertisement. Remember, don't absorb too much natural energy at the beginning. 
Pay attention to adjusting the proportion of physical energy and mental energy to the natural energy. Too much will directly petrify, and too little will not allow you to enter sage mode. I saw few Kazakos smearing a little bit of toad oil on Naruto's body. Naruto also let go of his body and allowed them to absorb natural energy. Of course, they had to pay attention to the proportion. Naruto was also afraid of being petrified. Natural energy was continuously coming from all directions, rushing towards Naruto's body at an almost crazy speed. Once he began to absorb natural energy, Naruto found that it was relatively easy to control the natural energy in his body. The speed of absorption is too fast, Fu Kazaku exclaimed. Although he knew that Naruto was a child of nature, the degree of matching with natural energy was too crazy. Moreover, the transformation of natural energy out of control did not appear on Naruto's body. Eyeshadow slowly appeared on Naruto's eyes, and his pupils slowly turned into horizontal pupils. It seemed that he had entered sage mode. Fu Kazaku nodded with satisfaction. The next step was to enter sage mode without the help of toad oil and teach Naruto the tactics to go with it. What made Fu Kazaku feel strange was that Naruto entered the sage, but the speed of absorbing natural energy not only did not slow down, but instead became faster and faster. Naruto seemed to have turned into a black hole, absorbing the surrounding energy crazily. The toad oil also began to evaporate uncontrollably, and was then absorbed by Naruto. The toads on Mount Mayaboko felt abnormal. Tai Winta, have you felt that the natural energy around you is decreasing? Gamabunta took a puff of cigarette and said in a deep voice, The source is in the holy land. This is not something we can control. Don't worry. In the space of consciousness, it was raining. It only took a few minutes for the rain to drift from the beginning to the heavy rain. Nine Tails sensed that the rain was all natural energy, and then let go of the body to welcome the rain. Advertisement. Chapter 49 His Highness Naruto. Advertisement. The area of consciousness space is also slowly increasing with the influx of huge amounts of natural energy. Not knowing how much time passed, Naruto opened his eyes and found Fu Kazaka looking at him with a horrified look on his face. What's wrong? Why do you look like you saw a ghost? Naruto now felt as if his body had endless power and energy, and the hunger had disappeared. After a while, Fu Kazaku took out a mirror and looked at Naruto's current face. A faint orange eyeshadow appeared in the corners of Naruto's eyes, and his pupils turned into toads. Naruto said frankly, I think I have succeeded, and I can directly extract natural energy while moving because I have similar experiences. What he is talking about is his unique talent, natural mode, which can directly control natural energy. So it is a very simple thing for Naruto to sense natural energy, he can do it naturally. Now Fu Kazaku told Naruto what he had just done. Fu Kazaku said frankly, after you just entered sage mode, you drained most of the natural energy here in just a moment, and you also used the natural energy accumulated by Mount Mayaboko for many years. Consumed. The toads are in chaos now, but while you were absorbing energy, I went to say the Great Toad Sage. The Great Toad Sage said not to interrupt you yet, and to go see it after you finish. Advertisement. Please follow me now Naruto noticed Fu Kazaka's attitude became respectful, most likely because of what the Great Toad Sage said to them. When he first heard the words of Great Toad Sage, Fu Kazaka couldn't believe his ears. Great Toad Sage said, after so many years of accumulation, we finally waited for his master. Great Toad Sage, what you mean is, give all the natural energy crystals we preserve to Naruto to absorb. Fu Kazaka Sage didn't understand the meaning of this, but Great Toad Sage had spoken and he was going to do it. Yes, I dreamed that Naruto would completely change the world. Our natural energy was reserved for Naruto. The old Great Toad Sage muttered to himself as if he saw something while half asleep. Remember to bring him to see me, he is your highness. Then Great Toad Sage fell into a dream again. Great Toad Sage, I saw Naruto-san coming here. When did I become the royal highness of these toads? Naruto listened confused. The Great Toad Sage tried hard to open his eyes. From Naruto's perception, the energy in the Great Toad Sage was very amazing, almost the same as his own chakra. He was worthy of being the Toad Sage who had lived from the Sage of Six Paths period to the present. Your Highness Naruto, you are here said softly, Gamamaru spoke to him in a very soft voice as if he was afraid of scaring Naruto. It's outrageous for these toads to call me your Highness. Do I have any other identity? Naruto knew himself, but he was a time traveler who came from the Earth for some unknown reason, and he didn't have any awesome background. Why do you call me your Highness? Naruto asked confused. Advertisement. He stared at Tomamaru, expecting to give himself an answer. You will understand when you get something. It's not the time yet. Gamamaru said softly. It's this kind of Riddler again. Naruto hates people who have talk and hides them every day. Please forgive me, your highness, I just got some information about your highness from my dream, but I can't tell you. This is not something I can decide. Gamamaru seemed to be afraid of something, and turned to explain to Naruto. In Kanaha village, the more Naruto thought about it after returning home, the more wrong he became. What is the situation at this time? What power can threaten Gamamaru? Could it be Sage of Six Paths? No, there is no reason for Sage of Six Paths, except that it is Ashira's. What is the secret of Chakra's reincarnation? Now Naruto can only suppress the doubts in his heart for the time being. Now he wants to try Sage Mode in Kanaha. At the same time, Naruto is also looking at the ninjutsu related to senjutsu, such as Frog Kumite, which can attack from a distance. In Reznan even adding senjutsu to Tailed Beast Bomb, becoming a veritable nuclear bomb ninjutsu. Now it's time to consider where to test the power. It's obvious that such a powerful ninjutsu can't be released in Kanaha, but there is a place where it can be done, and it can also help the Uzumaki clan breathe a sigh of relief. It's up to you, Kusunin village, waiting for the Uzumaki clan's revenge. Kill all the ninjas in Kusunin village, and see if they have any other secret weapons. It seems that there are some that have been passed down from the Sage of Six Paths period in Kusunin village. Something, but Naruto forgot what it was, but they would use it if they beat them half to death. Chidori, Suzuki turned on the Sherinan and a ball of thunder and lightning appeared in his left hand. Chidori opened holes in the ground one after another. Suzuki only had a target in his eyes. Chidori thrust hard into the boulder. 
A dazzling light suddenly emitted from inside the boulder. There was an explosion, and the boulder burst from the ground. The inside was blown to smithereens. That's right, Suzuki, you can use Tadori so skillfully in just a few days. Kakashi praised as he looked at the shattered boulder. Advertisement. There was a one-month gap after the Chinin exam ended that day, and Kakashi brought Suzuki to this training ground to teach Suzuki his unique ninjutsu. Unexpectedly, Suzuki learned Chidori in a short period of time, and combined with Sharingan's insight, and Suzuki's own strong physique, it was really even more powerful. Seeing the traces of being penetrated by Chidori everywhere on the training ground, Kakashi was also shocked by Suzuki's chakra amount. Although it was not as good as Naruto's, it was almost better than Kakashi himself, and Suzuki's chakra control was also not ordinary. With a strong learning ability, a Sharingan, a huge chakra, and extremely strong physical fitness, Kakashi is sure that it will be very easy for Suzuki to surpass him. In the training ground, Suzuki was breathing heavily. Now Suzuki has used Chidori more than 10 times in a row, but he always feels that the speed is not fast enough, and Suzuki clearly feels that the power of Chidori can continue to increase. If he were facing Naruto, such a speed would not even touch Naruto's face, let alone hit him. Naruto's speed could not even see three Tomo Sharingan clearly. Suzuki just didn't want to be left behind, that's all. Suzuki, take a rest. Kakashi saw Suzuki who was still insisting and couldn't help but persuade him. Kakashi, tell me honestly, how can you make Chidori stronger and faster? He asked. After a moment of silence, Kakashi expressed his opinion. Why don't you try using thunder to stimulate your body to accelerate it, and at the same time add other attributes of nature transformation to the Chidori? This may increase the power of the Chidori and make it faster. You also need to learn the form changes of the thunder attribute to accommodate other attributes, so as to further enhance the power. Then go ahead, time waits for no one. Suzuki continued to grit his teeth and insisted, and Kakashi could only let him. Advertisement. Chapter 50 The Destruction of the Grass Ninja Village Part 1 Advertisement. Now that we are ready to go to the Grass Ninja Village to take action, there is one thing we need to make sure of before we take action. There is a small wooden house in the forest of Kanaha Village, and Naruto has placed a simple barrier around it. As long as a strange chakra touches the barrier, Naruto will know it. Xiangling was living a very happy life at the moment. She was neither forced to absorb chakra nor had to listen to anyone's orders. Moreover, Naruto visited her from time to time, which made her feel the warmth she had not seen for a long time and felt that Kanaha was a good place. Xiangling Naruto waved. Naruto Xiangling ran towards Naruto with a crazy look on her face, hugged Naruto, and rubbed her against him. Xiangling, I have a girlfriend. It's very bad for you to be like this. Naruto grabbed Xiangling's collar, grabbed the back of Xiangling's neck like a kitten, and lifted Xiangling off his body. I came here this time to ask, can you take me to the Grass Ninja Village? Go to CAO Ninja Village, where are you going? Xiangling shivered when she mentioned CAO Ninja Village, as if she was remembering her painful memories again. Calm down Naruto put his hand on Xiangling's shoulder and injected chakra into Xiangling's body. Advertisement. Naruto found that his chakra seemed to have a very strong calming effect on people's minds. As long as Naruto's chakra circulated throughout his body, the negative emotions of those who were mentally disturbed and frightened were alleviated. Moreover, as long as he brought Naruto around, he would be infected unknowingly. The most obvious one is Suzuki. After the night of genocide, Suzuki's spirit was on the verge of collapse. He just used life-threatening training to numb himself, and his character gradually became ruthless, and everything was focused on strength. After accepting Naruto's chakra, Suzuki slowly changed. Although his appearance was still cold, he began to consider other people and had the emotions that a normal person should have. He also slowly began to believe in the power of his companions. Now Suzuki is also passionate about revenge, but not as extreme. As Naruto's chakra circulated, Xiangling also stopped trembling. The dark memories just now seemed to be infected by the warm chakra on his body and became less scary. I went to the grass ninja village this time to avenge our Uzumaki clan, Naruto said with a smile. Last time, I seemed to have peeked into your past in your chakra and learned about the tragic experience of you and your mother, so I decided to go to the grass ninja village to avenge our Uzumaki clan. Are you interested? Xiangling. Yes. Xiangling nodded heavily. She also wanted revenge, but she didn't have the ability. Now that she could take revenge, it was too late for her to be happy. Then you're ready. Naruto changed into a mask, wearing a black robe and a mask to ensure that no one could recognize him. Naruto took Xiangling to fly directly into the sky, and thoughtfully lent Xiangling the Nine Tails Chakra to Xiangling. Xiangling was also covered in a fiery red-tailed beast coat, and at the same time protected Xiangling from the impact of high-altitude flying. Hurt, Xiangling hugged Naruto tightly, as if he was afraid of heights, and didn't dare to open his eyes at all. He could only rely on his ears to hear the sound of the air splitting rapidly. Then speed up, Naruto began to increase chakra's output, and the speed slowly increased. Suddenly, there was a huge explosion behind Naruto while he was flying. The huge shock wave generated in the air rushed to the ground, making everyone on the ground hear a boom. Advertisement. This is a sonic boom. The moment the flight speed exceeds the speed of sound, a sonic boom will occur. If it weren't for the Nine Tails Chakra that was constantly protecting Xiangling, Xiangling would have died due to the rupture of her internal organs due to the excessive speed. At the moment when the sonic boom occurred, Xiangling felt as if the whole world was silent. She could no longer hear the sound of anything in the world. The sound could not keep up with the speed of flight, and a spectacular sonic boom cloud was also produced in the sky. But as the destination approached, Naruto no longer had to maintain such a fast speed. Xiangling was gradually able to hear some things. Fortunately, he could still feel Naruto's body temperature when he lost his voice, otherwise he wouldn't know how to survive. We're here. Naruto separated himself and left Xiangling in the sky to watch the show. Naruto went down alone and headed to Kusanagi village. Let me see how many ninjas there are in the grass ninja village, and then see how many people are worth killing. Naruto will not kill children, but other adult ninjas who have chakra are all targets of Naruto's attacks. Let's see if there's any way to focus the ninja, Naruto thought, stroking his chin. The place where the information of Kusakunin village is stored should be very important. Who is it? When the guards of the grass ninja village saw the masked man falling from the sky, they couldn't help but hold their kunao tightly, ready to take action at any time. I just want to borrow your grass ninja's database to use. Naruto's voice changed and became unusually deep. Unknown person, sound the alarm. 
One of the grass ninjas fired a flare directly into the sky, but Naruto just folded his arms and floated in the air, paying no attention to the alarm. As the signal flares were fired, almost all the adult ninjas in the village gathered here. Advertisement. The corners of Naruto's face and mouth under the mask were slightly raised, it would be interesting if they all did it together. At this time, Naruto slowly rose into the sky, and the energy around him slowly condensed. The Kusanagi also realized something was wrong, and they all took action together, including Senbon, Shuriken, five attribute ninjutsu, and various attacks aimed at Naruto's body that was slowly rising into the air. All the Kusanaga's attacks were concentrated on one point. The attacks of the five attributes seemed to be coordinated, doubling the power of the ninjutsu. The Kusanagi clearly saw the huge explosion and smoke sound when they hit the masked man. Did it succeed? said a grass ninja. When the smoke cleared, none of Naruto's clothes were damaged. Have you finished the attack? Look at my move. He sneered. Fire, wind, water, thunder, and earth appeared on Naruto's palm, floating in the air, and expanded rapidly with the injection of Naruto chakra, and his body size had grown dozens of times. Naruto laughed. I have been waiting for this day for a long time. When I know that I can control the five attributes of chakra at will, I have always hoped that this moment will come and perfectly replicate Mamashiki's behavior. Come on, with a wave of Naruto's hand, the fire attribute chakra turned into a huge phoenix and rushed towards the grass ninja on the ground, but the difference from the Boruto den was that they did not have the invincible seventh hokage to protect them. Bang, the phoenix exploded directly, huge flames shot up into the sky, the power was like a huge bomb, detonating in the crowd, gravel flying everywhere, most of the grass ninja gathered were directly burned to char by the phoenix, luck was the best. The good ones were also blown away by the shock wave. Naruto's attack speed was too fast, and the grass ninja didn't know the information. There was a burst of mourning on the scene. Under the high temperature, even if he didn't die, he was still half alive. A raging fire has been ignited in the grass ninja village, and the firelight reflects the desperate faces of everyone. Advertisement. 